risk granted. Good morning to you lovely people out there on the worlds of the internet and the Twitches and w things. Let's kick off with a public service announcement. This is uh, me, Isnib, officially stating, of course, that uh, EBC 2021, my good friend Scotty, is over 9,000. But he's not the only one, is he? No, Slick Mick there. Did you see that intro there? Slick Mick made that, and do you know why? It's because he is over 9,000. So be aware. <laughs> How you doing, my lovely? Oh my god, it's, it's so very gratifying. It's fine. If I start a stream one day and there's nobody here, that's fine. I'll at least it happens a couple of times. I'll just kind of like talk to myself for a minute and then suddenly someone turns up. I'm like, there we go. One person to talk to. Um, but even if that doesn't happen that one day, that's what I'll just be like, da -da 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 -da. let's start the game. Because you're here, we're just going to probably jibber jabber for like five hours. Um, <laughs> which, of course, is perfectly acceptable and fine. Um, but yeah, how you doing, folks? Uh, a little bit late, I just, you know. Sometime after, if it's closer to two than three, then I'm, uh, I'm satisfied. But anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, who knows, Squidge might be, uh, covering some stuff that is more exciting to you in the, uh, in the near future. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, 50 out, 50 out, oh my God. I don't, I don't know. It's, um. I'd, I'd have to think like what how we there needs to be some kind of a um, mechanism or something to do um unless i like st introduce the uh concept of um sort of game called them like the the is view <laughs> where i just get someone on here as a streamer or somewhere someone who's in the the twitch realm uh and like interview them but i don't know if interview is the right word but anyway Affeline, how you doing Curiosity killed the Mithra. Um, yeah, I've, I, my Mithra has died many, many times. Uh, <laughs> um, it's be, I feel it's better to be a little bit of danger. A dangerous curiosity is better than to much better to be like safe. Keep your blinders on. Um, it's, it's all within reason, isn't it? Squid, how are you doing? Yeah, happy Thursday. It's a good Thursday. It's quite, it's quite nice around here. Um, yeah, actually, so they... <laughs> no, no, I... <laughs> that's not what I meant to switch. I meant, but, uh... Uh, the... Uh, yo, Smarts, thank you for the lurk. How you doing? I hope you're well. Good morning to you. Um, Squidge, uh... That is the issue, isn't it? If I start... If I elevated the show and we were like, Hey, welcome to the talk show. Here's our guest. I'm going to lecture you. It's Nib's TED Talk. Do you know what I mean? You'd be like, oh my God, this is, this is amazing. And then five hours later, you're like, oh, I've done no work today. <laughs> so, balance, isn't it? Um, right, yeah. But that's the thing. Uh, Squidge's boss is very reasonable. So it's... Um, she's playing catch-up, but 
a, a boss is pretty good so it's it's all good um yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, like that's the thing, Squidge. If you were actually like published by a big publisher, they'd be they'd be getting on at you. They'd be like, "God damn it, Squidge! You might be the best author in the world, but this is not good enough." Stephen King doesn't treat us like this. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Whereas your boss is very reasonable, so it's um, it's it's fine. Um, yeah, <laughs> who's Ted? <laughs> Well, when you meet when you meet Ted Slick Mick, you be like, "All right, it's pretty good." Anyway, so I'm getting these flexors up on here for uh, for Mick and Scotty. Here we go. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Uh, but guys, yeah, thank you so much for being here. It's all good. It's uh, where we at? Here we go. Where we at? Oh, Slick Mick. Oh yeah, of course. You're up there, bro. The fourth. You, uh, recently been overtaken by G Ray and Squidge, but it, you know. You 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 held that second spot, that second place position for a very long time, Snake Mick. And uh, don't don't feel that fourth position is any less respectable. It's incredibly respectable. There's still uh there's still ten whole flexors between yourself and Atheline in fifth position, so it's you know, you're up there. You're in you're in the leader pack. You know what I mean? There's there's four of you up there. Uh, and Scotty, twenty fourth. Just overtaken Coptimus Crime. My God, I'll be I'll be scared to overtake Optimus Crime. Because then he's behind you, and then you don't you can't. You know who knows what he's going to do when you can't keep your eye on him. <laughs> yes. Jesh, how are you doing, Jesh? Are you well? Um, here we go. Let me. Uh, sorry, just shuffling this around. Scott, you're seventh. Cop, get down to eighth, sir. That's fine. Um. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing. I've uh, I'm a massive Stephen King fan. Uh, Af, I really am. However, I haven't read. I'm trying to think what his like newest novel is that I've read. It's not recent. Let's just put it that way. And I've kind of heard anecdotally that some of his newer works over the past few years are just kind of like not as good as some of his earlier w work here we go um no i don't oh, okay it's got its own page his bibliography okay um um yeah so although it's like its own thing i you know uh the dark tower what else we got here uh yeah i've no, really not got on well behind uh yeah so the dark tower books to, the final dark tower in 2004 uh and then the the previous uh non-dark tower book was from a buk and that was 2002 i haven't read any steep any anything stephen king has put out in the past 20 years basically um and he's got quite a few i assume they're good but i've heard anecdotally that they're not as good as some of his earlier stuff so i don't know but yes you, you that's the thing, isn't it, Af? You, you, when you've got that built up, that kind of name, he could poop on a piece of paper and be like, this is my new novel, Poop. And they're like, Stephen, there's no words. And he's like, are you telling me what I can do? And they're like, no, sir. <laughs> Wolf, how you doing, Wolf? Are you there? Well, Root, how you doing? Root, you did a little cheeky little stream last night. It was a bit too late for me, but uh, it would have been too late if I'd known about it. I mean, I could have caught a bit of it. Um... I shall endeavour to keep an eye out. Catch catch you for a minute before my bedtime, maybe. Um, but did you have a good one? And how's uh, how's Fallen Order? I'm a. Uh, let me ask you this, route. Are you a big Star Wars fan? I'm not. I'm not against it. I'm just one of these weirdos who's not like really into Star Wars, like most people are. Um. J Jess, you well are you, bud? Excellent. I'm, I'm, I like I lo I love your attitude. Do you know what I mean, buddy? If I'd been some, I might still be salty about what happened to you the other week. 
Um, so is that your feeling, Af? If they just don't edit his books, <laughs> oh, you, oh, I've got a new book. They don't even they don't even read it. They're just like, okay, let's just send it to the publisher. Um, uh, did you feel that? I don't know. I like Dark Tower. It's it's like weird and. Uh, but I didn't like feel like it was like janky or anything. Um, Lupo, how you doing there, Lupo? Um, you're good, are you, Wolf? I'm pleased to hear that, buddy. Um, yeah, maybe it's just because it's too weird. Af, I don't know if anyone else has read the Dark Tower series. It's just very, very weird. Um, so they probably like, well, how how do we even edit this? Yo, disastrous. How you doing? Um. Oh, did Scotty stop by? Rue, excellent, cool. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm pleased to, uh, I'm pleased to hear that. Did Chuck a stream on? Just a little stream. Oh, D and D got cancelled. All these, all these folks playing D and D. Where's my D and D? I've only got the one D. Uh, <laughs> I have ne neither a dungeon nor a dragon. If I had a dragon, Squidge would be right here on the stream with us with the dragon. Um. And I do not have a dungeon. Uh, that can go either way. Like a dungeon, I feel, could be could potentially be a good thing. Uh, I feel like most actual dungeons are not good places. Um, you know, but... Um, yeah, I was, I was not, not the other... Anyway, you know what I meant. Uh, but maybe one day, maybe one day. Um... interesting route my my problem route is of course uh finding the right time it kind of messes me up but yeah just to give you i'm i'm most of you have probably heard this before I'll, I'll keep it brief but just uh just for roots benefit um i uh i did when i was a youngster i did get into dungeons and dragons uh in terms of that system we're talking like second edition it was pretty old school um but we were kids we didn't really we got the concept but we didn't have like the um you know that serious adult mindset um to get the most out of a, you know uh tabletop uh, rpg um and we uh you know we dabbled in various other uh, game systems and stuff but nothing really uh really went anywhere um and it wasn't like as satisfactory as i uh would like it to be no i've been out of the loop for 20 years basically uh dungeon dragons fifth edition everybody plays it and i'm like oh how <laughs> i don't get back into it i don't know i don't know but uh, I, I appreciate that though. um <laughs> yeah it, disastrous i will say that's a weird one isn't it um I could never imagine doing that. I could never imagine an author, but he feels like that's kind of a uh, a faux pas. Do you know? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. If anyone's not aware, spoiler alert. Uh, in the Dark Tower series, he's not going to ruin it for you if you want to read it. it uh, Stephen King is a character in his own book. Um, I think he's trying to put across some kind of like weird metaphysical, uh, philosophical point. But he is a he he exists in his own story as himself. Um, yeah, I don't know that I'd ever do that if I was a writer. Um, he's not big enough. Think oh, he's got some Stephen King hate going off on now. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, I, uh, I, I mean, I do, I enjoy his writing, um, but, uh, he's, yeah, I don't, I don't know, he's, um, he's got some weird ideas, I don't know, he seems like, he seems like what he is as a human being, you don't become that unless you've gone through what he's gone through and had his ridiculous amount of success, like it's moulded him into some weird enigma, that is very unique but certainly isn't always right and certainly you know his artistic ideas maybe people go oh yeah that's amazing and then it's not 
they're not looking at it objectively um yeah scott it's weird yeah <laughs> imagine if you did scott if you did an audio drama one of your audio dramas you appeared in one of your fictional stories but you weren't playing the, just voicing a random character it was you yeah it, it's <laughs> it's a bit weird um You okay? All right, well, you're not a huge Star Wars fan, okay? Hmm. <laughs> oh, interesting. That's interesting. Like I said, I'm not against Star Wars. It's just I'm not. I'm just not into it. But what little bits I've seen of uh, that game, it does. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a good video game at the very least. Um. Um Yeah <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's so long ago since I read it. It's it's very weird, isn't it? It's like I, I like I don't know what point he was really trying to make. And he doesn't you know, he's not like hanging around as a as a main character in the story. It just he appears briefly. Um uh, Again, I won't go into the, too many details, but basically, like the setting of the Dark Tower series is, it's like, mul you know, it's like you know, like um, the Sandman. It's like multi-dimensional weirdness; anything can go. Uh, it's like that, but on cocaine. Um, basically, so it's not you know, he himself, his character, is not hanging around for ages, interacting with loads of other people and stuff. Um, but he he is he does appear there and he's like what uh, what I don't get it I just don't get it I don't know I don't, it's weird it's very weird um to be fair he did almost die like a couple of years before he finished writing it so he might have um you, it, who knows when your life flashes before your eyes what goes through your 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 little brain do you know what I, mean? I don't know um. Does he? I don't remember that. Okay, I've forgotten that. Oh, he's also responsible for saving the world. Okay. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, I guess the point is he created the rest of the world. So, obviously, you know, he's... I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember that, uh, Atheline. I guess maybe it's technically worth a reread, but... Also, it's too... Um, I don't know. I, you know, I don't have time to read Squidge's book, let alone a book I've already read. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's true, and I don't mind that because I remember in um, in Thinner, he's uh, he's just like the guy. He's like the the uh, the got the pharmacist, the chemist, and the you know the character goes in and like buys something, and then he wanders off. You know, what I mean, you, you see him for like he's there on the screen for like thirty seconds, but yeah, it's kind of um. A strange stipulation, isn't it? Hey, can we make a, a movie of one of your books? Um, yes, sure. And you can do whatever you want. And I don't care who makes it or what happens in it. I don't even care how much money I'll get. But I have to be in it. Oh. No, yeah, no not as a main character. I don't know. I'll just, just stick me in it for uh, 30 seconds. i just got to get my face in there. Just get my voice in there briefly. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Um... Not every single adaptation of every single one of his books, um, but a lot, a lot of them are. Um, and you're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I always get that vibe as well with like, um, like filmmakers who uh, put themselves in their film. Like, here, oh, I'm, I'm the writer, I'm the director, I'm the producer, and I'm also the star of this movie. Yeah, like, okay. Well, you've obviously got a very strong vision. Um, but it's almost like maybe they the first thing of those that came to pass is they were like, I'm making a movie and I'm starring in it. I don't have a script yet. I don't <laughs> I don't have anything else yet, but that's that is the bottom line here, folks. You know. Um who knows so. Yeah, Quentin does it a bit, doesn't he? I mean he's never the star, but um he's like 
hey, just to let you know, <laughs> it's me, that crazy guy. I made this. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, I do like him as a movie maker. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. If it, I mean, if it's coming from a place of, um, I mean, for, we all have ego, and you all, we all, you need that to survive. You know what I mean? Um, but you know, it's uh, it's important to keep it in check. Um, you can't, you don't want to push it too far. Uh, yeah, Kevin Smith, he's in all his movies, but I mean, he doesn't say anything, so. <laughs> He's not in all of his movies. He's in all of the Jay and Silent Bob. Uh, and what else was he? Did he? Uh, he's obviously uh, Clerks. Did he? Uh, did he appear briefly in Dogma as well? I don't know. But he, like I said, he's mostly not said anything. I mean, he's just he's Silent Bob. He's like, um, hmm. Fair enough, Scoy. And to be fair, Root, they are very much like that. It's, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it, a, a lot of his, uh, most of his movies are, do have that vibe. So good on him. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird uh, conundrum, isn't it? Like, where do you draw the line? And that's the thing, when it comes to art, you can't, nobody else can, like, tell you there's no right or wrong. Like at the at the uh, base level, there isn't a right or wrong way of doing art. You just do what you want. If the artist is satisfied, so it's successful. It's up to other people whether they like it or not, or how you know in what regard they hold it. Um, it's uh, simple as that, you know. And I suppose it's good in a way if you if you don't care what other people think. You could argue that makes your art more valid in a way. But um, it's, it's interesting. Maybe they're kind of like so caught up in themselves that they can't... There's so much of themselves in their own art that they have to put a nod to that. Whereas some artists will... They like this idea that they and their art are separate. Like, here is the art I am making. I have made it. Now that's out in the world. There's nothing to tie me to that art now, apart from, you know, the fact that my name is... A, everyone knows that I made the art. But, you know, in the future, people might look at that and not know that... Not know me. And, sh and surely that would be the purest form. Rather than you, like, watching a Stephen King movie, like, 100 years from now, and they're like... Oh, and actually, that guy there—that's the guy who made, who wrote this story. And then, and then like, oh, what, why, why is he in the movie? Because you know, he thinks he's great. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's not, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Um, um, yeah. I mean, every, everything's interesting, Sky. Uh, with the, giving the right context. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. I, um, I appreciate it greatly. Uh, what else is, is anything going on in the world? Anything you guys want me to address specifically? What is, uh, let's see, what's going on in the world? Um, okay, there's a Five Nights at Freddy's movie coming out. Now, I've not really played that game too much. Um, too much, I've not played it at all. I've seen bits of people play it, and it looks weird and confusing to me um i know uh my stepbrother jack he's uh he's was into it when it was um a couple of years ago i don't know if he really plays it much but um it's like a weird horror game isn't it where like toys come to life or i don't, I don't even know what it is exactly <laughs> um i'm making a movie so is it the question is is it going to be like a full-blown horror movie it must be surely must be. Can't imagine what else it would be. Um, but, uh, yeah. 
Uh, Lupo, I don't know if you're still there, buddy. You, uh, yeah, I'm looking at your new emote on uh, Twitter. You did, you did drop it when you uh, stopped in. But uh, are you changing all your emotes then, buddy? To match your uh, new VTuber? Um... Let me uh, get rid of that. Um, let me see if I find anything interesting. No, God, you look at global news and it's like, ugh, it's. I don't even want to look at it, honestly. Um, let's see if there's any Twitch news. There we go. He's there. Yeah. You're swapping them over. See, I, I like Seven. How you doing, my dear? You, you well. Um, yeah, I've never seen Night at the Museum uh, route, but yeah. Um, you, <laughs> Squidge was beyond terrified. Let me, um, sorry, let me just. Uh, um. I'm trying to go look at my own emotes. I'm looking. I'm trying to look for. Uh... Oh, I don't know why it's only showing mine. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here anymore. I've got my own and my Franco face emotes here, but oh, there we go. Oh, I was on the wrong page. Here we go. Here we go. I think I've got a sub to you at the minute, uh, Lupo. Yeah, look at all, look at Lupo's emotes. Excellent. His little his little grey wolf. I've been using a bunch recently. There we go. That's Lupo's emotes. Freaking wonderful. I love them. They're all going to change, bud. Are you, now are you just changing the uh, coloration to your new your new uh, wolf, your new uh, uh, wild dog? You see, oh, the the color. Okay, so you're going to keep the vibe. Excellent. It just seems like I I I've been using a bunch of them recently buddy i'll just um as long as the new ones are as good then that's fine you know what i mean <laughs> it's not fine <laughs> what is fine is you doing whatever you want sir just ignoring me <laughs> lupo's like oh my, i'm allowed to is can i <laughs> can i is it all right if i <laughs> just give me a slap um uh people are going nuts because they're only a black little mermaid like people need to get a hobby don't they seven it, it, we're supposed to be in the era where your ethnicity do it doesn't it doesn't matter it's like it's not a thing we've got better we've got more interesting and better things to be spending our time and energy on right some people haven't some people are just still living back in the past because they're um so what well, they've not got enough video games to play son and, and I, I mean I, don't, I mean some people do so don't hate me on me says who gi who gives a flying fizzle about little mermaid God, some people are gonna, some Disney fans are gonna come after me for that. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. Disney, you can jog on. I've got no interest in you. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, I didn't realise that, Scotty. Damn. And and obviously the ghosts of the children uh, are, you know, they're, you know, they're they want revenge. They want justice. Because um, obviously, when you become a an evil spirit, um, you know things get twisted, and you kind of you blame people who you know it wasn't their fault. Um, interesting. Excellent. Perfect, Lupo. Well, you know. It, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, you're a wolf, so and you're about wolf, so it's like, doesn't uh, you know? It's like, I just really, I just really like the the uh, the level of artwork of them. So if you're just like gonna switch them over, but yeah, they're uh, your new ones looking good. Got a happy boy. Um.
Root, yeah. It's <laughs> people were fucking crazy. What? Spend your time. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> a fictional character. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Um, do you know what I mean? It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like, fi <laughs> find, a, find a better hill to die on. Do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's, it's the hill we're going to die on. Have te terrible aspirations for yourself, don't you? <laughs> uh, Squidge, you get on some work, my dear. We'll, we'll speak to you later, no doubt, before we uh, finish up today. Um, yeah, so it, it's a Danish myth. Okay, well, so what? But yeah, like, so actually, so what? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> ginger representation i mean how about how about we stop trying to represent uh, you know what i mean like the only thing you should identify as is yourself truly you're an individual you're not like anybody else i'm not like anybody else you each of you is not like anybody else lean into that lean into it Anything about you that's like other people is not like the real you. Does that make sense? I don't know. You're unique. The thing that makes you unique. That's the thing. That's you. That's the real you right there. Um. <clears throat> I don't even remember the story of the Little Mermaid. <laughs> I, you know, I think I actually went to see it at the cinema when it was released as a little kid. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I remember enjoying it. Uh, mostly Sebastian. Under the sea. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how the song goes. I was singing the song for you. I don't really know. That's been how, that's how long it's been. I've not watched it since. Do you know what I mean? That's, uh, that's kind of gives you an indication of how much of an impression it left on me. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Root, it's that kind of, it just, it, it concerns me, Root, like the people are, like if someone actually really felt strongly about that, right, if you're talking about it, one, that means you've got nothing better to do with your time, and that means you kind of, you know, you're a, bit, a little bit sad, aren't you? There's too much to do. I'm, I'm going to live to be 100 years old, and that's not going to be enough. If I live to be 1,000 years old, that's not going to be enough. There's too much stuff, cool stuff to do. Don't waste your time on that bullshit. Um, you know, but uh, I don't know. It's, I had another point as well, but I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. Um, Yeah, trade uh, trade voice for legs. Oh, I didn't. Remember, I I knew she made some kind of deal to be able to have some legs to be like a human, um, but I couldn't remember what the, uh, was that. She she can't speak, so she's like, and this guy's like, "Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you." And she's like, eh, showing off like, Ooh, "Look at my legs." <laughs> uh, right, and then there's two endings. Right, okay, so there's the... They get together, live happily ever after, and she may or may not get her voice back. And there's the... He's like, Yo, I'm only into chicks who can speak, love. Yes, nice legs. You, you can stop showing me your legs. They're nice, but not nice enough, because I'm all about the vocals. Uh, <laughs> and she's like, Oh my God, you broke my heart. Jumps in the sea, and she's gone. Uh, interesting. What was the uh, what was the ending of the, the original Disney one? The seven... Uh, it doesn't even matter. It's a very, it's a very basic story. As long as, as long as people watch it and they're entertained by it, so be it. Um, and all oh, right, okay, Root. So for the Disney version, they went with the the ultimate uh, 
oh, going to have the best ending. I think ever since um, the Bambi fiasco, they, I think Disney just like went too far the other way. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's it's got to be the ultimate best ending. It's got to be the, the S rank ending, 100% ending. <laughs> can't, you know, can't have things going wrong. Can't be upsetting the kiddies. Um, Oh, oh, I didn't even know there was a second one. How curious. Very curious. But yeah, I won't have time for any of that. Um, uh, what's, what's this? News article from today. Uh, from uh, marketingdive.com. Uh, what Twitch's revenue share shift means for streamers and marketers. It's not shifted, though. I think... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Sa uh, Sarah Karlovich could have uh, named her article uh, a little bit about. Uh, yeah. Um, by moving all streamers to... Oh, okay, they did, sh oh, they did shift, didn't they? They've shifted the 50-50 split. They've down graded it for partners who had it at a better rate but yeah i don't know if anyone knew about that because there's a um there's a lot of hullabaloo about it recently not only have they not improved it they've actually made it worse for partners <laughs> um and their reason is like hey you should just run more ads basically you get more money if you run more ads uh yes which could undermine the user experience uh, sarah no doubt no doubt that's why i personally do not have automated ads on this channel nor will i ever even though if i did i'd increase my i think it, we worked out it's like 15 percent rev like ad revenue i'll get of whatever the ad makes i'll get 15 percent, and you can up that to 55 percent if i have automated ads but i'm not going to do that because that makes the show shit because i believe what we're doing here everything everything i say it's worth saying everything we do when we're playing the game is worth seeing and, and it's you know this isn't just like a random shitty daytime tv show where you're just like oh i, I missed a bit it, it doesn't matter because it's not that important you know so you know and there's no shade at streamers who want to do that you know every stream is different every community is different um but i feel that to implement that is to have a certain level of lack of respect for your viewership i've even i've even seen it people who do it they go they're like you know, imagine if i didn't uh, 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 an ad's popped up right now and i was like um and red mage was like oh yeah sorry sorry uh is an ad popped up uh just then i missed what you said and my response was well, you should just sub then, shouldn't you, Red Mage? I've literally seen streamers say that to their viewers. No, this has to... Speak... The devil, there is. Uh, you know, this has to be... Yeah, oh my god, this... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Uh, you see what I'm saying? You have to... For you guys to respect me, I have to respect you. And that's... And I have to treat you all as equals, all as individuals. Um... You know, whether you, uh, you know, you, you never had a sub uh, and, you know, you just like hanging out and that yeah, that's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm honoured to have you here. I'm honoured. You're giving me your time. Or whether you like, you know, like Ryan, Ryan's like, eee, what's going on? It's <laughs> 69 gift subs. There you go. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, or any anywhere else on that spectrum that is you're all equal you know i can't i don't want it and the and one argument i've seen for this folks is they'll say oh well that removes um pre-roll ads for people coming in okay yeah that's that's good it's, it's a good thing I, if i first I switch to turn off pre-roll ads permanently i would turn it off because if any, anyone who's not usually here clicks on my stream i don't want them to have to watch a 30 second ad I want them to just be here straight away. But there's, there's no way to get around that. Unless you run more ads, of course. Which is why they have it. To encourage you to run ads. But, here's the crux of that. 
people who use that argument, what they're essentially saying, streamers who use that argument, oh, free roll ads, remove those. They are saying that potential new viewers are on some level more important than your current viewers. Wow. Just think about that for a minute. You guys are important to me. Oh, but that random guy, Joe Blogs, John Doe, uh, you know, you know, Bussy McBusface, whoever, they're, they're more important because you're because you're already here. You're already committed to me, so I have to put less energy to you towards you guys. I've already got you on the hook. I don't need to care about you anymore. Bullshit. You guys right here, right now, um. You know, I, I hope there are new newbies who come in who join you guys uh, and become one of you guys. But until they do that, you guys are more important than them. So I think that's a bullshit argument. Um, anyway, what else was what else they saying? Hey, doing red mage, you well, buddy. Um, Uh, is, I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's anything more interesting in this article that's actually. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. How much? How profitable is uh, is Twitch? Well, we don't actually know. Uh, so in revenue for 2021, they made an estimated 2.6 billion b b billion dollars. Now we don't know what their costs are, so we don't know how much of that is actual profit. But 2.6 billion for a period of 365 days uh, seems like a lot. It seems like a lot of money. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of people they employ at Twitch to do stuff. <laughs> you know, um, it's all about the profit, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, and the article ends with essentially uh, someone I missed there. Uh, Chris Mayer, senior vice president who leads the gaming esports group, whatever. Uh, says, uh, I don't think there'll be a massive shift in advertising dollars because of this change. Because, essentially, uh, Twitch is the leader in the, in the streaming market. So until... Until YouTube gives them a little slap and knocks them off their pedestal, um, things ain't gonna change for the better. Yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, Scotty, it sounds the way they'll act, isn't it? It's like, oh, we haven't got any money. Um, anyway, I'm backing up because I'm a little bit behind for you guys, so I want to see what you've all said. Um, Oh damn! Except for that's that's I like the I like the uh, the mermaid siren uh, connection, but the fact that she kills herself is not good. Uh, but she's a stuck up bitch, was she? All oh, right, cool. That's not too bad then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't live if I'm not hurt. Yeah, you can deal with it. Um, the thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Rich. That's, you know, I'm not trying to say like, oh, aren't I amazing every single second? But if you if you if you're putting out a stream and you're saying that what is happening here on this stream for five days a week for seven hours at a time is is of value, is important, is of worth, why are you actively choosing to slap ants all over it, missing the content? You know, imagine if uh, you watch Netflix and then halfway through there's an ad pop up. But not only does it pause the show you're watching to get like a 30 second ad, you're actually missing 30 seconds of the show and you can't go back and watch it. No one would no one would subscribe to Netflix. <laughs> they were like, what is this shit? St stick it up your bum bum. Um, you know, I'm, you know. It... But anyway, how are you doing, Red Mage? Yeah, well, that was... <laughs> I don't know. That was a bit of a... <laughs> 
bit of a, a summoning there. I don't know what happened. I hope you don't mind me summoning you like that, Red Mage. I know you don't. I know you're um, very magically inclined. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, the Matrix is... Um, do, who, has anyone seen the, the newest Matrix movie? I've heard mixed things about it. Um... Really, Red Mage? Interesting. Okay, they're cool. I'm glad. I'm glad. You know what I mean? The only ads I want anyone to see uh, are when I take a one or three minute break. Which, you know, in a seven hour stream, you guys know I don't take many breaks. I don't. It will usually will take, I'll take like one three minute and one one minute break. The rest of the time I'm here. And I, I figure like I might as well run ads. I don't know, I want you guys to watch them. You can mute the stream. You can check your social media. You can, you can you do whatever. That might just nothing's going on, so I might as well get like five cents. Do you know what I mean? Because so, <laughs> you know, because then after like after a month, I've got an extra dollar. That's literally how it. <laughs> you know, it all adds up, doesn't it? You know what I mean? But um, oh, Red Major over nine thousand. I'm pleased to hear that, sir. Um. interesting seven you got <sighs> yeah <laughs> um oh he, he, and he literally is over nine thousand aren't you red mage he's like oh, I'm like, oh you're over, over he's like no is on over nine thousand i was like god damn red mage I'm glad. <laughs> he's uh, he's he's doing well. He's flexing out of uh, control. My God, he's he's up there. God, bro, bro, brother from another mother is Red Mage, aren't you, sir? Uh, where is he at? God, he's um, Atheline. He's just equal, Joe. What are you gonna do about it? Got a strong sixth position. 25th flex boom thank you kindly sir it never gets old I, if i can just if i can just do a shouty voice for a few seconds <laughs> a couple of times a stream uh and that is entertaining to you guys then that's that's perfectly fine by me um i never get old i, I don't plan to seven um I, I plan i plan to not get old in every sense of the word but we shall see I can't, I can't predict the future. I can't plan the future. All I can really do is um, take things one day at a time. And, you know, the fact that you guys want me to be here each day uh, inspires me to want to be here even more each day. So let's, let's see how long we can go for. Um, <clears throat> uh, seven, thank you. T my God. Well, it'll be a whole year before long, seven. I have to have a like, little anniversary party or something. Yeah, and I know you like it long. What? Well, sorry, that. <laughs> sorry, shit be slipping out of me sometimes. I. It's that coffee. It's that caffeine that's in me. Uh. Sorry, seven. I shouldn't make any assumptions. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I think I think that's we've just about wrapped up everything. Um. Yeah, because, you know, a few weeks ago, there was people, like, being like, oh, Twitch is scum. Time to go to YouTube. And I'm, like, sat over here, like, okay. And then th th three weeks later, they're still on, you know, and they haven't gone to YouTube. And I'm like, okay, well... You, you know, don't... Don't wait for other people to do stuff. You want to do something, if you believe it's the right thing to do, just do it. Don't be like, oh, I think you... I think Twitch is crap. And I think YouTube is better. Okay, so why haven't you moved to YouTube then? Yeah. <laughs> well, all my friends are still on Twitch, so I need everybody to come with me. No, no, you don't. You don't. Anyway, thank you for that alert, Red Mage. You see, he's getting on his duty. Um, <clears throat> coffee treat? What's Root getting out of the, the refrigerator? Now, do they mean... 
It's like a cold coffee. Or does root mean they are drinking their coffee right now and they're having a little a little snack with it? Oh my god. Um Either way, uh do I need to pee right now? I don't think so. I think it's time to get into uh Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh we're making that chunky progress. Uh <laughs> It, like every, every stream we like more progress more, we're, we're getting there we're getting there we're like uh level 20 now which is kind of like kind of you feel it's like an end game kind of level to be um we are halfway through exploring the hissing wastes i'm gonna we, i didn't even go back to skyhold we're right there we're gonna wrap that up and then i believe we've explored the whole of the game in terms of uh you know land mass area places to go then we're just on to the main quest and anything else that pops up along the way. Root. Um, can you... He wouldn't survive. <laughs> this is why we need teleportation, folks. I could, you know, I could be like, yo, Root, uh, I'll stick... I have my teleportation device here. Stick my hand and mug through to root and roots like there you go have, have a little taster there it is and i could uh be like ow because it sounds like it um now let's not dwell on what else could go through the teleporter but um um yeah yeah no it's on the same seven um it is yeah and i think you uh you you hit the nail on the head there root it's um it's a treat isn't it i feel it's nice because you've got your caffeine in there and, that, and the flavour of coffee uh, works well as a cold uh, you know, a cold temperature um, as well. But it's more like a, a sweet treat rather than kind of like, this is my drug to, <laughs> to uh, help me engage the, the day. Um, damn. Yeah, right. That's... Um, <laughs> under, <laughs> it's directly under the sun's taint. Well, I don't know. You gotta, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Not much you can do. You do, do the best you can. Yeah, maybe... Because um, I think uh, Seven lives in a, uh, you know, a more, uh, more temperate climate. Um, so maybe it's like, well, it's all what you're you know, used to. So maybe if you live down in Texas... Uh, seven you'd be like oh actually i could go for some keep keep your hot coffee but yeah no, I, I do agree i like both but i'm um i'm not stocking up cold brew in my refrigerator like scotty does um and uh Sween does less than half the state is on fire now i didn't even know it was on fire jeez what the hell One day ago, wildfires continued to burn in Washington. My God. The five large fires. My God. The NICC, I don't know what that stands for, defines a large fire as any wildland fire uh, in timber 100 acres or greater. What? Okay, well, a, a month ago, apparently there was 18. So I guess if it's down to five and making progress, I don't know. Jesus wept. My God. I'm glad I'm not on fire right now. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, ge I mean, generally, firemen get um, paid fairly well. But yeah, that whole... Off you go. You'd, at any moment, you've got to go and also risking your life and all that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah. God, things I come out with. Uh, yeah, well, I'm glad you're not on fire as well, Seven. That would be a that'd be a problem. I wouldn't like that. Um, 
little stretch. Okay, yeah, let's get into uh, Dragon Age. Thank you all for being here. Don't, don't you know, feel we... I will address anything you uh, want me to. You guys are more important in the game. It was a good game. I'm enjoying it. Um, looking forward to uh, see where we get to by the end of today's stream. Um... Oh, damn, Seven. You have some built for the heat, but obviously because everything's getting hotter, it's falling to pieces. <sighs> Humanity. We think it, we think we're on the, the edge. We think everything's permanent. Okay, watch this cam. Wait for it to freeze up. Give it like 30 seconds. Let me keep an eye on it. Um, what happened to it, uh, Root? Ukraine got it. <laughs> Not that I'm saying they shouldn't. I'm just saying... You know. Right. Okay, I'm not frozen yet. That's good. I'm pleased to not be frozen. Or on fire. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, exactly. It's... um. Oh, we'll probably want some. Probably want some sound. Um, oh, let's see where we're at and where we're going. Okay, we want to. We're going directly west from here. Got all this stuff to uncover and pick up. Now this was a giant cliff all around here. So presumably, once I get to that camp, I can um turn around to the uh the north there. I'm still not frozen? Okay, this is good. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd like to see a world where, um, I know, like, some people love, like, cars. Like, Squidge loves cars. She's just, like, massively into cars. Almost as much as she's into dragons. But, um, I could happily have a world where cars don't exist. Um, where, you know, transportation is, like, uh, kind of, uh, electromag trains that are, like, super quick. They're just, cut, like, grid, like, not, well, grid, I guess grid, uh, the globe. So that you can just, I can just go down the road and then two hours, jump on a train two hours later in Shanghai. Uh, you know, that would, that would be pretty cool, I think. Um... And then maybe for personal transportation, some sort of little like drone pod, you just jump in and just like flies you somewhere. I don't know. I guess it's all oh, that's too far out at the minute. I don't know. Um, but I don't know it's got to. There's got to be a better way. Um. You generally know a lot of stuff, anyway. Seven in general. Um, interesting route. You live up directly above train tracks. My God. Yeah, that would be the... Uh, and yeah, Scotty, that is the ultimate. The Star Trek transporter. Actual teleportation of your whole body and stuff across... I mean, does... um, I know, obviously, the, in Star Trek, the transporter has to, like, lock on uh and that takes a second or a minute um and then it can uh you know things can interfere with it and it needs like a lot of power uh and um i assume there's some level of like restriction in distances um but as we're not like sp spacefaring i believe you know that distance would obviously cover a, a whole planet um but um yeah that's that's really is really what we need Things would get uh, a little bit strange to start with, but um, overall, I don't see that how it would be uh, a bad thing. All right, me um, I want to drop our special on this uh, pride demon when I actually do the special. <laughs> I'm just dispelling. <laughs> Nice. 
seems worthwhile. We got a ghost version, and he's just gonna stand on the spot there, and then he's gonna die. Okay, got two here. Get rid of these. Boom. I don't care that he laughs at you. It's like this is funny for him. Just fighting to the death. It's, uh, it's all good fun. Yeah, I don't know. It's, yes, it's got, it, seems, it seems worth the risk, though. I, I, could, uh, go, I could go for that risk. And then, and then it happened to me, and uh, you guys were like, "Is you're, what's going on? Is you're exceptionally nice today." <laughs> uh, uh. That crap. Um. Yeah, because that's, you know, because everyone's like, oh, poor people. Ew, I don't want them near me. I don't want them being able to go places and do things. Oh, okay, so you're anti-human then, because you know what? Uh, most human beings are poor. Most of us are, you know, fairly on the poor side. <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, that's most human beings. You know, we say about the 1%. That's, you know. That's not us. <laughs> We're at ninety nine percent. It's um. And if I want to go on the beach, fuck you, bro. That's right. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's um. Interesting seven. I did not know that. I've never even heard the guy. Um. Evil is with total. <laughs> uh, po po yeah, I mean, it's possible seven, isn't it? Here we go. Like, yeah, uh, I started angling. I wanted to like work my way around again, cut do this coloring in. Uh, so and as we've got a rift there, and you know, I might as well head in this direction. I'm gonna get or get it eventually anyway. I think the outside edge is the more awkward bit as well, like heading up the cliff and uh, finding, you know, kind of establishing where that edge is, colouring in the uh, the middle bits, like the easy part. Relatively speaking. <clears throat> well, that's the thing, isn't it, Root? Would you know? Would you know? Um... I think I can hit those two there. Ow. Got slapped there. Yeah, I was gonna. I was just curious. I was gonna check up a poll. Maybe I'll do it in a bit. Um, or at the end of the stream. Uh, like who, who, who? Some of you have said, did you uh, 
some of you want to see me with a beard or long hair or even both i'm not planning on growing it necessarily but um i don't know because some people are like oh it's like you know you could take the uh, wow, that's so much nowhere yes are sarah there lights in the distance they may be campfires yeah let's have a look indeed um i know so i know like scotty wants to see the, the mountain man beard back but well, not back not back for me but obviously he's never seen it um yeah let's grab that okay want to head west from here Well, re your parents have excellent taste. I feel. Some people are just not, you know, just not into Star Trek, and, that, and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, I think um, there was like uh, I don't know if there's like reruns or well, it must have been like uh, uh mid nineties, early nineties, mid probably mid nineties. I was watching uh Next Gen. It was just like randomly on uh on tv like kind of early evening randomly i don't know what channel it was on um <clears throat> i think it was like buffy the vampire slayer and then start and then next gen or is like oh it's the other way around i don't know channel four it might have been bbc two i don't know they were like yeah this is good tv and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, in, I'm into this. This is cool. Uh, and then I just obviously my interest kind of uh, evolved from that. I think I was, I think it kind of, in the early noughties, I went like on a obsessive um, kind of like DVD collecting thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, I really enjoyed Next Gen. Let me get that. Uh, so I bought all the box sets of that. And then I was like, yeah. Um, yeah, let me just get all of them because it's just interesting enough for me. So let's uh, let's go exploring. Let's find out. Oh my God, you crazy kids! Catch up, please. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, it's cool. It's all good. <laughs> I saw that pride demon just stomping towards me. <laughs> oh, look at a snap. Yeah, I um, I believe I tried watching Enterprise like several years ago, uh, seven. Um, and I think I got like um, I don't know, maybe six, seven, eight episodes into it, and I don't know. I was just like, this is fine, 
but this is nowhere near as good as anything that came before it so now i'm like i don't want to watch what to me my perception at least is like subpar trek you know what i mean i'm like what it's got to be like drank i mean i have to i didn't i don't care about these characters i don't care about what's going on you, your storylines are like real basic and uninteresting and we seem like the the same similar thing like a million times done better in other star treks so what a, you know because i believe enterprise was supposed to be uh chronologically the very first one right the, the very first space the like, starship and then be, you know, and uh, that's quite a hook. But before you know it, Can't believe you're they're just doing like basic Star Trekky things, like oh, there's some aliens. Oh, okay, well let's do this. You know, what I mean, it's like it's like so ripe for other things, and it just seems like they're doing some weird copy paste downgrade thing with it. Um. It's brutal, is it, Roots? Yeah, I don't know. You let me. You guys let me know. I don't know, Scotty. Uh, you let me know. Um, sorry, lubing each other up. Okay, I missed that. <laughs> I missed that episode. <laughs> um, the original motion picture. That's a weird one, isn't it? I do think that's kind of a strange one. Um. Okay, interesting. It's a gift as mundane to me as your bow to you. Surely you see there's nothing to fear in a properly used tool. Tell that to all the proper mages waving their tools in people's faces. There's an image. What about Carithamus? How many proper tools does he have under him? That's not. I don't think I can continue. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I don't care how gifted you are. Don't cram it where it's not wanted. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Don't cram your tool where it's not wanted. Make sure your tool is, des you know, the place you're going to put your tool. Uh, make sure there's a, you know, that's a good place to put it. You know. Um, get some help in a minute, guys. Gas, gas. Oh my God, this is stuck up here, aren't they? Can't jump down places on their own. Oh my god, little spider. You're kind of disturbing. Ghost spider, though. Ghost spider's our best buddy. Oh, he died. Um. 
Greetings. Ours shall be the burden of knowledge, to take into the earth and prove us worthy. That's the chant of light. What? I know things. The righteous shall carry the Maker's word to every corner of his house. Have at it, weirdy. <laughs> right, okay, so... She's like, I'm just, gonna, I'm just here, chilling in the desert. We're just, you know, that's... That's just... Bring, gotta take the chant everywhere. <laughs> gotta convert these spiders here. Tell them, tell them about the chant. <laughs> oh... Yeah, fair enough. There you go. Yeah, you, you two share that in common. Among other things. Uh, yeah, I'm... I don't know. I've got... I've, I've just got that soft spot for uh, next gen. But I I would say uh, DS9 is the uh, close second. And you, and you could definitely make an argument it's the best show in a technical sense. Just because it's got that whole, um, there's no, you know, there's more, like, ongoing storyline and there's more, like, uh, you know, like, uh, politics and diplomacy and shizzle going on in, you know. There's still, you know, there's still plenty of, like, episode of the week, you know, with stuff, with just a random storyline and... You know, that's that, but, um, there's, like, more going on, so I think you could make that argument, but I don't know. Uh, don't like Dax, uh, the seven, what's that about? <laughs> it's got the hook <laughs> on Total Recall, is that, <laughs> is that your... <laughs> Is that your vibe, Scotty? Uh, <laughs> um, oh, right, okay. Uh, I do you know. I don't, I don't remember. It's been so long since I watched all this. Is there a lot of... Um... Ow. Oi, oi. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's do that. And that. There we go. <clears throat> um these two right here maybe yeah. Oops. Good, good door, and I'm glad you can do it all day. Uh, terror talons, oh my God. Oh, they are. 
Uh, okay, got a little, uh, little question mark this way. Aha, a little cave. Um, I don't know if I want to just eat myself down there. Okay, all sorts of question marks and caves. Okay, right, let's not just throw ourselves down there, eh? Uh, let's go this way. Okay, yeah, let's get to this camp. Um, okay. <coughs> Hottest? Um... Um... Uh... It's, um, it's quite, um, it's quite a question. Seven of nine is clearly the hottest. Um, maybe. Seems a bit, seems like a bit of an obvious answer though, Af. But I guess, you know, they're not, we're not trying to be clever here, are we? Just. Oh, now, am I, what the fizzle am I getting down here? I guess I'm going all the, the long way around, aren't I? <laughs> I love for the uh you guys are uh so opinionated. Um Right, okay. Now I'm here. I'm wondering if I... Oh, it's just... It's not down. It's not down in this little valley. It's up on the other side there. Okay. We can come back to this valley. This little ravine thing. Let's, um... Let's head back up this way. Get that camp and then keep wandering through the desert. Interesting. Someone was only in two episodes. Okay, I'll... it's been too long, obviously. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you know they um for a show like that they they you know it's not an accident they they choose good looking actors, is it? Do you know what I mean it's. It's, it's kind of uh can you act cool uh are you good looking uh if not we'll um we'll make you a ferengi we'll, <laughs> we'll just get we'll get you in uh we'll get you some into makeup you know he'll be we're one of the aliens here we go Hiding everywhere in this. Nothing to report, sir. Well, it's good that there's nothing. You know, no report is. No, no news is good news. That's what they say, isn't it? Okay, we're heading this away.
His swagger. I don't. I don't remember him. You mean just like walking around like he owns the place? I don't remember him being like that. I I think I may might know what you mean, Seven. I don't know. I remember him um being like somehow he portrayed, or even the show was trying to portray that he was somehow more cooler and badass than he actually really was in any way, shape, or form. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's just, he's just some guy. Yeah, he thinks he's, like, amazing. <laughs> Is that, I don't know. But I didn't have a problem with him. He wasn't a bad guy. But I'm just like, you're... Uh, what's, what's, what's going on, buddy? What's, um... I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's hard not to like data. Like if he uh if he was real, you'd like want to try and um try and be friends with him. You know. Let's see if you can like teach him a thing or two. Right, have we discovered the golden oasis? That's good. Um, getting down to it though, might be a, a different matter. I oh, know this should be good. I can't figure you out, Sarah. That's a surprise, isn't it? Uh, you just picked up a bow one day and poof, expert marksman, a veritable savant. A what? A savant, a natural, meaning you needed no training. Not your business if I do or didn't. Like, I don't ask if you naturally shoot fireballs out your ass or just opinions. I'll keep <laughs> that in mind. <sighs> it's funny. O'Brien, yeah, O'Brien's a good guy. Is uh, Discovery the one you're in the middle of at the minute, uh, Scotty? In the, in the watch party. There we go. We own this oasis. There's not much of an oasis, but never mind, eh? the lizards. Where's the oasis part? Isn't an oasis supposed to have, like, some amount of water? 
Even if it's not much. Or is this over here? No, I mean, there's a bit of greenery, but... I don't know. Interesting. Looks like I might have had at some point, but it doesn't now. Um... Oh wow, interesting. Cool, yeah, I like that. I like that uh score, yeah. It's a good way of doing it. It's um I think I might have done that myself. Because isn't there a bit of an overlap with the end of uh DS9 and the start of Voyager? And also Maybe even the end of next gen and the start of DS9. I don't know. I think it, maybe I'm thinking of a completely different TV show. I can't think what else it would be apart from Star Trek. Because obviously, they're not like the shows aren't related. There's not really any crossover. But it's almost like I like the idea that elsewhere, this other thing's happening at the same time. I don't know. Um, sorry, yeah, where are we going? Okay, uh, heading roughly north and east. Oh, there's something here, have we? Should we look around? We shall, we shall, Dorian. Oh, well, let's kill this lizard first. You are right there, Cassandra. And the lizard's not doing too well either. Everyone's not doing too well. Okay. This game's not buggy at all, is it? Dead. Yeah. Now she uses her special ability. <laughs> I do wonder sometimes. Yeah, it just works. And mostly it does just work, but then it's like, what was, <laughs> what was that? Work, yeah, it works better than anything Todd's had uh, his grubby f f fingers on. <laughs> 16 times the detail. 16 times my lack of giving a damn and grubby mitts on it. Yeah, right, Todd, whatever. Never, never trust you again, Todd. You understand? That's what you've done, buddy. You reap what you sow, sir. You, you know, so flames going to reap some ashes. I'm not. Take you 16 times the detail, and it just works. You know what to do with it, don't you, Todd? Yes, you do. Um, I just noticed uh, Dorian has leveled up. Let's get him this point. Number one necromancer. Um, if you're not unconscious, I. He shouldn't really be, uh, that shouldn't really be an issue for him. But, um, let's, uh, just keep maxing out his necromancy. I think, uh, in fact, um, Cassandra's got one of those, something similar to that coming up soon. It's like, not really an issue, but find and kill a legendary beast. Uh, Okay, it's like a super Vargest. Legendary Vargest. Okay, see, so it's not a dragon. It should be fine.
Yeah, and it's you're not like spoiling anything, but yeah, I I definitely like the idea of it, Sky. Like there is a distinct and uh, specific uh, order to things. Right. Okay. So it's got quite a, a large area. It could be randomly wandering around in. Is that it? Is that it? it doesn't look like it, does it? I don't know. Is it? It's just a random lizard. Yeah. It's got to be, um... You think roughly it's somewhere around the center. These don't look legendary. It's got to look different or something, right? It's got to look scary and ferocious or large or... Or something. Okay, let's head back down this way. Oh. Oh my god. Seven, that's cool. I would, uh, I'd like that. All novels and comic books. Well, Scotty, you're a uh, you're greater man than I. Um, so I know there's a lot of novels. There's a lot of Star Trek novels out there. And. Uh, some of it is like it's it's not definitive is it there might be like a random episode or book or whatever and you're like well i don't know where this goes i know it goes after it has to go after the x but it must be before y but with the other six things that are also in that position it could like go anywhere so it is it like open to interpretation at some points um But, um, you know, always worth doing, I feel. Want to run out in a, for a second, actually. Yeah, how many freaking books are there? <laughs> What? The Fizzle. I didn't realise there's that many episodes across the all Star Trek. 815. That's impressive. Um, and I mean, there's like what, 10, 12, maybe 15 movies. Sorry, 2300 plus novels by various authors. Jesus Christ. Maybe he's maybe he wrote one. I don't know, but <laughs> That's pretty insane, Scotty. I didn't realise and then eleven hundred plus comics. I didn't realise the Star Trek comics were even a thing. Wow. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's uh, that's nuts. I don't, I don't even think it'd be that much. I can't find this legendary Vargas though. 
Is it you? It doesn't look legendary. Maybe he's hiding. Maybe the legendary Vargas hides. It's just lurkers. Oh, he nibbled me. <laughs> I was just trying to be cocky now. <laughs> Respect Scotty. Oh, yeah, if you're going to collect something, there aren't any worse things to collect. Um, I don't know. I might just come back to this. I feel like I've. Well, you can see where we've walked. We've walked there and around there. So, unless it's like on the outside edge, I don't see. Never mind. I'll just get back to exploring. I'm colouring this map. Oh, bless Seven. That's cool. Penguins are cool. Yeah, I've gone through stages of collecting crap. I can't I have to make myself not do it anymore. Not that that stuff is crap, but I've got like two, um, two like caught up in something. I've got, I've got like, if I get an idea, I'll become like obsessive about it. Okay, I guess I'll. If I head directly south, I should be able to get into this little canyon from up here, I think. That's all close to it. Might as well go do an explore. Yeah, the canyon, indeed. Um. Oi! Oh wow, I like that the ghost spider can also spit venom. Wow, we're not trying to ruck with you. We're just passing through. God damn it. A mean as fuck, so oh my god. So we <laughs> So we uh so we're thinking, oh penguins, so cute. It's like no, they will take your finger off. That's a problem, isn't it? But it was pretty awesome though. Okay. Oh, Funko Pops, yeah. Root, my friend Murr, he's got like several hundred of them. And they're just like they're just like packed in boxes, and he's like, "What? Are, why? What? What? One? What? I? Why I've even got these? <laughs> and two? What the hell am I going to do with them? I do have a couple Funkos. Uh, literally, I got I have the Twin Peaks ones. Uh, just because I, you know, I just love Twin Peaks so much. And um, there's not many of them. How many have I got? I've got uh, seven individuals and one double pack. That's it." 
that's the extent of it. I'm never going to uh, get any more. Um, and that's, yeah, that's all of the Twin Peaks ones, and it's not like there's going to be Cassandra, more Twin Peaks have coming you out. Ever punched a bear? What? No. Why would I? Well, what's it for then? The training, I mean. You stand harder than Cullen's soldiers. Must be for something. I am a seeker in service of the divine. I am a warrior of truth. <laughs> all right, all right. Just seems like you could punch a bear if you wanted. Punch a bear. You could punch a bear if you wanted. Yeah, I mean, anyone could punch a bear, Sarah, but you're probably not going to survive. Oh my god. Yeah, she could if she wanted. Right. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Sky. You're like the main person I think of that you absolutely would enjoy it. Um, and you've got that analytical mind to get a lot out of the story as someone who is was also a, a um a writer of stories. Um I think Cage might have said he might have been like he piped up and was like, Oh yeah, I have been to that as well. And obviously anybody else is welcome and encouraged to join, whether you've seen it or not. You know, be aimed at as a showing for people who have not seen it. Um You know, but any anyone's welcome. Obviously, it'd be a stipulation of no spoilers on pain of getting yeeted out of existence. Um, but uh, I think I've... I think, do I have... How do I get down into this, this canyon? Do I just literally chuck myself down here? Um, I don't think this is the way to do it, but... I might just... How, how steep is it? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, we gotta drink a potion. Never mind. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, I mean, yeah, just set a date and go with it. But that's the, I, you know, I don't want to. I want it to be convenient to at least you, Sky. Um, so it's more like on you when when you when would you be available for that, sir? You see what I'm saying? That doesn't conflict with all of the many, many things that you personally have to uh, have going on. You see what I'm saying? It's a school note. Welcome to my shop. I'll be back soon. Bet you I'll make a change for you. <laughs> you doggo. Oh, wow. All right. Good doggo. Now, what's actually been sold here? Wow. Wow. F fancy, fancy stuff. That's insane. Helm of the Drasker. That's ridiculously good. Um, 6,000 gold, though. I mean, maybe we'll come back if we need to. Uh, was there weapons as well? No. Uh, open upgrades. Blank rune stones. Oh, some schematics. Oh, my God. Superb demon stain room. It's expensive. But this might be the only place we get it, so. Unfortunately, I'm. Have to, oh my. Oh, oh my god. I have to remember this place. God, look at the prices of all this stuff. Let's just buy the um, cheap ones, I guess. Yeah, I've got. Just rinse my money. I've got a lot more to buy. Okay, anyway, let's um... Sell those. Um... Oh yeah, I was supposed to slash those, wasn't I? Idiot. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, I did... Yeah, I did want to save that for a... Uh... Old what's his face? Bull. And that's a pretty good helm I could probably give to someone. Um Oh, Blood Wake, unique staff. I didn't even notice I picked this up. That's pretty amazing. It's comparable to Tempest. I don't got quite as good stats. Okay, we'll get that right on Dorian, I guess. I'm paying attention to what I'm picking up, obviously. <clears throat> oh. Got 
Chuck Palahniuk's book, Signed, Seven. What the hell? He's an interesting dude, he is. Aside from, you know, being the author of Fight Club. And obviously author of many other random books that I've not actually read. Um, he's a pretty interesting dude, in general. Um, we, uh... Yeah, Dorian, staff. Um... Different translations of the Odyssey. My God, Root, you, you folks. Yeah, I mean, that that could work a bit, a little bit later. But as it's a Friday. If there's any night, I would be staying up, Sky. Friday night's probably the best. And it's not too much later. But is that a night that you're available, at least? And obviously, the later it is in the day, the more available anybody else is. And there's no point in me running it in the middle of the afternoon. It's like, <laughs> my time is already. <laughs> um... Ah, interesting. Okay, I don't I don't think I've read that af. Would they? Okay, any particular reason? <laughs> yeah, like unfortunately like, people like uh Red Mage and Squidge would just not be able to be there but um i don't know they'd have any interest necessarily i'm sure red mage is just has a, a vague interest in everything every, anyway but um oh no he's still got something that's slightly better there or is it no it's not is it because it's less dps but it's got that plus 10 spirit damage on it there we go Oh, thank you, Doggo. For allowing me to buy your wares. Okay, so let's check this way first. Yeah, so we've got a little cave. And that's what I was looking at from above before. Let's get to the end of the canyon. In this direction. Obviously, there's an, the other angle that... L-shaped canyon that goes off to the, uh, the west from where that store was. And this just seems to be a, an entrance to it. Yeah, this, there's nothing actually there. Okay, that's cool. Yes, that's the original entrance we went to. And I was like, hey, let's not go there yet. Okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, there we go. So you just have to live with the fact, Red Mage, that uh, Atheline is... Uh, oh, for 9,000... Just gotta accept it, sir. There's no um there's no way around it. Uh <laughs> here we go, let me pause it there. Uh I've got oh my I do need to pee. Um Um I would be rushing around a little bit if it was on a Monday. Um because I'm making food and stuff like right away, and then I've got to like tidy up and stuff. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, of those two that you've mentioned, Friday night seems like the, the better choice. Uh, here we go. Let me get Aff's flex on here. Flex in the way.
Boom. 26. It's a Atheline Red Mage is a little bit like uh, G Ray and uh, Squidge at the minute. Right. <laughs> one just staying just a single flex ahead of the other. And then the other one catches up. And then they're like, no, you're not overtaking me. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to just take a second break. I'll be right back. Well, right, sorry to keep you there, folks. Um, anyway, seven, yes, go do your stuff. Uh, we'll see you back later, hopefully, uh, or any other time uh, uh, suits you. Um, yeah, I mean, are you up that early on a Sunday wanting to watch TV shows and stuff? Is Sunday like um one of your days off, Sky? Um, that could, yeah. So. Th of your initial, of when you said I said uh, a minute ago, um, Friday late or late on a Friday would probably be better. But um, uh, I would want to, um, depending on who's present and you know what the situation was, because it, not necessarily like discussing the plot, but I would definitely want the opportunity to, if anyone had any questions, they were like, oh, is what is going on at this moment what's what what you know they may have missed a, like a, a crucial point uh about something because it doesn't always necessarily make sense uh <laughs> um you know if someone's had a question i would want to like pause it and answer their question like a spoiler free question or if anyone like just had any comments and they wanted to like comment on something and i would comment on their comment so now obviously you've got your chat there it's one thing like typing a bunch of stuff out and it's another thing just actually having a, you know a quick chat about it. No, i don't mean like pausing it every like five minutes and then having a 10 minute discussion because that's not practical but i would want what i would want that to be potentially be an option um because it's not 
not everything in it is uh, obvious, should we say. And some of that's intentional, and some of it's like, you know, things could be easily missed, which could detract from somebody's um, enjoyment of it. Um, so obviously, late on a Friday, that would be, I can't be talking on the mic uh, late at night. Well, so that's a good type, but, oh, hang on a minute. I just... Oh, okay. This is another one of these little puzzles where you've got to get the right order, and I think I just got lucky there, <laughs> getting the first one correctly. After, okay, after many years, uh, Fyral, greatest of paragons, could not bear life's burden. Oh, dear. And with the burden growing, he called his sons to his bedside. Okay, that sounds like the second part right away. Um, he bade each son swear he would take care of his brother. And the brother swore and mourned when their father returned to the stone. Okay, so I'll, I'll, that just seems like the rock correct order there. Yeah, okay. That's fairly simple. Now to be another, another, another lad in a jar through here. <laughs> Right, mosaic piece. And no, it's treasures. Um, another key fragment. Okay. Uh, masterwork uh, schematic for a sword there. Uh, 20% guard damage. Mm, could be useful. Right, Tomb of Fire. Find the statue tomb's treasure. Oh, okay. It's its own quest. It's disappeared. Ooh. Yes, that's the second one of these we've done, the second key fragment. So I don't know if there's going to be a third one or... Uh... Ah, okay, yeah. Found the canyon tomb's treasure, done. Found the mountain fortress tomb's treasure, done. The statue tomb and the graveyard tomb, and then follow the treasure map to the tomb. So that... <laughs> Is that four or five? There's a lot of tombs around. Is that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the gist of it. Okay, anyway. Well, whatever. What we would need to do here is done. So let's leave. Got anyone think we're playing Tomb Raider? I can't even qualify that as a joke. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Um... Usually up by 8 a.m. I oh, Scotty. Yes, okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Whether I was like just briefly pausing things to answer questions or, um, you know, I, I would definitely want to, uh, ask questions uh, after the fact you know like what did people think of characters has anyone got any ideas about what might be going on etc um obviously that would uh, not be a thing I don't know yeah play, play by a you know I'm, I'm not against I'm, I'm willing to make the time for that but I just want to like I say, it's fine if it's just you and me, Scotty, but I would, um... I think more people who may be, like, interested would, uh... get st something out of it. Because it's like, I'm not... Once, once, <laughs> once, we do, once we do it, I'm not, like, gonna do it a second time. Yeah, or if I were, it'd be, like, several, it'd be, like, several years later. It's not like... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, definitely, uh, it's definitely would, something that I would, uh, be looking forward to. Right, okay, we're back up here. Um, okay, I'm going to just run directly north, I feel. Get back to where we were colouring in the map up that way. And maybe we might bump into the legendary Vargest on the way. Hopefully. Okay, let's go. I'm 
play. Hey, rat. Hey, doing there, rat. Are you well, buddy? Welcome in. How's your day? What's going on, my uh, young friend? Uh, Root, yeah. I've uh, played the Tomb Raider games for real this time. Did you not play them for real last time? <laughs> um, I'm not massively familiar with Tomb Raider. I've played the two, the first two of like, you know, the, the recent revamp of the Tomb Raider series. Um, and they're really, really fun games. If you, if you like the third person shooters with, you know, mild RPG mechanics, um, like crafting and is there leveling in it? I don't know exactly, but um, it's uh, they are very good games. The of the original Tomb Raiders, I think I, I owned and played a bit of Tomb Raider Two, but was uh, couldn't get into it. And now, I'd say even the unless you're like the most hardcore of retro gamers, the controls of the original PS One Tomb Raider games are awkward. They, they do not control easily, in my opinion, from my what I experienced. Okay, more, even more north. I guess we're going to go maybe this way a bit more. North, north and east. Um, you're doing good. Excellent. Pretty good nap. Uh, I've spent all day on Inquisition. Excellent. Whereabouts are you at in it, uh, Rat? Ah, hey, so it's the new ones, uh, route. Yeah, if you're not used to, uh, if some people are just not used to shooters, third or first person, and if you're not used to it, it's like, it's very awkward, particularly if you're using a controller. Aiming a gun in a video game is much easier with a mouse. Um, I'm not a fan of using mouse and keyboard with any shooter, though, just because, yes, your aiming's better, I don't like using a keyboard to like move around. I want an analog stick, uh, basically, to control my movement. Um, so uh, the difference between having an analog stick over a keyboard to move is greater than the loss of uh, a mouse uh, for your aiming over an analog stick. You can get used to an analog stick aiming. And you can also use your other your movement to in conjunction with it, rather than a mouse is very like you once you get used to your own sensitivity that you've set, you can it can be pinpoint with your accuracy. Um, but overall, I'd much rather, especially if it, I'd say especially if it's um, a third person shooter. But, you know, each their own, isn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, Af. Um, I'm... The only... I'm trying to think. What game would I prefer to just play with a mouse? Something like... Um, a literal point-and-click game. Um, Real-time strategy game. Not that I'm really into them. Um... Or kind of like, em like Civilization Empire building game. That's better with the mouse. So you're fat with it, right? Me? Are you referring to... Do you sleep on silk while gold shits down all over you? Are you rich? Uh. I left all that behind. Although I do miss the gold shitting from time to time. <laughs> you really left it? Me weren't all bad. There you go, Sarah. He's good. Dorian's good, really, Sarah. Come on. Give give him a break. Give him a little bit of slack. Um, anyway, hope hopefully you have a good day at work, Scotty. Or at least not a shit day. Either way. you got weird hands, have you, rat? Okay, interesting. Being the controller. Okay, don't get on with, on with controllers at all. Um... First, that's, that's, that's fair. Not all controllers are built equally, but um, interesting. Yeah, I feel I feel more comfortable. There are some games like I play like um, 
brutal doom with mouse and keyboard that feels perfectly fine but i think that's because that's just a bit more on the retro side I could, I could get used to it, but um, when I get around to playing this uh, Skyrim mod pack, you know, and when we played a bit of Skyrim on stream, I was like, I, I, I'm more, far more comfortable with the controller. Of course I could play it mouse and keyboard, but I just, I just want to play it controller. <laughs> oh, I suppose I play Final Fantasy XI all on keyboard. That's just because I was used to, and Naf, Naf thinks I'm weird. She's like, oh, don't you need a controller for that? I'm like, no. Um, but you don't use the mouse at all. It is literally just all on keyboard. I'm not messing around. I should be uh, disrupting this. So we'll just go for these two next to us. Yeah, um, it depends. I, I guess I don't think of Eleven as like a proper MMO, <laughs> as such. I, mean, I guess it was back in the day, but um, it's very natural for me to just use the keyboard. So basically, you use your um, it's kind of the other round. You use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move the camera, and you use the arrows on the numpad to move around. Seems weird. Aft's got it set up to use an actual controller. I've just never played with the controller, so I don't know. Uh, but thinking on 14, the Final Fantasy 14 Red Mage, I um I played that mouse and keyboard, and it's fine. Uh, I thought it'd be easier. My brother plays it on a controller and always has, and it looks like he's better at the game than me. <laughs> so obviously, if you set up all your hotkeys and stuff to do all your abilities on a keyboard, you're um. You uh, you like you're setting one thing as like you've got like 500 different things on you know like you can it's very easy to hit the wrong bloody letter. I need to like look which which button am I pressing? I need to look down at the keyboard. You just kind of have to know on a controller. It's, I need to look at a controller when I'm playing. Do you know what I mean? You just you know where all the buttons are, and if you know what they do, so all the abilities rather than being like spread across your keyboard, like you know. Oh, press Q for this, press W for this, press E for this. You know what I mean? Um, you know, you've got like your four, you've got your four face buttons. They will do a thing. You hold left trigger, the four face buttons do something else. You hold left bumper, for the four face... You've got like 20 different actions there just on your face keys, depending on what combination of like triggers and stuff. That's what it looked like from what little I've seen him play it. But it, it seems to like, oh, actually, maybe I should have just played the game on a <laughs> on a controller i don't know but you get you get used to anything won't you right 
Right, what is this? This is the Colossus. He's like, I am a big boy, and I am made out of stone. And I am putting a flag below you, saying, I, you, you belong to me now, buddy. And he's like, what? What would you mean? And that's, well, it's just, that's just the way it is. And we've got another little cave here. I bet this is one of the tombs, isn't it? Let's go. Oh. Oh, and another one. Yeah, I don't think that slow downs lag in the game. I think they're just that's just for like dramatic effect. Which I mean, it seems a bit weird, doesn't it? But <laughs> And here's a little bit of slow mo. Means that that means cool. Just in case you didn't realise that. <laughs> Yo, Metapods. How you doing, bro? Are you well? Meta, let's let me ask you this. What how do you feel about like a mouse and keyboard in a video game? You much prefer controller, I'm sure. But can you get on? Do you have any preferences? Does it depend on the kind of game? Look, more important than any of that. Metapod's like, hello, and I'm like, Metapod, twenty questions. Go. <laughs> He's like, I'm fine, thanks, is. Was that the first question? Bro. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's start let's start there. How you doing, buddy? Are you well? <laughs> uh all right, Sarah. We are giving you this flask mask, though. Chance to activate bonus potion. Dexterity bonus. Okay, we'll, that's, that seems good. So, so not bad, is it? Right, okay. Um, let's get through it. Oh, it's a little tree. Um, depends on the game. Of course, yeah, of course it does. Um. <laughs> Yeah, right. He's like, oh, is. I was just wanting as a nice, relaxing, you know, morning, and you just asking me twenty questions already. Do do behave yourself, uh, right? Okay, so we've got another little story here. Okay, let's um, let's see what we got. The surface where they would hide from the war that took their home. Well, that's obviously not the start of the story, is it? The strife that destroyed the tigers, sundered houses from weapons that. Clan used against clan. Mm, that's not the start either. Right, yeah. His own clan and his two sons followed Fyral to the pitiless surface. Right, here we go. Fire and Paragon fled from the strife his brilliance created. That sounds like I'm not beginning. The strife that destroyed Tyg sundered houses from weapons that clans used against clan. Okay, so that's one and one. Uh, his own clan and his two sons followed Fyral to the pitless surface. And finally, the surface where they retired from the wall that took them. Okay, so I think we've got it. So, one, two, three. And four. Another tomb. Indeed. Yeah, playing GTA on a keyboard. Blech. Right, okay, that's yeah, contextual keys. So it's all about that, isn't it? Um Weird. That wouldn't be the same on keyboard there. Yeah, I think a lot of PC games that, like, kind of either are... not Maybe not force you to play mouse and keyboard, but, um... Maybe they have it in their mind that, oh, yeah, PC gamers, they want... They want to be using every single key on their keyboard. It's like, you uh, surely you want to be using the minimum amount of keys or buttons, you know? 
Alright, interesting Sundering Ring. Serpent's Rage. Tier 3 Axe Mag. Nice. And, and of course, another key fragment. So we've got two more tombs to find somewhere. And then that will probably get us a, a key to awesomeness, I assume. The spider's back. Ew. Right, uh, uh, I guess we'll head down that way and get that Fade Rift. Oh. It's not getting around them, is there? So I can get around them, but then it sees the rest of the party and just goes on the attack. So it's. I guess we might as well just. Attack them if we get too close. Um, Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Uh, that's alright. Is he alright? Okay. Stardew Valley is better on mouse and keyboard. So I do have it on PC. And I just, the little bit of it I played now was um, on the controller. But I suppose if you, if you go in for, like, looking at it from the, like, all the inventory management, surely that's easy with the mouse and keyboard. You can Stop just click. You've not got to scroll through stuff. Familiarity would cure your suspicion of magic. I don't need to be familiar with your tool. Uh, Please stop saying tool. And consider how much magic can accomplish. There are benefits for you and everyone. As the Maker said, magic exists to serve. I don't care. <laughs> I like you, Dorian. Don't ruin it. No. God, Dorian. There was only one Cassandra. <laughs> yeah, we're about fighting those guys over there. Let's just get this fade rift. Yeah, she doesn't want to see his tool. I don't know why. Uh, what is that? A foot controller? Used for first-person shooters? What the hell, matter? What is? What even is that? You're better at Pac-Man with a keyboard. Oh. How interesting. How very curious. Oh, right, yeah. People have made like, weird, weird controllers. Like, can you make a controller out of a potato or a banana? Or, and I'm like, what? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I guess it, I guess it's, because as long as you, you can take a controller apart and as long as all the pieces are connected, to, so to speak, I don't know, like I said, I don't really get it, but, and then you just add extra stuff in and there you go, there you've, uh, you've got your crazy controller.
There you go. Done. Yeah, yeah, and on the control you have to get in the exact position, then press the button. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Because uh, Stardew is on the list for me to revisit uh, when you know people vote on it. I'm not like desperate to get to it, but I feel like it's um, enough people like love that game, and it's like it seems interesting enough that it would be worth a playthrough of it. Um, so maybe I'll take that under advisement there, Meta, and we uh. When uh, we do get around to it, I will just bite the bullet and just go mouse and keyboard. And just get over my fear <laughs> of not having a controller in my hands. <laughs> Yo, Mike. How you doing, Mike? Now, Mike, before I uh, get it wrong like I did it yesterday. Are you at work today, Mike? Are you not at work? Um... Yeah, I remember doing that, actually, Matt, on the controller, trying to water a bunch of, like, you know, and plant seeds and then water a bunch of crops. And it's like, then you'd like, I'd be standing not exactly the, the right spot. And it's like, <sighs> yeah. Obnoxious is probably a good word. It's not, obviously, you know. It does. Yeah, you're right. It depends on the game. It really does. Some games are awful to play on a controller and some games are awful to probably play on a, a keyboard and a mouse. Um, but just like running around at the moment in this, for example, if I was using WASD on a keyboard to run around like this, of course it would function perfectly well. It just would, it just would feel weird and janky. Maybe they got it, they'd have it somehow set up differently, so you kind of like. Um, kind of uh, just like hold like a mouse click and then just. Yeah, it's like your auto run. I don't know. I've seen all sorts of weird like setups and stuff. Um, okay. Um, uh, Missed that little nubbing over there. Sort of run over in this direction. You are at work. Oh, okay, you, so you're just chilling for 10 minutes before you start your shift, are you, Mike? And how's it going, bud? Is it is it still all right? They're looking after you. They're not taking advantage, are they? You know what these motherfuckers can be like. Um... I gotta find this freaking little uh, legendary Vargas stuff, am I? Let me get, go. I have one more look for him. Oh, that's a little camp there. I don't think I actually looked at that. Maybe that's where he's hanging out. He made a little campfire himself. <laughs> okay, so it's a Bronto. That's not what we're looking for. Right, oh, well, this is, um... <coughs> Sorry, state of affairs for the people whose camp that was. How to find a legendary Vargast. I don't know. Does anybody know? You know what I mean? It's... Should I wander around in the desert randomly? It's... It's... That's the only issue getting the high ground. The draw distance isn't like... 
it's not like it's insanely good, is it? So it's. I don't know if I'm even like looking at it, you know. Hmm. Wasn't it in the oasis, was it? And I just didn't kill it. That's probably where a legendary fire guest would hang out. It'd be like, because there was a bunch of lizards and stuff there. I bet that's where it is. Come on, let's go. <laughs> um, tons of boxes and bags full of junk. Okay, Meta, right, you've, you've sold it for me. I don't know when we're going to get to Stardew. And like I say, I'm not personally in a rush to do it, you know, we'll, whether it's a year from now or five years from now. But I will, I'll dive in with mouse and keyboard and uh, see how I get on. It sounds like it's in the long run, it'll be uh, definitely more advantageous. Um, yeah, because it is within the, uh, the boundary of this... Uh, Of this marker, isn't it? Oh, ow! Are you the legendary bar guest? Oh, there's a green thing over there. Maybe that's it. I think I've seen a green one before, actually. So this boy's chunky, though. this thing actually I'm shocked if this isn't it actually let me just uh, get some of that yeah, it's very very tough got a lot of hit points yeah that, using one of those is barely are we bugged out again? <laughs> this oasis is... Wow, okay. Let me... Uh... Okay, now we're, we're off. <laughs> we're going again, okay. <laughs> oh no, we're frozen again. No, what? I can't make out what they're trying to do here. Was it? Okay, cool. I should have realised. I did notice it when we walked through here before. I was like, oh, that that far guest looks a bit weird. It's extra large and green. There we go. We've done it, though. That's what matters. Um, ooh. Yeah, what's, uh, what's, I saw you share that, Red Mage. What happened to the Stadia? They've just given up on it, but they are offering everybody a refund. Um, uh, yeah, no worries, Mike. Good luck at work, buddy. This is true. This is true. Uh, too too many waifus. That's <laughs> that's uh that's the problem, isn't it? Oh, 
Hang on, let me decide what I'm even, I'm just heading, I guess, yeah, I guess we'll head directly east to that uh, Fade Rift. Yeah, so I mean, you know better than I would, Red Mage. So what was what in essence was really the Stadia offering that other that PC gaming and other consoles don't currently offer? That was kind of my confusion with it. You know, because you got. You know, Nintendo are doing the Nintendo their own thing. Xbox and PlayStation are basically doing the same thing, but with you know just two slightly different flavors. You know, they each have their own online services and their own, um, uh, you know, their own exclusives and such. And you can definitely make an argument for either being better than the other, depending on what is important to you as a gamer. And then you've got PC gaming, which is just like you know. The, the technical powerhouse. Um, you know, but it's obviously kind of generally considered the more uh, f expensive and finicky option than, say, a console. What on earth was Stadia all about? What was it What was it doing that was different? That What, what was there, like, what were they hoping to achieve or bring to the table that isn't currently on offer? Do you see, do you see what I'm saying? I don't know if they they know. <laughs> oh, I certainly don't know. It's not saying much. Oh, right, after the gimmick was you, so you don't own games. You rent them or you oh was it was a subscription service and you had google, right, google integration okay interesting yeah no. <laughs> yeah Meta. it's like what's the what's you know then okay interesting I don't know. I guess I'm not really, uh, I'm not really getting it. <laughs> That's not saying much, though. So I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not missing the stadia. Let's... <laughs> I mean, they've got so much money, they should just get into games development. Don't worry about having your own platform. Might just make something cool, yeah? You can do that. You can afford to do that. I guess the... Um, that's the thing about Google, though. They, uh, they're they all about systems and infrastructure and just oat platforms and owning everything and integration and all this, but what do they actually what do they actually do aside from that you know what i mean it's like what are they losing their minds in tevinter i bet they are about anything in particular the inquisition i mean you people believe weird stuff right about andraste most of the imperial chantry's teachings are the same as in the south despite some finicky bits about magic Indeed. Um. Parts where you're wrong. Yes, quite. The parts where we're wrong. Yep. Right, okay. 
Yeah, of course, because that's the thing. If, if you don't have the game, if all game is streamed, then, of course, you have to have a perfect connection at all times. Like, better than, a, you know... That's a better than perfect, but an actual perfect connection. Like, say, if there's any latency, then you just... Your game's balked. You know, I'm not against the whole... Um, games being digital and you download them as long as you own them but yeah metaphor was telling us about this the other day how you don't really not really really own anything um but uh i think actually in in the waste here it's probably just better to call our horse oh, there it is Not too keen on the horse animation in this game. And look at the size of the horse. It's like a, a gigantic horse. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was that, n that nubbin is going to bother me. Um, but uh, as, sometimes you've got to experiment to know what is going to work and what's not going to work. It's so good on him, but... I don't know, I just feel that, um... It's like quite a bold move to be like... Yo, we're a new platform. And try and get everyone on board. Like, you've got, you've got to have something. You've got to have something that the others don't have. Like a real good, real good idea. I don't know. Like I say, maybe they did, and people, most people like me just don't really understand it. Oh. Sorry there, lizard. Coming through. Um... Right, yeah, that's the thing. That's the only problem, isn't it, Red Mage? You know what I mean? It's um, if you don't, how do you determine if you own a game? You know what I mean? If it, it, it comes with that stipulation, hey, buy our game. This is yours until such time we decide to shut down the stop paying for the servers that, that host it. And you're like, okay, well, when you, when when are you going to do that? Oh, we we don't know. Whenever we deem it, we we want to. You know, like, okay, so so it's a rental. You know, if you own something, that should be yours until you die, and after you die, you give it to somebody else. You know, like, I'm, I'm I'm about to die. Here's uh, you know, here you go, mum, or may I, you know, hopefully I live longer than my mum, but <laughs> you know, uh. Here you go, whoever. Here you go, Red Mage. Even more backlog for you. And Red Mage is like, curse you, is <laughs> Um, You know, you should be able to do something with it. Or you don't own my mind, you don't own it. Does that make sense? I don't know. Oh. in the fine print my god um yeah well you're not going to hell red mate so don't worry about that and yes there will be you know it might be of a different kind than you currently imagine so but i feel like there will be
Yeah, cloud gaming, yeah. On an actual cloud, you know. We shall see. And time will tell. Okay, so I think I want to head up this way. Wow, that's a good camera angle. It's good to see where you're going. Okay. So there's probably a shard over here. Is it on top of that rock? Oh no, it's right next to us. Cool. <laughs> okay, so, uh another shard just in front of us somewhere. Oh look, they found it. <laughs> just jumped to the floor. <laughs> right, okay. Am I starting north from where they are? Uh, is it down here, or am I gonna uh, regret going this way? I don't know. I feel like we're committed now, aren't we? Good job, uh, Elf is so nimble. Kind of sometimes. That you filth. All right, I'm just in the uh, getting some red lyrium up here. That's what's going on. Boom. Stone over the sky. I guess this is... This is true. Uh, okay, so there doesn't really seem to be much of anything there. So I guess we want to basically head directly south again. And slide all the way down here. I don't know. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yeah, we must have... Uh, must have come from up there, I'm sure. In essence. Or have been up there. We've definitely been around the area, so if there's something there, it would uh, be marked on the map. No worries, good luck with that, uh, Red Mage. Hopefully uh, it is uh, productive and or meaningful. Although, 
Could something be could something be productive and meaningless? No, I don't know if uh, that's possible, is it? Because something's productive, it must for it to be productive, it must have had meaning, right? I think I guess things can be meaningful without being productive, obviously, but oh. I'm sure we already did that tomb. Yeah, because that's the second one we did. Random ruin. That's the, ah, that's the Colossus. Okay, we've just done that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we must have done that one. So that means uh, there'll be two more in there somewhere. Hopefully. Let me just have a gander though, just to make sure. I'm sure we've been up and around here. Yes, yeah, I remember that. We've definitely been down there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Ocular, I remember I'm that. From the inside. You'll be fine, Dorian. Back home in Skyward before you know it. <laughs> Sorry, just uh, trying to rearrange it. Right, new campsite. Why not? Good for fast travel points. Resting up. Okay. There's something directly in front of us. Shard, nice. Something kind of in this direction. Okay, there we go. We've unlocked enough shards to unlock the next section of the uh, of the uh, the ruin, the temple, that whatever you want to call it. The tomb in the but I'm inclined for us to just save up the other shards first. I'll immediately go back there. Okay, I just want to walk directly west, I guess. I strangely didn't uh, sleep that well last night and uh, had like loads of weird, weird dreams. Not ones I can uh, really remember or explain. <laughs>
hopefully that's covered that. Oh my god. Close enough. Uh, right, we're turning basically south. Almost finished this colouring in. <laughs> Okay, interesting looking ruins. I don't know if there's uh, is there anything here. It's like a, um, a Templar camp over there, but I don't see any reason to go over there and fight them necessarily. That's, uh, that's intriguing. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just a floating boulder. Just floating. That's fine. 16 times the detail, folks. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, pull your thumb out, Todd. No. This, this game mostly works. Okay, this is a quarry we've got up here. I'll have to fight for it, that's fine. Our login stand. And we in fact don't even need to fight for it. <laughs> it's like, eh? What? Nothing going on? Are you sure about that? Uh, although actually we've sort of got a fade rift up there, so let's head through this way. Okay, I don't want to fight. That's fine. There's two there. Oh, I only got one. Oh, I was not sorry. I did get my... I can never tell. Sometimes it's not uh, obvious. Only um, not not far off uh level twenty one. That's quite impressive. Uh, right, okay, well, no. this way a little bit. Sandra, how are you hurt? I oh, did that to her. Not hurt enough to use a potion though. It's so curious that you don't get, like, slow tick regen. So used to having it in the uh, previous games. I think. You think you did, didn't you? You definitely did in the second game. That was, like, one of those games where it's, like... If you survive the combat, then you are fully healed in between each combat. Uh, which is definitely more modern kind of uh, gameplay mechanic, isn't it, in RPGs? But um, it's uh, not to uh, necessarily to everyone's uh, taste, but I feel like uh, it can work well sometimes. Oh, we're searching the Venatory camp, are we? Okay.
Uh, this isn't that much of a camp, but I think we've uh, we found something here, maybe. Okay, that's just the notes on the wastes. Okay. Okay, I was um actually just mean to un remove that just so I can see my map a bit better. <laughs> Uh, which helps to actually look at it. Right, okay. Yeah, so we just got oh, almost there. Um, so we're missing some tombs, though, aren't we? Got three. Of course, unless. And next the dragon's down there. I don't know. Thing, I've not got any quest markers or anything. I'll just wander around the desert forever. That's that's not a thing anyone wants to do. Well, we are going to be running around the desert a little bit because I just found a new ocularum, so... <laughs> That's uh, going to facilitate us doing a little bit of running around. Nothing else. Okay, there's only two, though. And they're right there. Okay. So there's something potentially below us. Let me just grab this landmark here first. Well, this kind of seems like a venatory camp. I guess was, this was technically in the vicinity. Well, this is Red Templar, it's not venatory. I guess they're one and the same, really, realistically speaking. Seems to be a thing. Right, okay. Heading uh, directly west. That's a bit of a camp. I'm going to attack these guys and then... Uh, my buddy's going to... Oh, Sarah's made down here at least. Yeah, uh, we'll see. There she is. Yo, Swain! Welcome back. How you doing, Swain? Are you well? 
What's going on? How's your, uh, how's your workout? Oh, superior battle mage mail. Well, that's got to be good for someone. That might be our new armor right there. Oh, hell yeah. Missing some, like, peripheral stats and stuff, but the, uh... Overall... Yeah, there you go. So let me give that to Dorian, just because it's like... Yeah, we're missing 10 armor, but... We're getting uh, a bunch of other stuff in exchange. But there's, a, there's an amount of armor you can get where you're like, Oh, actually... This is... Um... You know, pretty amazing. Okay, let's angle north and start trying to get those, grab those shards. Not too far away, the looks of it. Rel relatively to the size of this gigantic desert. Tara, how are you not dead? Bounce the air. I was doing? trained from childhood by the greatest swordsman of an age. You were apparently orphaned to the street with your wits and a quiver. Neither fool. Ah! You come from nobles, all right. Get over yourself. I'm not even near the bottom of what real people live through. Uh, doesn't answer the question. Just shuts her down. <laughs> I love the way that... Okay, I've got my uh, non-invisible uh, skirt here. Okay. Uh, I love the way that... Cassandra's just like... You know, literally call Sarah halfwit, not as a diss at all. Just literally, oh, it's just a matter of fact that you're a halfwit, Sarah. It's like, what? Really? 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 We're really gonna do that? <laughs> Wild. But yeah, how you doing, about here? Are you good? Um, I am. I'm very well today. How is life treating you, sir? Okay, so that's just continuing to search this area. Unless they've got the camp we're going to overtake in this direction. I don't know. Could it be that there? Okay, there are a bunch of Venatori wandering around, so... It could be. Okay, there we go. That's uh, another shard. Okay, let's just get down there and wreck them. And see if this is what we're looking for. Oh, so there might be a tomb as well. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Still missing one, though. Okay, looks like there might be a quest to pick up down. I don't know. Okay, oh, 5,000 XP, my God. Okay, that was clearly what we were looking for. So, that, so again, that's good. Okay, they're wandering around, but we're just going to, like... Oh, we're just setting up camp here. <laughs> They're still wondering. They just watch us make camp, and they're just like, "Oh, okay." All right, and then we'll stick a flag down just to make sure, so there's no, uh, no confusion. Uh, for pride, these halls were made to honour father's deeds and grieve his loss. Who, against their father's wishes, fought from foolish words and foolish pride. And for loss, these halls were made to honour a brother mourned. Okay, let's go with the first one. This is a tear of uh, fire rail. Paragon among Paragons, father of two sons. 
who, against their father's wishes, fought from foolish words and foolish pride. But that's going to be the first part. And for lost these... Uh, no. Uh, and the second part is... For pride these halls were made to honour father's deeds and grieve his loss. And for lost these halls were made to honour a brother and mourned. Okay, so... These guys get them off the fucking way. One. Two. Three and four. Anything good? Oh, the key fragment is obviously the most important part. Right, yes. I mean, excellent uh, schematics there. Ten percent attack. That's pretty cool. Now we're getting these maps. I don't want to mess around doing maps. Maps are not fun. Honestly. Uh two hour gym session. Bloody hell, bloody hell. I'll respect you, sir, for getting after it. I do respect that greatly. Right, okay, so Can I sit here? Of course you can. K K W S four. Is that correct? Did I get your name there? Well, I don't want to put you on the spot. You might drop to follow and just want to do a lurk. Either way, it's fine. Well, yes, my name is Isnib. Call me Is. Uh, welcome in. Any questions, you let me know. Oh, I'm not going to give you the whole spiel. Um, right, okay, so we've got a missing patrol there. Okay, so let's just... Let me just get to these fade rifts and do that missing patrol quest. Um, okay, let's go to the south one first. Been, been a hot minute since I've saved it, actually. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, if you insist. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh no, Cassandra. How did you just get yeeted, Cassandra? Really? How? I don't know. Bless her. So she can be taken out. Yeah, you know. So getting that uh, next ability at our next level. Um, will actually not, not be a waste, I feel. Uh, hello there. Uh... What, uh, how, how, uh, how would you like me to address you there, my friend? Uh, K, uh, four, we've got a viewer called seven, we can get, you know, don't mind going through a few numbers. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you, thank you for dropping that follow, I do appreciate it. Uh, I assume you're a fan of the uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, um, Oh, I've not... No, Balthier, I've not seen that, buddy. Dawn of the Seeker. So if it's eight, eight years before... Uh, or, okay, 18 years before... Yeah, she's not that old, though. So she's like... She's a youngster, basically. Is it just like a one-shot? Just like a single episode kind of thing? No, I've not, I've not seen that. I've never even heard of it. That's cool. Is it any good? I get it. Oh, so close. So close. There we go.
Yeah, yeah. What's uh, what's your opinion on it, Root? Okay, looks like there's only three here. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, too slow. That's not good. Oh my god, two pride demons. Okay. Well. Oh, I know what to do. We'll just uh, let's drop this on him. I swear I hit it there. Get interrupted. And I'll disrupt. Cool. Ah. So is it a whole, is it a feature length? Like an hour and a half? Just about Cassandra as a youngster. That's cool. Good on them. I should have to keep an eye out for that. And there's a book series as well, but I have no idea. I knew. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I um, I'd heard there's a uh, a tabletop RPG of Dragon Age. Like um, I'm sure it's great because I do love the world of Dragon Age. There's a lot. It's quite rich and there's a lot to it. There's a lot you can do with it. Um, my only issue with that is, of course, anytime you get like a, a brand new uh, tabletop RPG, they kind of make their own... Because you have the, the setting, the source material, and then you have the rules. Now, the source material might be great, but then they're like, oh, yes. We must make our own rule system. And almost invariably, they're not very good. Um, I'm sure Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition is good. I assume it must be. 2nd um, edition was passable. Um, and there's, very, there's been various other like good ones out there. Um, GURPS is a, a, a strong favourite of mine. Um, the issue... It's like, most of them are not good. A lot, I've come across some like really not good ones. Um, I wish there was just like some kind of like formalized standard acceptance. Like if they released the source material, like the, I don't know, the, the Thedas' player's handbook. But all the rules were just affecting with Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Then you're you, okay, then you call you off to the races. But you've got to learn a whole new system, and the system is not as good as already existing systems. Then you're like, you just, I feel like you're just trying to waste my time up in here. And they're not even trying to do that intentionally. It's just, it's just how it is. Um, now, that is really curious, uh, Balthier. 2012. That was, which actually kind of like makes sense because that's. After Dragon Age 2, when Cassandra was first introduced. But it's actually before this game was released. So, uh, that's kind of cool. I just assumed it would have been much... It would have been, like, an add-on after this. Um. You... <laughs> you have it. You have it, Rui. And it's... actually uh, so it covers... Yeah, that's cool. So you can cover any time. Um... Yeah, a deep bunch of D6s. That's like, that's the GURPS way. I feel that like you better. I prefer, I do prefer a system that goes, um, X number of D6s for everything. That's probably my favourite. Uh, or, um, a percent oils for everything. D100 for everything. I'm not, f I and this was Dungeons and Dragons 2nd edition. I don't know how they've changed it up in 5th edition. But when you're like, oh, D4, D8, D12. And I'm like, you don't, you, don't, you can, you can make a system based on a single d die. You, you, can, you can, if you want to. I'm not a fan of, D4s are shit. I don't like, <laughs> not a fan of D8 either. It's like, what, what even is this shape? <laughs> you know what I mean? This isn't a, this isn't a die. This is jank. <laughs> Yes. 
I'm not I'm not prejudiced. All right, I'm just each their own. Well, that's just not that's not for me. You can't beat D6, all right? It's unbeaten. Actually, a, D, a D12 actually rolls quite well, I feel. Um, uh, not a massive fan of D20s, but um, 4 and 8, so just... What, what, what nonsense are we doing here, folks? So that's my hot take of the day. <laughs> um, no, Balthia, you uh, you uh, you need to go to a roots uh, stream to see that. No, I don't know how and why and when that would come to pass. But in if I, you know, in theory, I do love the idea of that. But it would um. It would, uh, it'd have to take a lot of preparation. I'd have to think long and deeply about how it, what would it be? How would it function? When would it take place? Who would be involved? Um, that it's like so much of a giant undertaking that I don't know how it would come to pass, Balthier. Uh, but, uh, it would definitely not be set in the Dragon Age setting, um, or using their rules. I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to think. Because um, there's a lot you can do with the setting. I'd have to think... Like, what I could potentially envision could be a, a cool setting, so that is to say. Um, just trying to get the right amount, but not too much. Why would you assume I should use my training to assault an animal? <laughs> What's the bunch of bear thing? I don't know. I just figured you'd want to know if you could. <laughs> I mean, I sometimes put an arrow just to see if I can hit something. Oh, did Andraste say not to use your training for fun? Uh, fun for you, I mean. Probably not fun for the bear. You've got some reach on you. No. No, Andraste did not specifically say one should not punch bears. <laughs> well, there you go then. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Sarah, what are you talking about? You're allowed to punch bears, Cassandra, therefore you should. Seems to be uh, what she's kind of uh, leaning leaning towards. Um, I don't know about that. Um, um it would take collaboration, of course, Balthier. It wouldn't necessarily have to be streamers. But, I mean, at the point that you're on a, somebody's stream and you're quite happy to share your voice and also, you know, preferably your face as well, then you're, uh, you're practically a streamer at that point, even if you're not, you know, you don't actively have your own channel going. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, yeah, because, you know, you can't play... You can't play RPGs on your own, do you know what I mean? You need a group. Um, I know some people do, like, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you got, That's perfectly acceptable. That's kind of what we're going to be doing with Legion Cage uh, very soon with the Lone Wolf series. D&D um, &D Light. So maybe we'll, we'll get through, maybe we'll get through that and then we'll see what comes to mind. Um, the main thing for me... Is finding the right people and the right amount of people and the and and people getting committed. Now I know that real life is real life and real fro life throws monkey wrenches at you all the time and you don't know what's going to happen or what's coming about or you know. But then there's also people who are a little bit flaky. Do you know what I mean? I've got I've got some good friends who you know they're still good friends but they also fall into that category. Uh, um, you know, you would need the group to be committed. And the other thing, not just the commitment, uh, apparently, you know, one, one, one offs, are, one shots are like a thing nowadays. And people are like, oh, you just, you just did a one shot. And it's like, I'm the opposite. I want, uh, I want that campaign that's going to last years, basically. So you've got to have, the people invested in it enough 
um uh, you know so it's, it all kind of takes so much thought and planning and preparation on my end that I, and then you've also got to have you know people who uh, would want to do that want to do something like that and commit to it um you know also i also like the idea of necessarily having like a pool of players so if, if what if certain people couldn't uh get to every single session then it the the session could still go ahead um i don't know there's just some, just a few thoughts there um yeah you get on the same route just i feel unfulfilled with my i think on my youth of it but um um Uh, outside Xbox. I've never even heard of that. Uh, about yeah. Oh, sorry. Archhaven. All right there, my friend. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was just on a little, uh, little rant there. Um. No, of course, Archhaven. Yeah, I'm always here, my friend. Um. No, yeah, yeah. I, I switched up my schedule, Archhaven, uh, kind of, um, month or two ago. I, w I wanted to just try doing like Monday to Friday, uh, and then take the weekends off. Um, and I, honestly, I feel like it's it works better for me, uh, personally, with the channel and just in my own life. So I know that's not convenient for um, everyone, because some people are like, "Yo, I'm at work all the time your streaming is. My only time to watch your stream is at the weekend. You now no longer stream at the weekend." Fuck you is <laughs> not really obviously but or maybe i don't know but um it's the th it's the thought that counts archhaven but yeah i just had to make that decision because i felt it was the best for the channel and the best for me so if that unfortunately does mean that certain people cannot be here as often as they would like to be that is unfortunate um i might be able to i feel i need at least one day of just away completely away from twitch um and that is uh that's for me that's saturdays and that's like my workout day and just general re re relaxation day um it could be possible that i could be around for various activities or collaborations on a sunday going into the future but for now that's just uh what we're doing but anyway thank you for stopping in buddy i hope you're well um Root, yeah, that's that is exactly what I would be going for. And you guys are having such a good time with it, and you like each other so much, and you enjoy it so much that it's no, you're not gonna be stopping anytime soon. Just, <laughs> like I say, for me, it's like the, those two factors: it's getting all the people together, uh, and you know, the right people with the right attitude, temperament, personality, and um interest in the project and commitment uh and then on the other side it's like setting everything up to my satisfaction it sounds ridiculous it's one thing if i'm the dm but if i'm just a player who am i to be swinging uh i'm being like yeah I've got, it's got it's not it's not to our standards you know so it makes more sense for me to be the dm which i technically i love both roles there's so much joy in being a DM. There's so much joy in being a player from two very different perspectives. But I do buy it by a hair, a head's breadth. Maybe more than that. But by a small fractional amount, I do derive more pleasure from being a DM. Uh, not to say I'm necessarily good at it, and I've, I haven't done it in many, many years. <laughs> but um, the workload between the two is uh ridiculous uh you know what i mean player you have to make a character you have to understand and embody your character play your play to the best of your ability and you know have some maybe a bit of research like prior understanding knowledge of the setting and world you're in that's it that's all you need to know and you just turn up and you just play your character the dm workload is 
are ridiculous. You need to have everything covered. You need to have notes on everything. You need to know everything of every single. You know, you ask the question, you need to know the answer. You have, <laughs> you have to. You con in control of everything, and everything has to be consistent. And um, you know, you have to like Todd Howard. You you gotta be like, it just works, like flawlessly. Even if it's jury rigged behind the scenes for the audience and the players, it has to appear perfect and pristine. Um, that's a lot of work. That's not even taking into consideration what the set setting might be and what would people actually want to do. Um, I don't know. All things to consider. But I, in essence, I love the idea of it. Uh, do, doing, doing something like that again. I don't know. Um, no worries, Archaven. But yeah, thank you for popping in, buddy. I appreciate that greatly. That you just popping in, saying hello, and saying you want to be here, even if it's uh, not, you know, always practical. But thank you, sir. That's um, I you know I appreciate that greatly. Um, you challenge the DM. <laughs> I I have an iron fist. I no, I'm not. I try as a DM. I try to be absolutely impartial. Um, nah, of course. Oh my god, I would love doing that. Speak with animals. Eh, hey, hey, um, what's going on, buddy? I'm just a little squirrel. <laughs> that was a very good squirrel there, but uh, uh. Yeah, I don't know. Animals have names. Yeah, interesting. I guess they do to themselves, don't they? Um, but no, Red Mage, can't do that. Can't, you know, he's got to be... Because I remember, like, the, the weird kind of nonsense we did as kids. Some of it was good. Some of it was, I mean, not so good. But yeah, it's, uh, it's choosing, choosing the setting is tricky. Do you, do you pick something that's pre-established? Would it have to be something created from scratch? It's tricky. Oh, there we go. Oh, thought we'd done then. Uh, these two. Yes, nice. So I don't know. I don't know. Something to, something to think about. I did him. Nice. Nice. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, about here. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, that old finish, finish him. <laughs> indeed, indeed, sir. Right. Um, curious. Okay, let me um, put up our journal then. Uh, so we've been around all around the Hissing Waste now. But there's a couple of things we've uh, not quite got yet. I'm going to worry about the Neverites. With the tomb, we're looking for one the graveyard tomb's treasure. And a random page. So if I go to the quest map for uh, the page. Uh, I'm listening to some page. Um... And that's Venatory Camp, Oasis, Stone Over Sky, Blocked Doorway. I don't think it was blocked actually when we were there. There's four pillars. That's the one tomb we've definitely done. Second tomb we've definitely done. As well as the graveyard. So, you know, I'd kind of like to get this done if at all possible. Yeah, we did it yeah, definitely did that. That was the Colossus. 
Yeah, so one, two, three, or four. Now we've got a ruin there. It doesn't say it's a tomb. Right. Oh, I think all the others say tomb, don't they? Tomb, 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 tomb. Okay, so there's no reason it would... But then again, this game could have like just be like janky and such. Uh, <laughs> um, I can't say we've seen anything that even looks vaguely like a a graveyard. I might just look this up one up, guys. Um, uh, oh. Ah, a little stretch. Oh, it's six o'clock my time. It might be time to um, get on that coffee. I don't know. Um, let's see if we can find this. Uh, I don't always be looking things up, but then sometimes I do. Um, oh, wow. I've got a new follower on Twitter. Uh, VTuber artist. I somehow feel I will not be needing that. Uh <laughs> Bless. Uh, good on them. You know what I mean? You're going to make some money. Uh, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, hissing Wastes. Uh, okay, we've got a complete map. Maybe that'll show what's on there. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, that's a bit much. Uh, okay, so it's got a key. but uh, um, Oh, hang on. Ah. Uh, okay. We haven't missed anything. Uh, it seems like the final, the fifth tomb is behind the dragon. So, <laughs> so we're gonna leave it for now. <laughs> uh, we'll come. Well, I don't know if we. I think we're of a decent level to be fighting dragons. I just feel our gear is overall so shoddy that it's um, almost not worth it. Yeah, it's... um, There's the dragon. And it's, like, on the other side of the dragon. Or it's, like, down there, or, you know. Either way, we're, uh, we're not there yet. Okay, I'm going to... We're going to head back to Skyhold. And check on things. Uh, and then we can probably just push the main quest line for the next three hours. And see where we end up. Oh, excuse me. Leap stalkers are weird little things. They're like tiny little lizardy creatures that are super aggressive even though they're not like really dangerous I always kind of feel sorry for them when I kill them but you know, do. America is a hell mouth oh my god well I mean it uh I don't know, I'm in a position to uh, disagree with that uh, route. You know what I mean? Mouth here, my God. <laughs> Your work. Right, Prophet's Laurels. I'm not, not sure what else we need. I think maybe we could do some ghouls' beards. If they've got anything uh, else looking more. Rash fine nettle. Okay, I don't think we've got too many of those. Let's go some uh, rash fine on these. Rash fine nettle, that is, rather than the, the standard rash fine. Uh, yo. Pretty much, not far off. Not far off, sleep mick. Hey, then. Uh,. Sorry, the Country Club podcast. So it's just a random private country club that has their own podcast. 
Now, yeah, I don't. <laughs> everyone's got a podcast now, uh, <laughs> basically. Uh, that's yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Um, yeah, Eli, I mean, even if it's like say a massive chain of country clubs that are like, oh yes, what would they even need a podcast for? By the way, we're amazing. Yes, you should come and give us money and join our club. Uh, assuming you have any money, of course. <laughs> you can have like a five-minute advertisement, but a, a podcast. A podcast lasts between an hour and three hours, usually, depending on who you're listening to. Um, and the idea is they're like a once a week or several times a week kind of thing. What on earth are they talking about? God, <laughs> he can't help himself, Fruit. That's Balthier there. He's um, he's a power to himself. Uh, right, so what options we have? So we can have more inventory capacity. Not terrible. Um, random materials. Or uh, more money. Uh, optimal cutting. I think it's a bit, we're a bit too far along in the game to really worry about that. Eagle eye. Significant increase to the discovery range of the search action. Yeah, kind of cool. Uh, random herbs coming in. I think it's... Um, I'm tempted by the... Uh, I am tempted by... Oh, we've got random schematics. Uh, rare schematics. Ooh, interesting. Um, I'm tempted by the... The friggin' uh, inventory capacity increase. 60 up to 75. That's not terrible, is it? But I think we'll go for advanced focus first. Definitely not going to hurt when we have to fight dragons and such. Right. Some gold from Lel. I think you get more gold the, more, the higher level you seem to be. Uh, a little bit of influence from Fairbanks. Uh, that's the Red Templars. Ah, the Sarnia Quarry, of course. I'll obviously get over there, Cullen. Um, and that seems to be everything new. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll send Lel to the Hissing Waste Resources. And we'll get Josephine on the gathering the coin inquisitor indeed yes um so what we're going to do uh now uh let's go and go and sell a bunch of crap we've got and not got anything good in terms of gear um uh, that's not entirely true we've got a new weapon we could probably give to vivian Yes, well, let's give her that. Nice. Um, about Solus. Yeah, no, he's, oh, that's a little bit of an increase for him. Cool. Um, she's got no uh, accessories or anything. Uh, I'm not really using them, to be fair. Okay, so I'm going to go and store some stuff. And sell some stuff. Then I'm going to take a three-minute break, and I'm going to make coffee. And then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to spend some time in Skyhold talking to all of our companions and advisors. Because um, it's been a while since I've had an actual chat with any of them. Um, about any you know anything important. And also, you know, try to, you know, see how... Maybe things pan out. Uh, okay, so we've got... Sorry, so we've got a helm for bull, a mage's coat, see if uh, Vivian can use that, and a random strong helm. So let me just check those. Um, right, bull, where you're at? When he loads up. Yes, definite improvement there. There you go, buddy your face paint on it's weird it looks like a helm 
in the icon, but it is actually face paint. So I wonder if you're you make your own Kunari character. It's just face paint, isn't it? So why is it? Why is it like a little helm? I don't know. <laughs> Never mind though. Um, Vivienne. Yes, slights increase there. And we'll give her that as well. Why not? Okay, that's the same. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we need to worry about. Right, so let me, uh, yes, finish storing this stuff. All right, so that's all crap. Um, don't need that. Right, these, these I'm going to store for now so they're all pretty damn good um life ward amulets i feel something's gone wrong if you rely on your life ward amulet you're too cowardly to make horn friendly helmets yeah <laughs> uh no doubt it's just it's just weird you see what I'm saying? Like, if, okay, it's face paint. That's cool. Makes sense. I, I'm not against that giving you, like, an, a, a defensive or stat increase for a Canary. Why is the icon not just, like, a little pot of face paint, though? A little, a little, I don't know, a, a little vial, a little jar, some, I don't know. You see what I'm saying, though, don't you? All right, let's sell that crap, and we'll sell all that crap, and all of that. And sell all those valuables. Nice. We've got a bit of gold back again. Okay. You wish Mallow was in the new Mario movie. Yeah, me too. He should just get his own movie, Red Mage. And Mario should just turn up as, as like a, a, you know, a support character. And Ma Mario's going to be like, Oh yeah, Mallow. Thank you for saving me. I would be nothing without you. Uh, something like that. Um, oh my God, Matthew. <laughs> uh, Make you all a coffee. Milk and one sugar, Balthier. Well, if you want to come here and get it, buddy, I will absolutely make you one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, got to reuse, you reuse the assets. Terrible, isn't it? Um, I don't think I'm going to need to speak to any of those two. Let me get in position. The position being Josephine. She's the one to get in the in position. So, <laughs> just been... Great, so I'm trying... I th I think the romance system in this game is a bit more like it kind of explains itself. Like, you can flirt with people to no end, and then it'll be like, if you have sexy times with someone, they'll probably be like, I think it pops up with like, you are in a relationship with this character. And I think the game only allows you to be in a relationship with a one character at a time. Um, so if you start flirting with somebody else, then it's like, it'll say in the dialogue option, like, you are going to break up with Blackwall if you make a pass at Josephine right now. Um, I think. We'll see. Um, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but also I do want to be a massive slut, so... <sighs> yeah, you know, you're making an omelette, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Root. Do you know what I mean? And that's that time. I don't know if it's right or wrong. I'm not trying to be ethical here. I'm just trying to enjoy a video game. Um, all right, okay. So we're going to be running around having a lot of conversations, but we might, we might get laid. So <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, I'll be back. Three minutes, guys. Bear with.
Oh, sorry for the wait there. Um... Yeah, and I respect that. It's um, it's a it's a natural emotion to be like jealous, but I feel like it's uh, it's for you to deal with as long as someone's not doing it to be an asshole to you specifically. You know, and as long as people like being careful about things when they're you know do, you know engaging the sexy times you know you see what i'm saying you should we should be a bit more like iron ball do you know what i mean anyway um oh has he got an this color this eye is an actual mission for cullen or is that just marking the main mission yeah here lies the abyss yeah that's uh, gonna be our next main mission josephine it's been a while i was just inspecting our new headquarters excellent Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. Uh, no, agreed. It's Here's some money. Sort the place out. Position to appear overly shabby. We've only just now convinced everyone we are precisely what they just requires. The mages will be gauging the Inquisition's fortitude. They should feel safe here. Um. And you don't? I do not feel safe here. I've had difficulty forgetting Corypheus's attack on Haven. I'll protect Even you, Josephine. We first left to arms. Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first battle fight. So many people turn to ash. I wish we'd save more lives, yeah. I won't let it haunt me. We'll have revenge. I don't know. Um, I'm sure uh, Josephine would prefer the, you know, me getting uh, teary about it, but... Um, yeah, that's a, that's a bit aggressive, that one, because that's a bit like sort of my suggesting... What? You think I'm not upset by it, Josephine? Uh, that's that's the the worst. Oh, it's not gonna don't to bother me. <laughs> um, although this the the angry fist is the uh the aggressive actual aggressive one, but that's it's been the most appropriate thing to say. Um, um. Yeah, no, agreed, agreed, Root. Um nah. <laughs> Canary, yeah. I mean you know. Um Yeah, so, yeah, oh there's a baby here, yeah, yeah. It's just It's I don't know, in on some way, I know it's maybe it's not natural for human beings. But I feel like there's something to that that that's like maybe the correct way of life in the universe we're just caught up with our own um neuroses and stuff that we just not quite got to that point yet but i don't know but anyway we're gonna have revenge josephine she's probably like, oh revenge no i don't care about that will pay when i face him again i dearly hope that happens oh no she liked it okay well before i return to my duties allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as inquisitor my lady I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. Yeah. So, <laughs> such as a week's worth of bathing, she's going to help with. Oh, uh, you mean? Uh, or is that just for everybody else? Uh, yeah, don't be all business, Josephine. You don't have to be so formal just because I'm inquisitor now, Josephine. Our allies and guests should see you treated with every courtesy inquisitor. Yeah, but there's no one in this room apart from you and me. Considering the newness of your office. Fortunately, after your courage as Haven, it's no difficult task to do so. Okay, well, um, Cullen's just come back, so I'm going to quickly reassign him to something. And I'll, f and I'll finish speaking to you in a minute. Um...
Oh, Lowell's back as well. Okay. Okay, that's, that's that taken care of him, I guess. <laughs> I have not asked in a while. How goes the hunt for Samson? We're close. I know it. If I can help you any further. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, well, yeah, that's one I haven't done yet. Choose succession leads. Yeah, we've not done that. Inquisitor. Okay, we'll get, um... Get Lel to do that, and, uh... Let's, let's send uh, Cullen's land to go get some metal, I guess. I'm not going to run back every 10 minutes of conversations to get back to the war room. That's going to be uh, redundant. Let's uh, go finish speaking to everyone. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus? Claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. Yeah, uh, it might be the Maker's will. I believed I was holy too. The Maker isn't of this world. Uh, the Anchor's magic, not holy. Uh... We don't... I mean, yeah, that's true, but we it might be the Maker's will. Perhaps the Maker set these events in motion so long ago we can no longer see his hand in them. It would be fitting if that were true. Does it hurt? The Anchor, that is. Um. Feels strange. It's not pain. It's more like my nerves go on fire. It sounds... Most unpleasant. Yeah. A situation Who requires us? your attention, Inquisitor. Yes. Noble Chantry loyalists in the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the Divine's death. They're unusually organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Oh, okay. Can they be reasoned with? Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't kill the Divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics, we should emphasize how you stopped the breach devouring the sky. Even in Jader, it may win you a few admirers. What does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with, but I wonder if the Grand Clerics are at work. Those immediately eligible to be Divines died at the Conclave. The ones remaining were not as favored. <clears throat> they may look upon you as a rival for influence. Um, let's send the diplomats. Let's send some ambassadors to convince Jada I'm not a monster in disguise. Excellent. I believe there is much to be gained by winning them over. Cool. What may I do for you? <laughs> so much. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to do that. Uh, anything to report, Josephine? What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Um, what about our guests? Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? You may see the Countess Lutetia in the halls. A lovely woman, but her conversation sent towards the unusual. She's the patron of Orlais' greatest naturalists. The Countess's particular passion is collecting butterflies. Oh. That doesn't sound unusual. She goes into great detail about preserving them. It seemed to involve large amounts of chemicals and pins. Okay. Good day to you. Okay, that seems to be everything from Josephine, at least at the minute. Okay, fair enough. Um... Does anyone sit on judgment on at the moment? Uh, I don't think there was anyone out in the garden, really, was there? How's our mosaics coming on, Gatsy? Stone mad, Inquisitor. Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what, you finish one, and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. So we haven't finished a single one yet. Okay. 
Although a lot of them seem to be coming along. Uh, I mean, if they're... What's that? Is that one... Is that one a 5 by 2 No, no, because if you look at the end one, it's got its corners cut off, hasn't it? So there you go. So they're 6 by 2 So there's 12 mosaic pieces for each complete mosaic. So we've got those three there, and I think there's some more upstairs, aren't there? Um... Varric, how you doing, bro? You're fighting a losing battle there, buddy. Battling the demons of paperwork. That's a fight nobody walks away from clean. You have no idea the number of times I've almost been killed by bills of lading. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed the chosen one before. Uh, I'm just like you. Make it up as you go. Just do what I do. Uh, just be my friend. Yeah, just be my buddy. Just be buddies. I need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. Uh, can't be bigger myself. What am I, Tim? What am I to you, buddy? What am I to you, then? None of this shit makes any sense to me. Is this the end of the world? Did Andraste send you through the breach? I have no idea. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? No, that's true. Please don't sing, Varric. Please don't tell me you're going to sing this song now. Don't worry, I'm not that cruel. Keep doing so. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Yes, I don't know what Wicked Grace is, and unfortunately I don't think the game's going to let us actually play it. A card game, maybe? Sir Poots. <laughs> I am very well, sir. How are you? How's life treating you, Poots? Are you well? What's going on? We're uh, we're just slowly chonking through Inquisition. We've made good progress, though. Um. So, do you believe in the, what the Herald is, Tell me the truth, Varric? Varric. Do you actually think I was sent by Andraste? Oh, shit. This is going to be awkward. No, it's not. Just say I no. I guess I do. Oh. Either you're guided by the hand of some higher power, or you have the worst luck. So you do believe in Andraste? I wouldn't have pegged you as an Andrastean. It's a great story. It's got heroism, love, betrayal, and random musical numbers. What's not to like? <laughs> I don't have a nug in this race. It could be bullshit. It could be true. I'll never know. But I like the idea that maybe you could save the world with a song. Um, it could be both. Let's be realistic. It could be both. You've got a point. Look at all the shit that's happened to you. You were saved from the explosion that leveled a mountaintop and fell out of the fade. You traveled through time face down one of the ancient magisters who started the blights had a mountain fall on you and lived one of those things would be impossible all of them together that's a miracle um i see your point i'm starting to see your point just try to warn me before falling into the fade again would you i hate that place yeah it's not the most fun is it um you're pretty good, are you, Poots? Excellent. Same old. Working hard, playing hard. Excellent. How's, uh, have you been, um, last time I spoke to you, uh, Poots, probably a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Um, are you, uh, still deep in, uh, that Final Fantasy VI randomizer? Um, hey, nice, nice belt here. That sounds pretty good, buddy. I could go for some of that. I can spare some time. What do you need? Um, we've already asked him out all the red lyrium, I think. Ask a personal question. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Of course. No, we've already Thanks, spoke Varric. about. Yeah. No problem. 
Uh, unfortunately, you can't romance Varric. He's like, he's, I don't know, he's too standoffish. Um, Solus, what's going on, bro? Stop the wardens from carrying out this insane plan, Inquisitor. To Obviously, seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the blight. Uh, don't forget the demons. And calling the army of demons. That's my favorite part. He's trying to disapprove. They're a tool. Uh. A tool that gives Corypheus an army. That's not the point. Even if they could succeed, the entire idea is wrong. The blight is not something one smugly outsmarts. Forgive me. The entire idea is unnerving. Um, very well. Uh, the artwork in here is coming along. Not what was supposed to represent specifically. That's what we see across the Inquisition. The eye. Uh... I mean, Corypheus destroying Haven there. I don't know. Either way, it's cool. You got to have for more than that, Solus. I heard from Cassandra that it is the magic of the night enchanters. Yes. If I am not mistaken, the techniques descend from those of ancient elven mages called arcane warriors. I wonder what they would think to see their magic used in defense of the Chantry. Um, they were pleased it lived on. I feel they would disapprove. Uh, who cares what they think? <laughs> uh, they would be proud of me. Doing an investigation. Uh, yeah, let's ask these. Uh, yeah, what were they called again? I doubt oh. they were called arcane warriors in Elven. The formal name for the techniques you have learned was the Durthena and Nasalin, knowledge that led to victory. Mages who eschewed physical confrontation called it Gilanim Banalvin, the path that leads astray. Very well. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, Af. Um, you're in the beginners tournament. You make it to the semi-finals. So the semi-final race is uh, on Saturday night. Poos. So you're literally in the top four. I know it's the beginners bracket, but you've never done it before, so that makes sense. Poos. My God. So what kind of? So you. Uh, so is it literally done live at the same time? You and your the person you're going against in the semi-finals. You literally start at the same time, and then you've got, uh, you know, the audience watching. Or at least, like, a, a judge keeping an eye on things. And then the, you, the winner is whoever completes the game, the for, for, you know, the quickest. Um, oh, dude, that's so freaking cool. Bro, so if you win on Saturday, then you'll be into the final. So you're in the, you've made it to the top four. Bro, is it, and how often is it once a week they're done every Saturday? So if you win... Bro! Mm. Poach, Cody, smashing it up. Uh, yeah, yeah, so... If, so, do you... Fa so, with it being a randomizer, is it... Does the randomizer randomize? Does that make sense? I don't know enough about randomizers. Um... So the stuff that happens in your game could be completely different to the stuff that's happening in the other person's game you're going up against. Or is it the same set of random? So if you go to the same place, you're both going to find the same thing. So then you race into who figures out the, the path, the quickest path to victory the first. Um, either way, interesting. And how, how long does a run usually take? It's like, like two hours, you start to finish, you're done. Um, called a seed. Yeah, that's the word. Okay. Right, okay. So it's random, but n neither of you are familiar with that seed. So a lot of it is... Oh, so, so there's definitely an element of luck, but the skill is n understanding um, what is possible within a given seed. Or, a, you know, a given set of, like, okay, I should head here first because there could be this, this, or this here. Oh, that's not there, so I should head over here next, etc. Uh, okay, so an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and a half. That sounds wild to me. <laughs> Completing Final Fantasy VI in an hour and a half. <laughs> Start to finish. Uh, but, dude, that's so cool. Yeah, change your strategy on the fly depending on what you find where. You're like, yeah, so if you get a certain character, you'll be like, ha-ha, now we can go and do this 
or you know a certain item or whatever and knowing like what is the point because you can go to um and face kefka at any point i guess it's just a case of preparing to do that um so you got make sure you've got the bare minimum that's going to guarantee victory because obviously if you went there too preemptively that would be you know that'd be like a failed run almost but bro good on you well all the best of luck to you poots um that's freaking amazing as long as you enjoy yourself you know obviously i'm gonna be rooting for you but um what what time of day do they do it as well and feel free to drop a drop a link to the uh the page they do or can drop them a follow and keep an eye out at least that is fascinating dude good on you i'm glad you're enjoying it and getting into that but anyway uh while uh poots is answering all those 20 questions i gave him uh <laughs> uh, uh yeah what do you know about these these uh Gilahim Banal Ven. What can you tell me about That's what they're called. They were elite guards. That's how Lana's just Seven arcane warriors. <laughs> or champions for nobles, as I understand. Mages who focused on spirits or the fade might sneer at their physicality, but never doubted their honor. They were the living embodiment of will made manifest. Mind shaping the body into the perfect weapon. Boom. Well, there you go. And after you said all that, surely you can't de deny Silas that they would be proud of me. I hope they would be proud to see another of our people practicing their techniques. I hope so as well. So much knowledge has been lost. Perhaps having something they created carried forward, even in such a different form, would gratify them. Did you need anything else? Um. No, we know all about that. It's okay. So he doesn't want to. We'll talk later. Seemingly, it's not the right time to uh, ch chat up Solus. I don't know. We made a few comments at him, but that's about the extent of it, isn't it? Right, Dorian, though. We're best buddies with Dorian. Here we go. Let me drop this off the follow. Anything interesting? A mirror. A letter regarding Felix, Alexius's oh. son. He went to the Magisterium, stood on the Senate floor, and told them of you. A glowing testimonial, I'm informed. Nice. No news on the reaction, but everyone back home is talking. Felix always was as good as his word. Nice. Thank oh, you, Felix. He's dead. Oh. The blight caught up with him. Oh, bless you, Felix. Um. Okay. That's, he starts at nine. That is literally the time I go to bed, Poots. But... Still, I can uh, check maybe check the VOD out the next day. Okay, let me drop him a follow. Excellent. Yeah, no, it's two AM. <laughs> And that, you know, that is, I feel for me, that is my, pretty much my limit, unfortunately. But I'll be there, you know that I'll be there in spirit, Poots. I'll be cheering you on. Yeah, I guess it's, it's it, I guess it's reasonable to assume that in terms of knowledge and skill, whoever your opponent is, it's going to, you know, it's going to be on par with you. So you could definitely make an argument. You've got a 50-50 chance. Um, that's that's good odds, I feel, for a victory, for, uh, you know, to get into the final of a tournament. Do you know what I mean, bud? So, I'll be, uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be thinking of you. I'm going to bed. Uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry for your loss, Dorian. He's, cl he's close with Felix. Right. He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. That doesn't mean you can't regret his death. I know. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinta could use more mages like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. Bless him. We two... You know. Were the two of you... Felix and I? What an odd question. 
odd because it's true or odd because no it's... intention oh. of abusing Alexius's hospitality by seducing his son. Not that I've been proper my whole life by any means. It wasn't like that. Even in illness, Felix was the best of us. With him around, you knew things could be better. Um. Um. Okay. Well, if you hold him in such high regard, let's let's both follow his example. An example for others to follow, or his death is wasted. Should I spread the word? We could spawn the cult of Felix within a matter of days. There are worse things. <laughs> Probably true, and you're right. His actions should not be forgotten. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. Indeed, thank you. I'll take that compliment. We're not done with you yet, young man. You made Alexius tranquil. Oh. I wish you'd just killed him. Oh, he didn't like that. He was a decent man once. He deserved to keep his dignity. Oh. I hope I've I don't run him. into him. That would be more than I could handle. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Ooh. Oh, I'll... I should go. Hey, uh... Naturally. Oh, jeez. Okay, I've upset Dorian. Oh my god, I'm not getting in his pants now, am I? Yeah, I didn't really consider that. He asked me to go easy on him, but I was like, I want to keep, I want to keep Alexis around to be useful, but I don't know. I've upset him. Let's try again. So I take it you're Dalish. Is that the correct word here? It is. Yes, that's right. We don't have Dalish clans coming northward, for obvious reasons. Indeed. So I've never met one of your people before, although I've heard about them. A little. I hope this won't be an issue between us. I am here to help you deal with the Venatori, after all. Um. No, I appreciate your help. And I appreciate your help. Sorry, I've made you... Your friend is tranquil. <laughs> Mutual appreciation is a grand way to begin. Um, I think I'm all, I've already asked him about all these things. Okay, enough for now. Go. Try not to die. I would notice you were gone. Okay. Questions, questions. Okay, I think that's enough. I, I think go. that's everything for Try from Dorian for now. Yeah. Me. Okay. Uh, Fiona, how are you doing? How are the majors doing? It doesn't surprise me you found the wardens mixed up in all this. From first-hand experience, you should be wary any time my old order is involved. Is everything okay? I trust everything as well with the majors. Some struggle with the idea we are once again subject to control, but we are enduring. Okay. I'll leave you to it. That's out on the balcony to uh, Vivian there. Um, okay, we've got to some research turning. We do. Excellent. And we've just uh, hit level 21. A chunk of influence as well, which is always nice. Okay, that's back down in the main hall there. Right, okay, let's see what we got. Ah, okay, we can get our fancy uh, fade step ability. Let's get the Veiled Reposto. Whenever you have a barrier active, which is obviously most of the time, enemies who attack you will take damage in return, 20% and plus 3 magic. Yes, we're doing that. Has anyone else leveled up in the meantime? Naturally, obviously, that was a... Alana's a, a little bit ahead of everyone else in terms of XP. Right, Black Wall. You got two Black Wall. Complete immunity to damage for a short time. Eight seconds, that's kind of good. Torn an enemy into friends, their damage output increases over time, but so does the amount of damage they take. Okay. Okay. 
Interesting. So you force an enemy to, you know, in greatly increase their attack output, but greatly reduce their defensive uh, capabilities. Okay. Um, I don't know which of these is more important. Honestly. Um, maybe we should be getting his sword and shield abilities. So I don't know. Or even Vanguard abilities. Um, screw it. Let's just uh, let's focus on his uh, his championship. Cole, are you shanking, buddy? Yeah, I was going for this, wasn't I? Mark of Death. Uh, Vivian. I I'm not sure how I like this disruption field. It seems a bit. Not as good as it should be to me, but um Solus, where is your freaking specialization? I don't know. Is he does he just not like me enough? I don't <laughs> I don't know what's up with him. Um Varric, okay. I guess we'll uh upgrade uh pyrotechnics there. Oh, and we've still got a uh, ball. Oh, there we go. We'll uh, increase his Dragon Rage to Ravage. And that's everyone leveled up. Okay, cool. Um, let's head upstairs briefly. Right, Lel, what's going on? with a distinguished history. Night enchanters have long served the divine. <clears throat> We're missing one of those. Alas, we are lacking one at the moment. Indeed. Sorry. Let's make Lel the divine. I was she wouldn't want to do that. As you said it. No matter, you have chosen well and are in good company. I had friends who were night enchanters who served at Justinia's side, who died with her. It's good to see new mages keeping this flame alive. Um, any updates? Anything I should know? It seems that the Olesian army is awaiting our next move. Some of the generals are sympathetic to our cause, others are still suspicious. Our actions are under a great deal of scrutiny. Okay, never mind. I'll leave you to your work. Yeah, we'll um, deal with the Orlesians later. We've got to deal with the Grey Very Wardens first. The champion was all along. <laughs> That's the last time we sent Cassandra to interrogate. <laughs> Indeed. Anything else? That's I'll not really much from Lil. No, yeah, okay. I'll leave you to your work. Okay. Okay, let's um, head back downstairs. We'll go speak to Vivian. Okay, how cleanly you execute your run, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, within, yeah, it'll be, because they, every, yeah, exactly, within 10 minutes of each other. Yeah, of course, that makes sense, Poots, yeah. What? 15 second vic- oh my it's god, no and difference in time. Wow. Join the ranks of the most select mages. That's crazy. You should be commended. So few have the discipline necessary. Uh, you're a night enchanter, aren't you, Vivian? I didn't realize you were a night enchanter, Vivian. Of course I am, darling. Of course, darling. Night enchanters serve in the highest echelons of the Chantry and Circle. Where else would I be? <laughs> we are the best. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you approve. Uh, I prefer fighting up front. Uh, what would play to uh, Vivian's ego more? If I say I'm I'm glad that you approve, she will like that we respect her opinion, but she'll also be like, you know, feel like maybe we're trying to kiss her ass. Uh, and if you say we prefer fighting up front, she'll be like, oh, how crude. Um, if I say we are the best, she'll be probably like, yes. Yes, darling, we are. <laughs> let's, let's find out. It was an easy decision to join the finest mages in Thedas. 
It always is, my dear. But not everyone can manage it. There you go. Um, I want to help the circle. She's not going to... Uh, yeah, she will like that because she wants to stuff all the mages in the circle. Um, is there anything I can do to help your efforts at restoring the circle? After the circles fell, their libraries were plundered by scavengers. A thousand years of recorded knowledge in the hands of bandits. It makes me sick to think of it. I've received news that some tomes have been located, if you are interested in writing this wrong. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll look into it for you. Sure. If you can take care of this matter, the circle would be in your debt. I don't mind helping with that. Okay, three random tones. Exalted Plains, Western Approach, Hinterlands. Okay. Yes. Do those in a second. I guess we'll take a few with us. Uh, tell me about the circle. I wanted to ask you about the circle of the Magi. Of course. What do you wish to know? Um. So she started, uh, you know... Wasn't the circle disbanded? If the circle yeah. disbanded, how can you still belong to it? The circle is an idea, my dear. And an idea cannot be dissolved. Fair. Many of the first enchanters voted for rebellion, caring little that anything short of a unanimous decision would pit mage against mage. Rather than dissolving it, Grand Enchanter Fiona's vote split the circle in two. The rebels follow her. The loyalists follow me. I see. Uh, shouldn't you replace Fiona? I mean, <laughs> if you led all the loyalists, why are you only first enchanter and not grand enchanter? Grand enchanters are elected, and since there are no first enchanters besides myself, no vote can be held. I could name myself grand enchanter, but the title holds no meaning now. When the circles are restored, that will change. Uh, what's it like living in a circle? What was it like to live in a circle? My dear, your question is the root of all problems with mages. I cannot tell you. Every circle was different. Their Templars were different. Their politics unique. And every person within each tower had an experience of circle life unique to themselves. Some people suffered and some were content. Some were cruel, some compassionate, and some indifferent. The same is true of people everywhere, in all circumstances, whether they are mages or not. And what about your experience? So tell me about your personal experience with the circle. I enjoyed life in the Montsimard circle, my dear. It was an edifice devoted to knowledge and refinement. And there is comfort to be had, you know, in the company of fellow mages. Those born without magic will never truly understand us. Um, so being confined wasn't hard. You must have been under constant supervision, being forced by Templars to live in the tower. Was that hard to endure? My dear, I have a suite in the palace and a wing at my dear Duke Bastien's estate. I have never been forced to live anywhere. Most circles allowed mages to live away from the tower, either on their own or in service to the nobility. All that was required was permission from the first enchanter. Some circles were harsher in their restrictions. Kirkwall was the worst, but it was the exception. Most were quite permissive. Hmm. Perhaps too permissive. Retrospect. Oh, okay. So how did the rebellion start exactly? Did come to this state with the circles in revolt. A failure of perspective that infected circle leadership. Mages lived solely in a world of Templars and mages. They could not even imagine what was beyond the tower walls. Kirkwall gave the world a reason to remember its fear of magic. A mage killed hundreds with a snap of their fingers. Across Thedas, a new tangible fear of magic grew. Commoners and nobles alike called out to the Chantry for protection. But the malcontents in the towers thought nothing of this. They cared only for themselves and for their anger at the new Templar restrictions. When a mage attempted to assassinate Divine Justinia, again, the mages protested the investigation. The leadership chose to vote on independence based on the intolerable conditions imposed by the Templars. Sparing no thought to the fact that magic was more feared in the aftermath of these attacks than it had been since Tevinter's day. Hmm. So long as they had their freedom, they could care little for riots, angry mobs, or about pitting mages against each other. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Should the mages be free? Yes. 
even at the cost of chaos? That's the question, isn't it? People like Anders would say, absolutely. Screw the chaos. Oh, people are going to die. Tough titty. Deal with it. We have to be free. Uh, Vivienne's a little more on the pragmatic side. She's like, eh, yeah, we can't have people being slaves, but also, you know, we have to have order. We have to have order. Um, I'm not sure how I, where I truly come down on this. Um, uh, so how, what about Fiona? How do you know? Her? Are you familiar with Grand Enchanter Fiona? We've met. Yep. Before her horrendously ill-timed and selfish vote for independence, I thought her adequate at her job. Not anymore. In her dotage, <laughs> she could not handle looking after the well-being uh, of so many people. In her dotage. We would have done better to replace her years ago to let her spend time gardening. My God. Are they justified? No, obviously, in her opinion. In the aftermath of their terrorist attacks, was that really the most opportune time to break away? By all means, protest abuses by the Templars. Just don't do it in a way that says mages support wholesale murder. Anders. By voting when they did, my colleagues all but declared war upon the ordinary people of Thedas. Mm. A war in which we are outnumbered a hundred to one. I thought the fighting was only between mages and Templars. Why are mages fighting mages? The vote for independence was carried by only a small margin. But Fiona chose to let the motion stand. Mm. Those who opposed a rash declaration of war against the entire free world had little choice. By breaking oh the chantry when they did, the rebels declared themselves in support of mass murder. Anyone who did not wish to support terrorism and the slaughter of innocents was forced to take arms against the rebels. Very well. Okay, I'm not done with you yet, Fiona. Uh, yes? Fiona, <laughs> Vivian. Oh. Um... Is there any more to about the circle? I wanted to ask you about the circle of Magi. Of course. What do you wish to know? Tell me about the Templars. You must have an opinion of the Templars after living so long in the circle. Having opinions about Templars, my dear, is exactly like having opinions about mages or Navarans or men. I have known some who were impossible to endure and some who were utterly charming. I have suffered insults at the hands of those in the armor that no more than I endured from nobles or tradesmen in Val Royale. Personally, I have found the Templars a useful tool, skilled at keeping more unpleasant elements at bay. Very well. Yes? Tell me about yourself. I'd like to know more about you, Madame Vivienne. Whatever would you like to know? Everything. Uh, where are you from? Your accent's not Orlesian. Where exactly are you from? I am from the Circle, my dear. One's country of origin rarely matters there. But if you must know, I was born in Wycombe in the Free Marches. I was sent to the Ostwick Circle, but I transferred to Montsimar while still an apprentice. Uh, and how did you become a courtier? I'm curious how a circle mage winds up a courtier. Nobody winds up at court, my dear. It takes a great deal of effort to arrive there. No doubt. I caught the eye of Duke Bastien de Ghislaine, an advantageous connection that opened many doors. When the position of enchanter to the imperial court became vacant, I was able to secure it. Sounds good. Uh, so you got married to him? You're married to the Duke de Ghislaine. <laughs> of course not, my dear. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, I was going to say. Mm, Marriage get is the vibe. business of alliance and inheritance. I'm Bastien's mistress. Oh, okay. What does his wife think? Who cares? Basically. <laughs> what does the Duchess de Ghislaine think of this arrangement? We got along quite well. Duchess Nicoline and I used to host musical salons together. She was a great patron of the arts. She passed away from a fever a few years ago. Poor dear. That's a shame. Uh, and what about the t role of court enchanter? What duties does a court enchanter have? I am tasked with providing assistance to the Empress on arcane matters. Most of my predecessors restricted this to lighting lamps and doing parlor tricks. In such troubled times as these, however, I provide political advice to Her Majesty on the subject of the Mage Rebellion. Vivian, I don't know how you keep that freaking door open there, that window. That wind is 
freezing my tits off over here, and I'm not even in the game. Um, oh, any chance we might? I'm gonna say no. Do you think that you and I might someday? I don't see how that benefits me in the slightest. Um, you th <laughs> cheek of it. You don't know my skills. I've got, yo, I've got skills, yo. Yes. My God. Okay. He's just like, no. Oh, oh, look at this one here. This uh, mosaic's, uh... oh yeah, no, it's six by two. Yeah, so we need two more for that one. I think that's all of them, though, isn't it? Oh no, we've got one on the other side there. So it's t a total of six mosaic. No, five? Five mosaics. None of them are complete. All of them are very close to. Okay. Um... I don't need to go up there. Um, I feel like I... Maybe I've got everything out of solar that I could have yet. That's kind of the vibe I was getting. Um, Inquisitor. My lady Inquisitor. It's good of you to speak with me. Of course. I have news regarding one of your companions. The De Winter. Dorian. Bad news? Nothing good, I expect. That's not what I meant to say. Reservations about his presence here? I share them. But this no, I don't. I'm happy for him to be here. I have been in contact with his family. House Pavas, out of Carinas. Are you familiar with them? Um. Why are you in contact with them? Why exactly would you be contacting Dorian's family? I didn't contact them, Inquisitor. They contacted me. Oh. The family sent a letter describing the estrangement from their son and pleading for my aid. Oh. They've asked to arrange a meeting quietly without telling him. They fear it's the only way he'll come. Um. Since you seem to be on good terms with the young man, I'd hoped... What kind of meeting? Just what kind of meeting do they have in mind? I believe they just want to talk to understand why Dorian felt he had to come here. Somewhat private, away from Skyhold, but not in De Winter. You make them nervous. I Seems think. sus. They don't understand why he's here with the Inquisition. They want him to come home. So worried parents, I worry eh? too if my son ran off to join some gauche foreigners on a crusade. So would I. Although I suspect there's more to it than either of us understands. Indeed. Um So why would they contact you? Why would his family contact you? Because they don't know you, Inquisitor. I don't know you either. I'm not of the Imperial Chantry. But they know what I represent. Hmm, I yes, guess. Our parents concerned about the welfare of their son. How could I not do whatever possible? I would speak to the young man myself, but he does not care for me. Thus I come to you. If any good can come of this, we must try. Um. And why don't they just contact him directly? They don't want Dorian to know. I want to trick him. They, that's not going to go down well, is it? They believe the young man would refuse. And the letter implies he'd have thoughts. Yes. Yet, they are remorseful for whatever came before. This is a chance for dialogue. There is deceit in bringing the young man to this meeting. Without his foreknowledge, I know. But does it not lead to a greater kindness if there is potential for reconciliation? <sighs> no, not really. <laughs> if you're uh, estranged parents... Uh... Are trying to make up with you and you just don't get on with them or whatever they've done something to piss you off and then they trick you know um, they trick you into meeting them you're not suddenly gonna go oh well i didn't really want to meet you but well now you're here let's be best buddies you're gonna be even more pissed off aren't you you see what i'm saying so it seems sus as all hell always parents are just idiots this is legitimate it doesn't seem like it seems sus to me it occurred to me. What if it is a plot of those mages, the Venatroi? Yeah. <laughs> Another reason to put this in your hands, Inquisitor. Yeah. I 
pray that isn't the case. But if it is, you are far better equipped than I to respond to such treachery. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to trick Dorian. I'm going to just tell him what you've told me. And if he's, yeah, in whatever he wants to do about it, that's what we'll do or not do. I'm going to drag him there and trick him. I'm going to trick Dorian into meeting his family. Oh, I feared you might say that. Yeah, he's my buddy. His family will send a retainer to meet the young man at the Red Cliff Tavern to take him onward. If he truly does not wish this reunion, he can always end the matter there. I pray you change your mind, Inquisitor. Perhaps their letter will persuade you. Mm. If there is any chance of success in this, it behooves us to act. Okay, that's an official looking letter, your reverence. I understand that you feel inadequate to the task of bringing Dorian to a secret meeting. Even in the asking, I find it difficult to believe myself. Considering my son has rebuffed all contact, this is the only way. I know him. He would be too proud to come if he knew, even just to talk. This is all we wish to do. The thought of Dorian in the south, placing himself in the path of such danger, alarms us more than I can express. If this somehow succeeds, we have a family retainer at the Vandral Hills watching for Dorian's arrival. We will bring the boy to he will bring the boy to us somewhere private. If Dorian utterly refuses to go with him, it ends there. And there's nothing we can do. We are at our wit's end. Graciously yours, Magister Halward of House Pavus. Okay, it's it seems like bullshit to me, personally. <laughs> like, like, really. It really does. Anyway, I'm just trying to... Greetings. Quiz Solus. I thought I'd asked him this kind of stuff, but maybe I hadn't in full detail. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. I thought you'd be more interested in sharing your opinions of elven culture. You are Dalish, are you not? Yeah. Proudly. Yes, he didn't like I that. Am. He disapproved. The Dalish are the best hope for preserving the culture of our people. Our people. You use that phrase so casually. It should mean more. But the Dalish have forgotten that, among other things. Oh, but you know the truth, right? While they pass on stories, mangling details, I walk the fade. I, I walk the fade. I'm better than everyone. Look at me. I'm serious. I'm the best. I walk the fade. Eh. Uh. So help them then. The Dalish are trying to restore Elven history. If you know something new, share it. You didn't like that either. <laughs> what I had learned in my study, my travel, or would they mock the flat ear and his stories and go back to their ruins? At least you were asking. But here's something. I will answer as I can. Okay. Um. What about Elven magic. Is Tell me the about magic that. They teach in the circle different from the magic I learned with my people. No, and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. Oh. Uh Mortality due to magic, was it? Legends of Elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being Elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes wow. would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic and in an ending symphony. It must have been beautiful. And what about blood magic? You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. Mm. Blood magic is evil. I don't mind it. <laughs> it seems interesting. <laughs> uh, it's not. It, that's the thing. It's not inherently evil. I think that's kind of like a, a, a very uh, narrow-minded view of it. I don't mind it. Uh, it's definitely interesting. I'd be interested in learning more about blood magic. <coughs> I would teach you if I knew it. Unfortunately, using blood magic seems to make it more difficult to enter the Fade. Mm. You understand why I never bothered to learn it. A shame, as it is extremely powerful. Provided it remains a tool, 
Not a crutch, nor a passion. Uh, what do you know about the ancient elves, then? I'd like to know more about the elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvanan was the empire. And Arlathan, its greatest city. Place of magic and beauty. Lost to time. Uh, elves, you mate. studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees. And imagine wooden ramps or Dalish aravels. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches. Palaces floating among the clouds. Wow. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. Sounds amazing. Um, and more his opinion on the Dalish elves. He doesn't seem to like the Dalish very Are much. All Dalish elves like my clan? No. Your clan was unique in having enough interest in human affairs to send you to spy upon the Divine's meeting. As your clans have been separate for so long, they have all changed, adapting to the lands in which they live. Some are no more than bandits. Others trade freely with humans. And some have disappeared entirely into the forests. And what about city elves? He's going to be like, ah, idiots. What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of Devinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past. And practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Okay. I'm not finished with you yet, buddy. Let's talk about the fade. What do you His favourite subject. Fade? Everything. A deal for my wandering. Not everything. There but... are a few hard facts, but I can share what I've learned. Please. Um. Demons. I'd like to know more. They're just spirits, demons. right? Your Dalish say the demons hate the natural world and seek to bring their chaos and destruction to the living. But such simplistic labels misconstrue their motivations and in so doing, do all a great disservice. Spirits wish to join the living. And a demon is that wish gone wrong. Don't believe that. I don't care. <laughs> uh, can that be changed then? Is there a way to coexist? To live with them? If not in peace, at least without such active confrontation. Not in the world we know today. The veil creates a barrier that makes true understanding most unlikely. Mm. But the question is a good one. And it matters that you thought to ask. So what about the veil? I'd like to know more about the veil. Circle mages call it a barrier between this world and the Fade. But according to my studies in ancient elven lore, that is a vast oversimplification. <clears throat> without it, imagine if spirits entered freely. The fade was not a place one went, but a state of nature like the wind. Um, sounds strange. I don't know. He didn't like that. Imagine that. He's like, Ugh. imagine if spirits were not a rarity, but a part of our natural world, like a fast-flowing river. Yes, it can drown careless children, but it can also carry a merchant's goods or grind a miller's flour. That is what the world could be the veil were not present for better or worse okay sounds like he wants to he wants the real world and the fade to be one and the same thing which would be great for him everyone else might be fucked <laughs> uh tell me about what's what's a breach. Like more about the breach simply put it is a tear in the veil between this world and the fade allowing spirits to enter the world physically small tears occur naturally when magic weakens the veil or when spirits cluster at an area that has seen many deaths. But your anchor, as Corypheus calls it, allows you some control over the breach. That suggests it was deliberate. We'll talk later. Okay. Goodbye. Is that everything from Solus? No, yeah, talk about, tell me about Corypheus, please. I need to know more about Corypheus. You shamed him when you destroyed Haven. Spoiled his glorious victory. No doubt. It would be worse to acknowledge that you had done so. He must continue on his course or show weakness. Yeah, he's already told me about this. He return to his clans to throw Ole into chaos and then conquer it for Devinter. Okay. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Okay, I think that's everything from Solus, at least at the time being. I just want to double check. I mean, you know, we learned a little bit. Um, right, Dorian. Back to you, buddy. Here we are again. Um... Okay, so maybe I should ask about these. Tell me about the Imperium. I'd like Dorian. to ask you about Tevinter. Populate. 
Anything specific? Uh, Corypheus was a magister. Corypheus is a figure out of Savinta history. He was a magister. Yes, but that was a different time. The <coughs> Imperium's power was at its peak then. The Civil War had ended. The Magisterium was united, its armies scooping up bits of Thedas like candy. The Magisters who entered the Black City. It was a demonstration of how exceptional Tevinta had become. But who were they? No one knows. There's no record of a Magister named Corypheus. Mm. All this happened 1400 years ago, before the Black nearly wiped us out. It's a long time. There are no records. Yeah. Today, people half believe it's all just a story. And that's what I believe. Um, indeed, but it's not a story, though. We have evidence that the story is very much real. <coughs> but not who Corypheus is. If he even remembers. Mm. There used to be families who claimed some of those magisters as their own. That stopped when the Chantry appeared. Then it was shameful, and the families distanced themselves from the tale. All we know is that some men and women entered the Black City looking for the old gods. What did they find? According to Corypheus, nothing. And only he could tell us more. Indeed. That's all I wanted to know. No, it's not. Fair but uh, Alexius, sorry about Alexius. You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. He was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. In return, my successes were his. I had a lot of successes, naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over brandy about the corruption. How we could one day make real change in the Imperium. And then he... gave up. He stopped trying. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, why? Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. He hadn't been there, you see. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. Guilt tore him up. I helped him oh dear. search for a while and then we drifted apart. That Sorry. Must have been difficult. Back then, I was furious. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. Um. And you missed him. Is it hard being away from him? It was hard not having a patron, yes. I'm not exactly built to fit in. No. At any rate, he's fallen so low, I doubt he'll ever get up. Sad, really. Yeah, indeed. Um, uh, yeah. There you go. Your father sent a letter. Tell Dorian about his family's intended meeting. He can decide what he wants to do. He might be like, burn that, ignore it, forget about it. Or he might want to go to the meeting anyway to kick off with them. And I'll we'll go with him and back him up. See what he wants to do. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? No. A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? No, I'm afraid not. Not quite. <clears throat> it's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. Very well. I know my son. What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. Uh, I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman. Squidge! Hard to knock me on the Give head a tea break. You're working light. It is getting cold, isn't it? I've, I've been sat here for the past hour. But I'm like, ooh, should I put a hoodie on? Come on. It's going good. We've uh, we've basically finished off the final area doing the run around exploration thing, Squidge. Uh, <laughs> so we're back at our base, Skyhold, and I'm just like having like the full in depth conversations with all the characters uh, and seeing if there's anything to pick up. And then we're after. I guess we'll do a bit of it today before we uh, wrap up the stream to finish today. We'll be uh, one like back to the main quest finally. So I don't know how much more we've got of the game. But I feel like we're way... I mean, the end might just creep up on us, and I'll be like, oh, damn, we're... we're at the end of the game. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But um, we shall see. Yeah, chonky progress. Yeah. Like I say, the, the bulk of this game is essentially uh, 
just doing the uh you know exploring the the big open world areas um and doing all the side quests and bits and pieces and picking things up and finding and collecting shards and all the rest of that jazz i wonder if you someone were to start a a, a brand new game on this just whacked it on easy and just beelined the main quest did like you know some of it you need like power to do and you just did like the bare minimum to get enough power to wrap it up um i wonder how long you could probably complete the game in like 20 hours or something i expect but i don't know um Cassandra doing the Claire Redfield's jacket. Is she, she's got. Uh, she's got. Uh, <laughs> she's got a uh, Claire Redfield's jacket. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll go to speak to her in a minute. Uh, Red Mage. I'll have a look at her. Um. No, 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 no. Not no. It's not like Skyrim at all. Uh, there's a definite end credits. We'll we will definitely be getting to the squidge. Uh. Yeah, I'm willing to bet the retainer as a henchman. I had to knock me in the head and drive me back to Savinna. Yeah, I mean, I won't let him. Uh, that would be hard to do while I stood there. He expects me to travel with Mother Giselle, although Maker knows why he'd think I would. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a he trap, wants to go, we to escape go. and kill everyone. You're good at that. Yeah. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. Um, there's no point. You should talk to him. Let's go. Uh, what's the issue exactly? He's not going to tell us, is he? Um, there seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices. Nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married? Because you left? That too. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna say there's no point. I'm not gonna say well, I'm curious. I'm gonna say that you should talk to him. Let's go, Dorian. We'll, do, we'll play it. I'll follow your lead, bro. Meet this retainer, then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Okay. Interesting, buddy. Let's, um... We'll see what's what, won't we? Um, right, okay. I... What to next? Okay, that's outside. I was, uh, where was our, um... Our special, uh... Our special secret, uh, book room. I where it was exactly. Is it through this way? Uh, that's out into the garden. I swear it was off, uh... Aha, uh -huh, yeah. I'm down here. I don't know if they've tied it up for me. Or if there's anything down here. Like, really, really, really. I don't know. Um, is it this way? Okay, this is, uh... Oh, okay. This is all the uh, bottles I've collected. Okay. All right. Don't need to worry about that. Um. Okay, that's the kitchen. Don't need to worry about the kitchen. So yeah, it's back up this way then, wasn't it? And it's clearly this cobwebs out here. There we go. This is so cool and also like sus. This can't just be for decoration. This has got to be a thing, right? I want it. Check the library. Um, nothing at the moment. Okay. Back to where we were. Uh, probably quickest head out the, back to where the kitchen was. I expect. All right, here we are. about the Ferelden horses. What? I didn't. What did you forget? <laughs> What's she like? Uh, Blackwall. How you doing, bro? My lady. 
Uh, what's your thoughts on the Inquisition? What do you think of the Inquisition? I just know that you could shake this world to its foundations if you willed it. I sh shook you to your foundations. Um, enough to talk we about that. To our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. God damn, Red Mage. Is it like a time of year thing? Or is it just like, does it come and go? <laughs> He's afraid of the twitching curtain. Bless him. Bless you, King Boris. My God. Um, yeah, hopefully you get that back soon, Squidge, because it's... My lady. You know. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, what about us, Blackwall? discuss our relationship. That's never a good sign. What did I do? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. I think we're officially in a in a uh we're, the game recognizes that we're officially in a relationship with blackwall it we're not like perhaps another time not even kissed him let alone had like sexy times but so i don't know let me see if i can hit up anyone else <laughs> um now what is for let me check what's for sale uh oh my god lovely bow there which i don't do i mean i could buy that but uh and a fairly insane axe there interesting um yeah very basic armors okay 20 sims yeah i need to see what you you're selling Um, wow, that's what I could be even better. Axe of the Dragon Hunter. Ma Master Dragon Slaying Rune. I mean, yes. Look at the damage. Plus 32 damage versus dragons. Plus 28% crit chance. Plus 5% extra damage for each enemy within 8 meters. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Um, so I feel <laughs> when we go to fight dragon, remember that, folks. We'll pick up or we'll buy that axe. I can't imagine we'll find anything better than that for fighting dragons. And we'll give it to um, Bull. And we'll take Bull with us to fight dragons. Uh, interesting. Okay. Random schematics. I guess I'll pick those up. Uh, for Bianca. I don't I think it matters too much. Good fortune, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good, Bonnie Sims. Um... Yeah, yeah, Squidge. Hang in there. Hang in there. Oh, what are these? Um, ah, increases to Inquisition power and influence. So these are not... These are not a good use of money, but... We just don't have that much gold. Um, we don't need power at all. We're drowning in power. But influence, buying influence is never a bad thing. Right, okay. Let's, um, head up here. Can I go up here this way? Ah, oh, it's just to there. Okay, I'm looking for, um, the soldiers get up on the battlements. Sitting around here, tempers get short and fighting. I saw one soldier reach for his belt like he was going to draw a dagger. On. We'll give him a slap. Don't, don't, you know, don't also don't, maybe don't make assumptions. All right, Cullen, what's going on? I've been reading the letters found in the quarry. Samson is making red lyrium from people? Yes, he's a psychopath. Not anymore. Not in that mine. I knew Samson had fallen, but this... It's monstrous. We have to put an end to him. Cool. Let's Look do at it. These orders from the encampment. That armor must give Samson extraordinary power. We may not be able to stop him. Um... 
everything out. Oh. My controller's just stopped, so I'm just stopped working. Oh, it's done that thing with the stick again. Fuck my life. This is getting ridiculous. See, everything else is working. All of my other uh, buttons are... You can't see because my face is over it, but they're responding. It's... Uh, the friggin' stick is not working. I don't... And why? No reason for it. Pain in the ass. Sly, how you doing, Sly? You've been dealing with a lot... Oh. A freaking lot on your plate for the past couple of days, haven't you, buddy? Damn, well, there you go, Red Major. That's cool. Um, I ain't doing slight. Hanging in there. Everyone's... Been dealing. I don't... I don't want to say too much about things because uh, I don't know um, who knows about what, but it's been, it, it's been a crazy old week of, for, pe for people we know for all sorts of reasons. A lot's going on. Ryan, the man himself. How you doing, Ryan? I hope you're well, bro. Um... Yeah, no doubt, Slight. Um, my God. Uh, this stupid game. Unbelievable. Um, when was my, when's the last save? If the auto save came in after this, I don't think I can get out of it. Um, this buggy... Freaking game. Uh, oh, can we fast travel out of the conversation? Let's do... Yeah, that's what we had to do last time, didn't we? Let's try speaking to you, you again, Cullen. He's like, what are, you, what are you doing? You just ran away. I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. Silly game. On that note, let's do a freaking save. Crying out loud. Yeah, we've done an auto save when we came into the area, but how many people have we freaking? We've been out like about a half hour, an hour speaking to people. I'm gonna speak to other more important people first. Your worship. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, your worship. I suppose. Uh, lol. Screw you, buddy. Your worship. I suppose. I suppose. Suppose I'll give you some respect. Whatever, mate. Here we go. Here she is. Oh, well. Oh, she's taking me inside. Oh, what? You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. Yeah. Don't, don't punch him. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Yeah, let's intervene. Hey, enough! You're taking his side? I'm taking sides. I'm I'm saying I'm in charge. Step we down, Cassandra. Need someone to lead this inquisition. Hawk was our only hope. He was the champion of Kirkwall. The majors respected him. And you kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the conclave. If anyone could have saved most holy. <laughs> See, Cassandra, back off. Varric, you bastard. <laughs> uh, Varric's not at fault here, kind of. But more importantly, what's done is done. Getting angry about it isn't going to help anyone. Uh, is I think is the point. Um, you can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept what that the maker wanted all this to happen that he that he everyone has to die cassandra varick is a liar inquisitor a snake even after the conclave when we needed hawk most 
Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Yeah, I'm well aware. Varric's earned his place. That's unfair, Cassandra, that is. She didn't like that. He did bring Hawk. Late, perhaps, but Hawk is with us. As are you. Yeah, don't be a spoiled brat, Cassandra. Or you have to get spanked. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I'd just explained what was at stake, if I'd just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. What if you hadn't believed him and you'd tracked Hawk down? Honestly, Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor. He supported the Mage Rebellion, after all. He wouldn't have trusted me for a second. But this isn't about Hawk or even Varric. Not truly. I no, should have you. been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. Um, is this a bit of an inconsistency in the story here? Cassandra's saying that when she kidnapped and it was interrogating Varric in the previous game the, and the reason being she was trying to find Hawk she was trying to find Hawk because she was like yeah Hawk should lead the Inquisition but in this game at the start of the game the Inquisition isn't even an idea. She throws the Inquisition together off, you know, off the bat, uh, just like off the cuff, rather, just from, uh, oh, what should we do? Uh, oh, the Inquisition. The Inquisition is an idea after the events of the Conclave. But what she's saying in this conversation is the Inquisition was an idea before the events of the Conclave. I think, honestly, this is a little bit poorly written. Unless I've misunderstood, I'm greatly misunderstanding what she's saying now. Or I greatly misunderstood what was presented at the start of the game. I think they've actually made an inconsistency in their own story, which is. Come on, Bioware. That's not. You know, if Squidge did that in one of her books, you got to recall the book. You know what I mean? Uh, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> um, do you know what I mean that's that's a, that's an important thing? Um, yeah, Af, you know, am I correct in what I've just said? She's like, oh, if only we could get Hawk to lead the Inquisition. The Inquisition didn't even exist when you you were trying to get hold of Hawk. It wasn't explained why, and it was kind of inferred that we would maybe find out after the fact, but. That's right, that's right, right, Af. How, how sloppy of them. Anyway. Um, we're all fools, Cassandra, how including you know Bioware. Cassandra? <laughs> we're all fools here. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? More at home, maybe. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. I don't know what's to come, but you're more than I could have hoped for. Good. Okay, so she disapproved a lot, and then she approved a lot. We're kind of on an even, even keel still. That's not the end of it, Cassandra. I want much more out of you. Oh, we've got a new operation, did we? Missing Seekers. Okay. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Can I help at all? Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Indeed, 
I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corythius has imprisoned them. Couldn't they be dead, though? Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. But the Seekers began this war against the Mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. Mm. Um. Oh, interesting, Affa. I can't remember. That's, um, either way. Uh, but if they're all infected. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon Yeah, we've already seen that. That may be what happened, but it yeah. couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Um... Yeah, I mean, uh, we, uh, that may not be the case with the, uh, the, the normal Templars, but, um, we, we saw the Red Templars literally doing that to random citizens who weren't even Templars or anything special or fighters. We're just like, see this Red Lyrium? Get that stuff that in your face. I don't want to. Oh, you were not given your choice, son. Nosh it up. Come work for us as a Red Lyrium fiend. Uh, you know what I mean? So... Same thing could have happened to the Seekers. Uh, it's important to you, Cassandra. Finding it's important to me. A lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. Eh. But even so, we saved everyone else in the world. If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Of course. And see, we've got we've got plenty of uh, leads. Oh, okay. So he dropped us back there. That's it. All right. So we've got something new to do for Cullen, and presumably something new to do for uh, Cassandra there. So let's as it's as it teleported us back to the war room. Let's uh, let's do it. Um, no, so let's, let's get let's get some coin there. Um, yeah, locate the missing seekers. This doesn't. Oh, it's quickest to send Lel. So I guess we'll uh, do that. Let's get these. Uh, oh, actually, I don't know if we can. I think she might be busy at the minute. Yeah, she should have got an hour, over an hour to do that. Okay, that's fine. Right, Josephine, 50 minutes. Um, I thought there was uh, another thing that popped up. Oh, find Crestwood's way, Mayor. I've still not done this. How si silly me. Oh, yeah, because right. she ran away, didn't he? She was feeling guilty. It's been a while. I thought there was something else that had popped up, but... um, oh, That's already completed. I wish the ones that were completed would kind of just remove from the map. Why is it, why why remain there if it's already done? Do you know what I mean? I don't. Anyway, no, let's not worry about it. It's done. Can uh, we mod this story? I mean, you can you can pretend what happened. Or, uh, <laughs> you can pretend something else happened if you want, Red Mage. I mean, <laughs> that I guess that's an option. Inquisitor. Right, where else, Cassandra? Because she got lots of cutscenes. Because she's like one of the main characters, I guess. After your character. Oh, she's reading uh, pornography. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, if most people look at porn. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cassandra, don't freak out about it. Yeah, embarrassed. Wait, 
you blushing? What would I have to blush about? You tell me. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. I don't know about that. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of very oh. yeah, yeah. swords and shields. So it's doubly embarrassing. Because it's uh because <laughs> it's this is his saucy romance novel series. And obviously it's Varric who's written it, so she's like extra embarrassed because she's like Varric. Uh yeah, me <laughs> medieval Instagram, yeah, exactly. It's the closest thing they've got, uh, Red Mage. <laughs> Um, so you've read them all? The latest chapter meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. That's just her favourite. Nobody asked you, Tavinta. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. No. Uh. <laughs> it's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. <laughs> she's like oh my, she's so embarrassed she, uh he'd be pleased he would be pleased um like si like seriously she can't handle it um but i maybe i should read it sandra maybe we should read it together maybe you should read it to me maybe i should read it to you maybe we should take turns reading it to each other i don't think about that maybe i should read that book you no why uh, not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I see. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You. You could ask him to finish it. Command him. You command him to finish it. <laughs> Pretend you don't know this about me. No. What? I'm, I, I protect, how am I going to do that, Cassandra? I'm thinking about it all day. Uh, <laughs> she like, <laughs> yes. I okay, we're in a normal conversation now. I'm not cutting. Search for the missing seekers, Inquisitor. Still, it could involve a threat we are unaware of. There may be a use in looking. Um. Tell me about the Seekers, then. Can you tell me more about the Seekers? The Seekers of Truth were born from the original Inquisition long ago, when it united with the Chantry. Seekers stood above the Templars, watching over them, but also investigating magical events they couldn't handle. We were meant to be incorruptible, above reproach. How seldom does reality match the ideal? Um... Indeed, but what are they specifically? What are seekers exactly? Those who know anything of us think we are Templars. We do not use Lyrium, however. Our abilities are different, as was our original purpose. We disciplined the Templars and were accountable only to the Divine, and not even her, truthfully. Um, so you uh, were the leaders of the Templars? So the commanded the Templars? No. The Order didn't assume command until after the rebellion. The Templars have always feared us. When a Seeker arrived at a circle, they knew trouble was afoot. That kind of power is troubling. You begin to think you are the only one who can solve the world's problems. If you don't see a problem, it doesn't exist. If someone insists it does, they are the blind ones. Uh... Could that be fixed? Do you think that kind of problem could ever be fixed? Oh my god. The problem of having a working controller that doesn't disconnect. Do you think that could ever be fixed? I don't know. We'll see. Possibly. Oh. Though yeah. the seekers themselves would need to change. They were clearly not willing to, even though they abandoned everything they stood for to avoid it. In my heart, I believe they can still be salvaged, but not by their own hands. Um, yeah, how does one become a seeker? How does someone become a seeker? Most seekers begin training in their youth. I was much older, an exception due to my noble birth. We train rigorously for years. Our bodies and minds must be elastic to undergo the vigil, and most fail even then. 
What's the vigil? Is the vigil some kind of initiation? It is the right every seeker must go through. No worries, Squidge. We've got another hour. See you back in a bit. A full year of fasting, prayer, and separation from all distractions, including other people. A whole year we on your own. Damn. Emotion, focusing only on the purity of our devotion. Damn. And the moment it finally ends, it's wonderful. Faith realized. I cannot put it into words. <laughs> you were delirious. Obviously, she didn't not eat. I assume when she says fasting, she doesn't mean she fasted. She ate nothing for a whole year. I don't think that's possible. But um, I guess she was like, well, I'm do well, I'm a 24-hour fast. She was probably doing like 72-hour fasts for a whole year. That's pr still pretty intense. It does sound wonderful. I wish I could experience that. If the vigil was not so arduous, I'd say more should attempt it. What if mages never needed to fear possession by demons? I'm told it is impossible, however. I suppose I'll never know the truth of it now. Yeah. Um, so what, why, why did the Seekers rebel? What why did your happened? order turn against the Chantry? We originally united with the Chantry through a treaty that stated they would keep mages under control. It was felt Most Holy had tacitly allowed the Circle of Magi to vote on its independence thus breaking the treaty. The Seekers saw themselves as justified, and they led the Templars into a war of righteousness. You sound like you disagree. We knew what was happening at Kirkwall, where the Mage Rebellion began. We looked into reports of Knight Commander Meredith's harsh treatment of her charges years earlier. But we found Freaking so Meredith. many shocking cases of magical corruption, it was decided her actions were justified. If we'd been there when it happened, if we'd looked harder at the root causes. Major should be free. You care deeply about it, yeah. Um. It wasn't inevitable. You seem to care a great deal about it. Too much, if you ask the rest of my order. When faced with a problem, the Seekers would close ranks and crush it. We would find an answer, but only once we felt we weren't being coerced. The moment the mages voted for independence, our response was predictable. It was difficult to watch. All right, what abilities do you have? Huh? You mentioned that Seekers have different abilities than Templars. Yeah. Entirely. A Templar's abilities come from Lyrium and are designed to hunt mages. Ours come from ritual and many years of dedicated training. We cannot be possessed by demons and are immune to mind control. Useful, oh. considering our role. Seekers can gain other gifts, though that depends on the individual. What are your gifts? What kind of gifts do you have? I can set delirium within a person's blood aflame. Both mages and Templars bend before my will. Oh. Some seekers use it to interrogate, others simply to paralyze. Once there was a seeker who could use it to kill, that particular gift is considered rare. Yeah, enough talk for now, Cassandra. I, I don't know if I've actually finished Something with you. Something is troubling me, Inquisitor. Yes. Liliana is receiving reports of mages becoming possessed. Templars going rogue. No one is dealing with these matters. I was hoping we might before they get worse. It's not our job. We have a lot to do. No, of course. We, we can certainly look into it. I will mark these incidents on the map as I learn of them, Inquisitor. Okay. And I would be pleased to accompany you if and when you investigate. Certainly. Um. Let's talk about the Chantry. May I ask you about the Chantry? It is difficult to say what becomes of the Chantry now. Mm. They have no Templars, no leadership, and no one left who is worthy of succeeding the Divine. It has fallen apart when everyone needs it the most. I ache to think what this will mean in the days to come. Um. I mean, there's got to be a new divine at some point. How do they decide? Place divine Justinia. They will try. Once Can they? The priests withdraw for the grand consensus. It is against Chantry law for them to emerge without naming a new divine. Sometimes it takes days. Or weeks, or even months. The problem now is that no clear successor to Justinia exists. 
all worthy cleric died with her at the conclave. Could could you, Cassandra, be the new divine? Or Leliana? I don't know if that's an option. Uh, and what if they don't agree? So what happens if they can't agree on someone? Nothing. Theoretically, they will argue until exhaustion takes them or they see reason. Practically, however, if the grand consensus goes on too long, the Chantry will crumble. Any it won't be a Chantry anymore. But little sense will see this as her one chance, and plenty of such clerics exist. Mm. We shall see what happens. The Inquisition must act in the meantime. And will you serve the new divine? If they do choose a new divine, will you serve her? That depends on whether she would have me. I am a rebel now, remember? And even if she would, I do not know. It would depend on what type of divine she is. I am no longer in a position to follow blindly, and no new divine could expect such obedience now. Agreed. Um, but should the Chantry be saved? The Chantry is yeah. worth preserving. I mean... I do, though I understand how someone serves the people. outside of human society might think otherwise. Cast the Chantry aside and new problems replace old ones. We will have learned nothing from history. The people need stability, and the Chantry needs a new purpose. Andraste had a dream for us. It can still be achieved. What's this new purpose? Um, Thank you for the uh, alert, Red Mage. Purpose be? A dedication to what is truly important. Instead of building cathedrals and sewing gowns for the divine, the Chantry used to spend its coin feeding the poor. If we are to spread the Maker's word across the world, we must do so with open hearts and open hands. You sound like an idealist, but, um... That sounds rather idealistic of Sounds... I like it. Does I like the sound of it. I do not think it's so unachievable. The Chantry has many good, honest people. They just need direction and inspiration. They need to be freed from centuries of adherence to tradition and ceremony. A chance for renewal is Oh my god. Excuse me. It does not have to come with utter chaos. Um, and why did you leave the Chantry exactly? I'm surprised you rebelled against the Form the Inquisition, I guess. I left my own order when they took the wrong path. It is no different. But in neither case did I stop caring. Indeed, I care so much that I feel drastic action is necessary. I suppose history shall one day judge my actions. Okay, fair I enough. Think. Fair enough, Cassandra. Ah, there we go. So that's all our missions there. We'll have a look at those in a sec. Is there anything you need? Uh, tell me about yourself, Cassandra. I have some more questions. As you wish. Um, how did you become the right hand? So, what's the story about you becoming the right hand? Sweet Andraste, do you really want to hear that? It was, yes. What, 18, 20 years ago? Some still discuss it like it happened yesterday. The tale gets bigger each time it's told. I barely recognize myself within it now. Um. That's how stories that's work. What happens with stories that become legends? I am not a legend, nor was I then. I was a young woman, barely out of training. To hear others tell it, I alone saved Divine Beatrix from a horde of dragons sent to assault the Grand Cathedral. Rather impressive for such a young seeker, wouldn't you say? Indeed. And the truth is? I stumbled upon a conspiracy to kill Beatrix. A Templar Knight Commander was at its heart. Oh, and wow. there was a dragon battle at the Grand Cathedral, but I had help from loyal mages who rallied to the cause. They freed the dragons from magical control. Without them, the Divine and I would both have died. Yet I became the right hand, and they are forgotten. I assume that's uh, what she's just said, alluded to there, is the story that happens in the animated movie about her. Oh, look, you're delightful. Uh, what became of Majors? Uh, you're still a hero, impressive. Uh, typical of the Chantry. Let's take the opportunity. <laughs> You're delightful. You know that. Let's make no, out right I now. I do not know that. Mm -hmm. I object. There is nothing delightful about me. <laughs> I beg to differ. <sighs> Who could have guessed the Inquisitor would be so odd? 
Uh, <laughs> she's not having it. Got to wear her down. Wear her down. Uh, what happened to your brother? Tell, Tell me about your brother. your brother. Anthony was older than I, a dragon hunter who showed what a pentagast could truly be. I idolized him. I wanted to hunt dragons as he did, even though our uncle forbade it. I mean, Anthony dragons. promised to train me in secret. That's a, that's a profession. <laughs> together one day, brother and sister, vanquishing the beasts of old. Sounds cool. And then he died on me. How did he die? What happened? A group of apostates wanted dragon blood and wanted Anthony to get it for them. He refused and they killed him for it in front of me. Yeah. I begged the Chantry to let me become a Templar. Instead, they sent me to the Seekers. It took many years to let go of my drive for vengeance. No doubt. I think I understand how you felt. At times, I could not breathe. The rage nearly choked me. I sometimes wonder how different my life would be if Anthony was still alive. Would I be a dragon hunter? Married to some noble fool, a mother of three? I cannot say. Mm. I take solace in believing the Maker has a plan, but he is not always kind. Indeed. Agreed. I'll let you get back to work. There's a plan, but it's not always as you want it. But you saw the way. Trust all is well. So you're a romantic, eh? So that book you were reading. Oh, yes. What of it? <laughs> so under that taciturn shell beats a true romantic heart. Why must it be an accusation? Romance is not the sole province of dithering ladies in frilly dresses. <laughs> it is passion. It is being swept away by the pursuit of an ideal. What is not to like about that? Agreed. I like that you like it. Don't get me wrong. I like this side of you. I don't swoon. I Yet. Mean the passion. <laughs> oh. Well, that's not so bad then. I think I'm be everything from Cassandra. Greetings. No? Like your advice. Do you have any advice for me? Tell that demon. What does it call itself? Cole. Tell it to leave. He may not mean harm. But that does not mean he will not harm us. Hmm. Spirits are not creatures to take at face value. Be cautious with him, Inquisitor. Okay, fair enough. She's. I'll take it on that under advisement, Cassandra. I'm not going to tell him to leave, though, until he Do you have any is justified. Watch the treasury carefully. With that Sarah present. No, that's Sarah. I think she's here to rob us. Possibly not. But I would hardly put it past her. Okay. That's enough for now. Another time, then. I think that's everything for now. Oh, that's Sarah's room up there, isn't it? So Sarah spends most of her day just staring at Cassandra, working out. Seemingly. Let's go quiz her about it. Oh, Hardin, how are you doing? Hey. Uh, tell me about yourself, Hardin. Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, oh no, we all dressed for this, didn't we? Live near Redcliffe all my life. When the Inquisition, yeah. then I signed on. Yeah, you signed on, yeah. I wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by. Yeah, we all dressed for that. Never mind. Thing out there. What's been going on? Seeker Cassandra came through here looking like a storm cloud. Yep. That's just her face, though, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> it's just her face. <laughs> uh, uh, right. Um. The funniest thing I've seen in years. That cat dancing around, hopping and pouncing like a fool. Made my day bright, it did. Maker knows what got into the little rat catcher. Okay. Interesting. How are you? Hey you, I have an inquisitor favour to ask. Okay. It's just a little thing really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? Details first. I won't agree to anything without details. Smart of you. I wouldn't dream of wasting your super important time. Good. It's a red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land swap. 
Who told you about this? You don't want to tell me. A tip from one of your friends. Not a Jenny. Just normal angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. <laughs> Bigger than normal, I guess, because we both... Never mind. <laughs> uh, who are we working for, exactly? Who's asking for this? I'm no one. Yeah. I heard people complain it. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Good. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. Uh, what's in it for me? She won't like that, but... What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you acting. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. Just like always. Something will happen. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll look into it. Of course we'll. Alright, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient arseholes. <laughs> ancient <Everything> arseholes. <laughs> uh battalion for sarah okay operation not finished though what else we got you have a problem that over there is a full tavern but everyone's drinking alone they're all up their own asses about the inquisition i can't have fun with everybody whinging and they'll fall on their swords before Corifinus can push them <laughs> i'm thinking pranks set a few up knock a few down you win or not so pranks what we what's she trying to do um I want them at their best, if you think that's going to help. idea of preparation. I need to keep them at their best. What's best then, Mopey? Constantly ready for death to fall from the gaping hole up there. <laughs> I know people. Pissed off and fired up is better than dreary bleary. Come on. No, grow up. Oh, time with you sounds like fun. Uh, yes, I'm in. You go ahead without me. Okay. Um, uh, I guess we hit on her, like we hit on everybody. Just you and me. You know, I would like that. Sure, that could work. Maybe. Let's go. Okay. She's a bit standoffish any time I mention that to, uh, Sarah. She's like... She's like, oh, maybe. She's like, not saying no, but she's like constantly got her, uh, her defences up. I don't think that's personal. I think she's just like that with everyone. Oh, what was that? General Uptight is gone. Have a search about. Oh. Find something to mess with. And give yeah. What, the Let's mess with this. Oh, yes. Center of the Empire and all that. What to do? What to do? Yeah. They should go along with her. It's only Cullen. Right, Sarah, yeah. What do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. I got it. Easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There. Won't notice much. But it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. <laughs> I tell one of the soldiers and boom. The general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one. I, I am people. <laughs> so she put some, a little something under one leg of his desk so his desk isn't perfectly flat. Oh, we're doing Josie now, are we? Right. Oh. Little lady Prissy Pants. Have a look for something she likes too much. What, the, door. the door? Where she greets every important idiot. Yes. Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Mm. <laughs> Get a bucket. A bucket of water dumped on her head? You can't be serious. Yo, Swain. Classic, yeah? Oh, my God. Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Ah! Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever. Next stop. Everyone has a sloppy boss. <laughs> oh, uh, he's got away with words, haven't you, Sarah? What's that? A lock? No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. 
things, not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messenger something gassy? No, birds don't pop. Birds don't pop? Flap and, uh, hmm. Who is up there? Uh, it's the Inquisitor and Sarah. No, run away. Tee hee. Go! <laughs> um, a coma. Use water. It'll be fine. Uh, if if it's Josephine, she's uh she's an angel. An so of the people still this remembering should be fine. you're one of them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. Um, anything to keep us inspired, Whatever I guess. Whatever it takes. I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good. <laughs> Corifinus would never do that. Good thing for you, innit? Riffinus. Because from the bottom, everyone up top sort of seems the same. It was fun chasing you, Inquisitor. Nice view. Yeah. You! Oh, frig. You did it. <laughs> you soaked through, Josephine. Never mind. We'll, um... Have to dry you off. Uh, anyway... I don't think that's the end of that. I'm sure there's uh, more info we can get out of Sarah. Aside from the mission. Yes, that was fun, Sarah. Now we now we need to talk some business out. Yes. Yeah. It's all very serious. How did today, Akuma? Are you well, sir? Just asking for not so much magic. Great, yeah. Um. Oh, you don't fit the Inquisition. Oh, I'm interested in you. We would have done this, right? I was thinking you and I should get to know each other. Not interested in being your second. My oh. What? Oh, yeah. Second. I like you fine. You've got a pretty way about you. But big but I don't share. Oh. You're getting in deep with Blackwall. Better tell him you're looking to wander. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I've got to go dump Blackwall, even though nothing's really happened. She didn't like that though. She was home. I've broken it anyway. Oh, never mind. Oh, Blackwall. I'm sorry, buddy. He's kind of like the easiest, but the most. Because uh, <laughs> just what on vague conversation, he's just like everyone's like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Blackwall's like, I bloody love you. And you're like, Blackwall, what? Okay, I'll, I'll string you along, I guess. And he's like, yes. We're uh, we're an item now, but I've not even laid hands on you before. <laughs> my lady. You know what I mean? He's like my lady. Uh, bless him. I've got to dump him. He's gonna be like, oh well, it's it's for the best. Keep your stoicism going. Um, Chin Megami Tensei Five. Wow, Kuma, have you played any of the others? I hear that you don't really have. You can play them in any order. Is it good? Uh, Sean, how you doing there, Sean? Welcome in, my friend. Um, he is, he's a gentleman. And it's good to be a gentleman. But sometimes being a gentleman can leave you, like, alone and miserable. <laughs> Trust me. We need to discuss our relationship. Of course. It's not working. I don't know if you and me together is a good idea. It probably is. It's exactly what Root was referring to earlier. complicated. There you go. It's just let's say yeah. no more of this. Yeah, so it's com it's just yes, I agree. It's very complicated. Let's never speak on it again. I walk out of the stable and he's like <gasps> <gasps> That's that's me. <laughs> uh not now not nowadays, but when I was younger. I'd like almost like friend zone myself. Because I was like too respectable in a way. Does that make sense? Rather than just being like a bit more, hey, how are you doing? You know, I was a bit like, oh, oh yes, yes, I'm, I'm a good guy. You know, women want good. Oh well, yeah, I'm speak for women, but this is my experience. Men, whoever, people in relationships, people want a good guy or a good person. Uh, in the long term thing. You know what I mean? If it, like a serious, a full, fully serious thing, don't don't start with that because you don't know if something's fully serious until you've already established the you know the initial thing. Does that make sense? I don't know. I was f foolish, foolish child. I was. So we're attacking wardens now. That's pissing great. 
Um, yeah, I, well, you've got to do what you do, Sarah. Tell me about your background, Tell Sarah. Me about yourself. Oh, yeah. Interested, are you? Yes. Um, where are you from? How about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over? Okay, fine. Denimum for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. Okay. Uh, no ties worth mentioning? There are no connections you want to mention at all. You don't have to, Sarah. I'm just How curious. How are of you? What? Never mind. <laughs> Good, right? Uh, who trained you? you trained did. yourself. Of course you did. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly it just <coughs> makes sense. It's not like that for you. Um. Uh, not typically. Usually it takes considerable discipline. Hence my question. Hence? Look, I work at it. Practice a little. Not like Cullen and his pets. I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Well, it's not like that for other elves. I know that. <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. No. Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company. Fact still is, no teacher. Where would I find one in alleyways, anyway? <laughs> Fair enough. So it's nice knowing other elves, but she doesn't, like, think of herself as an elf, and she doesn't actually... She's not really into elves. I'll say it anyway. I'm just interested in talking to an elf like me. Mm, don't think yeah. so. Why not? Well, maybe you're all right, but most elves are too elfy. <laughs> like that Solus, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. Indeed, I respect that. Um. Um. There's no value in tradition. No. There's a lot of tradition there. Yeah. Should it just be thrown away? Yes. Your great grandfather's dead. Why aren't you dead? You're throwing away tradition. No. That makes the, sense to you. The tradition is None to be dead. <laughs> That's why I'm not like an elf. Um. Yes, indeed. Indeed, Sarah. Later. If you say so. No, well, later is right now. Not seeing you yet? I don't, yeah, I don't know. You tell me. Uh. You tell me about your friends, Sarah. You apparently have a lot of friends. Tell me about your network. Nope. It's not mine, right? I mean, it is, but it's also everyone. Yeah. Everyone who wants to shove it to nobles who hide behind gold and silk. And hats, I guess. No. <laughs> um. Uh, what, what does your group do exactly, Are you Sarah? just about pranks and revenge, or is there more to it? Well, it's a weave, right? Indeed. I grease a ballroom, so a wyvern chasing git has to hunt sprained. Strangely, handmaids leave his vault open. His heirlooms pay off someone else. Maybe clean streets in Kirkwall so someone gets something else. Pish, pish, pish. A lot of people eventually get help or a laugh. Or maybe someone dead, if they deserve it. Um. Good to know. I'm glad I met you before someone decided what I deserved. You're no hate for last so far. I'd just get you with a pie or something. No. Nah. Anyway, get you a bard's job, in it. <laughs> no fun that lot. They might plonk a noble, right? But only to raise another. Plus, I'm shy at singing. No. Nah. Um, was there ever a red to Jenny? Is I guess it must have been. Real, or was she always just to you and your friends? Don't know. Yeah, who knows? Does it matter? Yeah. I mean, red is scary because blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. <laughs> besides, it's easy. Nobles <laughs> want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't get at them. Numbers, yeah? An even spread is all it takes. Fear! The random group of people who do random stuff. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, he's got a point. Um, someone must be in charge. Nope. So do you take turns I don't know. Like that. There's nothing Weird. To lead. 
put a few favors in, take a few out. Stop, and you cut yourself out. Yeah. Other than that, we stay out of each other's way. Yeah. Probably Interesting. Right or... <laughs> yeah, I expected people from you. Um, that's kind of aggressive, and it wasn't that's not true, but just for the sake of the dialogue. Where are the people you promised? If I knew, they wouldn't be much use. That's sort of the point. Okay, I guess Look, that makes sense. Your are rocks <laughs> or trees. They have people they use. Cooks, squires, wipers. Yeah, I know. Wipers, right? You better believe the one with wipers deserve it. Right in the... Well, anyway. The little people will be there when you need them. Yeah. A million little ways. That's kind of... That is kind of gross. To be a, a, a noble of such stature uh, and such wealth that you, like, employ someone to wipe your butt. You don't even wipe your own butt after you poop. You're just like, Hey, you! Do it for me. It's like, uh, that's uh that's weird and gross that you would even want someone to do that. <laughs> so yes, let's get rid of those people. Um uh, so strength in numbers then. So lots of little contributions add up in the background, like snowflakes that snap a branch. What? Uh sure. Like snow, I guess. <laughs> anyway, it just works most of the time. Friend of a friend and little hints. Mind you, you still have to be smart. Don't bet your life unless you're into that. Risky, yeah. But you like a bit of a tease. No. Yeah. You noticed? She's not as dumb as she makes out to be, is she? Um. Well, as long as it works. I can play along if it works for you. You have a choice. Hey, all the Inquisition. <laughs> okay, that's all. We'll talk another time. Yep, talk right now. We're that. It's all good in it. It's all good in it. Gracious lady bits. Gracious lady bits. My God, is she slowly winning her over. Um. Uh, no, we're not doing do that yet. Opinions about our allies. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Again with your people. Right, which ones? Um. Varric. Anything to say about Varric? Varric? Too clever. Always saying something, but never saying it straight. I think I actually asked her about this. Solus? She doesn't like Solus. Solus? Solus? <laughs> His head's crammed up a thousand years ago. Indeed. Cassandra? Thoughts about Cassandra? I started her from being hot. Up as she plays, right? Tough, though. I'd stand behind her in front of anything. Yeah, I'll bet you would. Uh, advisors. What do you think about our spy master, ambassador, and commander? Liliana is pretty in places. Swear I've seen her too, or heard she used to play. But that'd be mad. Now Josephine, she's as good at humbling her kind as I am. Yeah, I think we already Just we already asked her about this. And Cullen. Yeah. I suppose if you want a jack boot, you get a big one so you can okay. grow into it. Don't think I've asked her about nice. these folks though. Right, so what about bull. Thoughts on iron bull. Uh, it makes me wonder about things. Uh. I mean, what do their women look like? Woof. <laughs> Indeed, uh, Blackwall. Anything I just dumped him for you, you by like the way, him. Sarah. He's too good, right? I'd like to see him out of that uniform. Not like that. No. Indeed. Uh, Dorian. What about Dorian? <laughs> He's fun. Could lose a bit more to Vinter. Indeed. Cole? What about Cole? I'm not saying nothing about that. That thing is just wrong. Wow, that thing is just wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've, as you know, I've got a, a, a lot in common with Sarah. <laughs> uh, Vivienne, she's not a lot of Vivienne at all. What's your opinion of Vivienne? She's a bitch, but she knows. She better. All right. We'll talk later. No, we won't. Good, right? Oh, it almost sealed the deal. Wait, what's on? Um, that's everything, isn't it? Uh, thoughts on our progress. Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. The crane's nice, I suppose. Corypheus bit, though. Corypheus bit. Height. <laughs> Corypheus. 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 Sack. Splash. I know Sack Splash. Doesn't deserve the respect of me saying it, does he? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what? What? <laughs> Sack splash? What is that? What is she saying? <laughs> Sarah, my God. Um. Uh. Yeah. What? What about the fact that you? Should... <laughs> I, uh, we use magic. She's not a fan of magic at all. Do you have any worries about how my magic is developing? <laughs> really? You have to ask what's so bad about the magic stuff. I mean, oh, no problem with it. weird you talking about night whatevers. Night enchanter. Battle magic. It's not helping. I don't understand that stuff. It's scary to anyone smart enough to think for a second. Yeah, it's not scary. It shouldn't be scary. You're the inquisitor. That's part of my job, though. What are you frightened of? What has you so scared? You really don't know. Most people are scared. I mean, there's lots of mages here, but most never see one. Never. You're weird, and I know you, so you're not scary. But lots of people don't know you. I don't want you to be just a scary mage. Nope. I'd never disappoint you, Sarah. Sarah, I couldn't be like that. Not and disappoint you. <laughs> Give me the shivers, you know? Ooh. Yeah, you know. Oh. All right. You know. Of course you like. Uh, <laughs> uh, why did you... Uh, oh, no, it's, let's ask that in a second. Yeah, no, I'll do that now. Why did you really join us? Have fun. The Inquisition seems an odd fit. Why are you really here? Maybe you'll be fun, yeah? And to help people. I don't believe you. Um... Yeah, it seems like there's more to it, Sarah, it does but... It sounds like you're looking for something more. It is. Mostly. Okay, fine. There's talk, and... I want to see. see yes. More. I don't know. I just... I've got all this Chantry stuff in my head, and it makes sense, right? But it's... fuzzy. I want to see if it's all really real. I just don't know if I want to really know. Mm. So I'm selfish. It's all for me. Count yourself lucky, I guess. That's fair. You want to find out? Um, yes, I've just dumped Blackwall for you. You and I should get to know each other. You've got a pretty way about you. We can see where that goes. If it goes the way I like. I mean, maybe. Yeah, maybe. And I am a good judge of people. I don't date pricks. No. Really, because prick and prick. Look, you're nice. Let's travel around more. I get to know you. We'll see. Okay, I guess that's the end of that. Okay. Sarah, let me just check. I just left you bits. Uh, yeah, okay, so nothing's changed. So there we go. So she's basically can. saying, yes, we, she will hook up with us um, if our, her disposition improves a bit more. So I don't know if think she'll like the fact that we're about to go ride the bull. I like that bull. How you doing? You're doing good work, boss. I like how this inquisition is coming. Next time you're free. Why don't you come grab a drink? I'll introduce you to the Chargers. Hell yeah. Let's get drunk, mate. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, <clears throat> come on. It'll be fun. Hell yeah. I'm going for a drink. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? No. Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Yeah. Does he ever stop? <laughs> Is he always like this? I'm afraid so. Uh. The chief loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Uh. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Uh. You never need help binding. Uh. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. Uh... Uh, and the rest of the crew? Who are the others? A lot of the Chargers went looking off for stronger drinks. Let's see. Who's left? We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes. But they're mine. Dalish looks like she's trying to look like us. Uh, um... Well, I'll leave your clan, Dalish. Why aren't you with your clan? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. 
That'd make me an apostate. No. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. <laughs> a bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Lol. Uh, Grim, who are you? Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country or chieftain. Something like that. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Uh, Stitches. I take it you're the company healer. Yes. First time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. But that's because it's a poultice, sir. Uh, you're not supposed to drink it. <laughs> Come out loud, bull. Uh, Rocky. Right, uh, Bri. Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar. I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Mm. Yeah, you really don't. <laughs> uh, Skinner. So, how'd you join the charges? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. No doubt. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. Um, it's quite the group. You really take in anyone, don't you? Anyone who can carry their weight in a fight. And who can put up with your bullshit, Chief? Mm. Man can beat the oh, I've got a song. For every bloody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, the horn be pointing up. Thanks for coming by, boss. Some of my Excellent. No worries. You, you're doing your thing, Bull. I respect it. Uh, that's not all I wanted from you, big boy. I can't understand how those women in the kitchen can be awake so early after the night we had. Oh? Oh, uh, he's been smashing the the kitchen staff. So, what is here? Yes, uh, why, why are you called Iron Bull? So, how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the cube. Just, I don't know, job descriptions, I guess. When I came to Orle, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. Why that name, though? But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. <laughs> also, it's the Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. No. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. No, I bet it does. Um, something about Ben Hasrath, I guess? I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hathrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds. Or make them disappear. And then you've and got spits the us. spies. Yeah. Um, and your job is spying. Uh, well, the re-educators. How the re-educators work? Well, I only know the basics. Wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than we'd like to believe. And indeed. Uh, is it really that easy? You can alter someone's beliefs that easily. One of my friends was a re-educator. He said that every memory is like the page of a book. When you examine a memory, you're turning to that page, and when you're there, the page is laid bare. Write a few notes in the margins of the page, erase a word here and there, and your whole outlook changes. Mm. I always felt a little weird reading after that conversation. No doubt. Uh, it's kind of revolting. The re-educators sound horrible. Yeah, they probably do. Here's the thing, though. 
What happens in Orlais when you commit a crime or betray a lord? They you just lop killed. your head off. Yeah. At least the Canari try to fix you. Uh. Anyway, yeah. So you're a spy. Close. I am now, I suppose. But that's not how I started. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me. Trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. Uh... Sounds impossible. How'd that work out for you? About as well as you'd expect. Mm. I hunted down a lot of rebels. Lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashath. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turned myself into the re-educators. Um... Well, Tao, I guess. Obviously you made it out alive. I wasn't sure I would. But I honestly didn't care at that point. I just couldn't keep fighting that fight. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orlais, ostensibly as a Talvashath, and work undercover. That's how I ended up here. Hey, here we go. It means I got to meet you. I'm glad you're here, Bull. Me too. If you ever need to talk more about all this, let me know. Nah, it was a long time ago. Thanks, though. Okay. Hey, boss. How are you? How are you? Uh, tell me about Saharon, I guess. Can you tell me more about Saharon? It was a damn ugly place. Only getting uglier when I left. Between the Fog Warriors, the Talvashath, my people, and the Vince. We were lucky to go a day without blood. <sighs> what do you want to know? Uh. Yeah, these, uh. The Fog Warriors. This is, um. This is the place where, uh. Fenris from the previous game was. Uh, when he first was you know got away from his master and wasn't a slave anymore and he was friends with the uh the fog warriors what were the fog warriors <clears throat> like they were the worst of the rebels they trained for stealth attacks they made this fog i never saw any mages so i figured it was alchemy not magic they were almost invisible in it i'd be on patrol in the market square the fog would roll in and before i knew it half my squad dead without a sound I'm impressed. It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poison. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. You have to respect that. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? In the fog, always put a smile on my face. Yep. Uh, what about the, the natives? What are things like for the natives of Saharan? I remember one guy. He made these things, fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back, and I see he's nervous, trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. Oh, jeez. And then? I'd seen how nervous he was, so I hadn't eaten anything. A couple of my guys weren't so lucky. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison. Another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight. He was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Saharan. It sounds messed up. Um, and all well, the Talvashoth then. Tell me there. about the When Kanari can't handle the fighting in Saharan or lose faith in the Kune, they go rogue. They flee into the wilderness and turn into bandits, attacking everyone. They're vicious, savage. You look at them and you can see why my people needed the Kuhn to stay civilized. Uh, no, he's not Talvashoth, is he? Not what you did, though. Hey, when I burned out, I didn't go rogue. I reported in and went where the Ben Hasrath sent me. I'm doing my job, serving the Kuhn out here. I'm not some bandit. I am nothing like them. Yeah, no, uh, that's fair, buddy. The Vince people you fought. The Vince sent forces to Saharan every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches, standing in knee-high water, foaming red with blood, 
ships on file around us. The, the cities were worse. Free bit of advice. Don't let the Inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat. No doubt. Why do you hate the Winter forces so much? What makes them so bad? Well, the majors for a start. <laughs> it's their spies. They bloodied Saharan year round, killing loyalists, supporting rebels. Alam had no city administrator. Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there, that just screws everyone. Mm. See you later, boss. Nice talking with you, boss. <laughs> Sounds like a mess. Anyway. Good to see you, boss. Uh, tell me about Canari in general. Like okay. know more about the Canari. You writing a book? Uh, no, I want to know about you. It's your culture, oh. and I'd like to know you better. You could just ask. That's what I'm doing. All right. What do you want to know? Um. Uh, how? What's how the government the like? Rule themselves? It's pretty simple. We've got the matriarchy, the priesthood, and the military. The priesthood figures out how Canari should live in theory. The matriarchy makes it work in practice, and the military keeps the Canari safe from outside threats. And any dissent? Does Probably it not. Really work like that? Is there much infighting? <laughs> not like you're thinking of. People disagree, yeah, but the priests are there to solve disagreements. Here in Orlais, politicking comes from people putting their own gain ahead of the gains of society. If you do that among the Canari, Ooh. then Hasrath sets you straight, or kill you. Ooh. Um. Day-to-day -day life like. How is everyday life different for Kunari? Uh, depends on your job, I guess. Some are just about the same. A baker in Val Royo gets up, gets dressed, and starts work. A baker in Parv Holland does the same thing. They don't care about the Empire or the Cube. Mostly they worry about breaking eggs and hope the dough rises right. Um, except the, that baker isn't free. Mm, maybe. It can't be exactly the same. The Kunari have no personal freedoms. How many personal freedoms do you figure that baker in Val Royo has? Life isn't about freedom. The baker in Par Volan wonders if she'll be given enough eggs to do her work. Will they come on time? Will the kitchen workers get her bread mm. while it's fresh, or will they come late and blame her because it's stale? Same crap in Val Royo. People are just people. Makes sense. Um, what's that growing up? I, like growing up I mean, he's, he's just, that's what he knows. So. Raise us in these units of kids all our own age. They're like teachers or chantry sisters. They also help figure out what jobs we should do. They had me pegged for military work early on. When they learned no doubt. hit stuff and lie, they started training me for the Bin Hasrath. Um. So there's no families at all. You never knew your parents. No, I know for you folks, that's a big deal. The Tamasrans were like our parents, though. Taught us to read, helped us go to sleep, all the parents stuff. I remember the one who helped me build things with blocks. She laughed when I knocked everything down. And uh, you guys not get married? Marriage among the Kunari. No, they just yeah, smash. That's true. Kunari love our friends like anyone does, but we don't have sex with them. Oh. The Kunari don't have sex. <laughs> oh, we definitely have sex. Oh. Uh, Tomas friends will pop your cork whenever you need it. Uh, Tomas friends will pop your cork whenever you need it. Uh, wow. I mean, really? <laughs> It's not a big deal like it is here. It's like, I don't know, going to see a healer. Sometimes it's this long, involved thing. It takes all day, leaves you walking funny. Sounds good. Other times you're in and out in five minutes. Uh, in and out. Thank you. See you next week. Uh, see you in and out in five minutes. Uh, I mean, <laughs> exactly, Pooch. Do you know what I mean? You've got to admire that that's the way they look at it. Even in modern society, um... We are still very caught up on it. You know, there's um, there's a lot, there's still a lot of uh, stuff, you know, is issues around it, isn't there? Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like going to see a healer. 
You need healing. We all need a little healing, don't we? Uh, <laughs> see, I'm sorry, just need your cork popping. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. That's bizarre. Sounds great, honestly. But what about a passion bull? So you've never really made love, connected with someone in both body and soul. I don't know. One time they used this thing called the Sato Nerapan. It's a leather wrapped rod on a harness. That wasn't really my soul, though. Also, there were more than two people. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> um, moving on. So, Thedas fell to the Kuhn, but the whole world was the Kuhn. Do you ever think about what would happen if the Kunari conquered Orle or Ferelden? Some folks, like Cassandra or Cullen, would do fine if they didn't die fighting. Those two love rules. But the mages. Vivienne's too political. Dorian's too arrogant, and Solus is just weird they'd all end up dead or worse they'd kill cole because you know demon and sarah would end up with her mind broken sweeping floors in some shop so to answer your question no i don't think about it much at all indeed uh what, what does kunari mean it's the just... word kunari is that the race or the religion both kind of the humans and elves who follow the cube are the Vidathari. The Kanari who break away from the Kuhn are Talvasha, deserters. Uh, and those who predate the Kuhn. What about Kunari who existed before the Kuhn? The people we came from. They're called the Kasith, but we don't use that word for the race. We came south to Thedas because the Kasith were... I don't know. We had to leave. The stories aren't clear. Mm. But I don't expect they look much like us. Whatever they are. Interesting. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. We are not finished talking yet, Bull. How you doing? Uh, tell me about your troops. I'd like to hear more about the charges. Always happy to talk about my guys. What do you want to know? Um, how did you start? How did you start the group? Uh, it's easy to make a name for yourself as a merc when you're a head taller than most folks. No I doubt. Spent a year or two working for Fisher's bleeders, but their captain was crap. Yep. Figured I could do better. The best folks in the bleeders agreed with me, so we split off. Yeah, uh, who's this Fisher? I imagine Fisher disagreed. <laughs> he came at me. I snapped his sword in half, and we talked things out over drinks. Yep. Uh, must have some crazy stories. What are the craziest jobs you've ever taken? Besides this one, <laughs> there's a lot of violence between the nobles here, but that's standard work. The fun stuff is when they party. They always want to impress each other, and that means getting something shiny. We've hunted weavens, fought through caves to find some old magical crap. Even when giant baiting was. Giant baiting? Giant baiting. So this old guy, Comte Van Chess, has some kind of a pageant planned. But he needs a giant, which is off in some damn cave. What? Cap He's got Capture some a giant alive? charm to control the giant. But no way he's going into that cave himself. So we go in, kill some spiders, find the giant, and wake it up. It attacks us because, of course, it does. Yeah. And we let the big bastard chase us outside where Van Chess is waiting. That was actually your plan, to let a giant chase you? Yeah. We had to stay out of reach, but close enough that it wouldn't give up. It was tricky. Good news is the giants are slow. As long as my guys ahead could clear out the spiders, we were fine. Bad news is the giant spider webs slow you down a bit more than you think. But at least Comte Van Chess got his giant for the pageant. Eh, uh, turned out that charm was a phony. Yeah. The giant ate the poor guy alive. Uh -huh. It's okay, though. We still got paid. Lol. Uh, your group is diverse. You have people from yeah. plenty of different backgrounds in your group. Yeah. Yes, well, when you're in Orle and you look like me can't be picky about who you take in that probably helps the group doesn't it the companies that didn't want different perspective you. different skill sets crazy dwarf. their loss you get my back in a fight and carry your own weight you're good with me uh talking about creme i'd like to know more about creme he's a good soldier and a better second in command the troops need someone to complain to when i'm being a hard ass he's good for that um but you hate Tavinta. You don't have a problem with him being from Tavinta. Nah. But you hate the Vint. Sure. 
But he's not a Vint. He's just Krem. I can get worked up about a group or a nation just fine, but people... It's too much work to hate them one by one. Okay, that's a curious way of thinking about it. Um... Sorry, Red Mage, is it? Sorry, the, the president of Nintendo America's name is literally Bowser. I can't... How... Did he get the job before that reason? <laughs> uh, uh, and Krem, uh, him being a her isn't an issue. You don't have any problems with him being a woman. He's not a woman. Look, I've got horns, you've got pointy ears and those freaky big elf eyes. We're probably not the best people to go around deciding what's normal. No. Krem's a good man. I don't give a nug's ass that it's a little harder for him to piss standing up. Indeed. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. So I think that's probably everything from Bull hey, at the minute. How are you? Yeah, like literally everything. Okay. See you later, Bull. Nice there talking you with you, boss. Okay, so I think we've... We've had a chit-chat with everyone, haven't we? Let me just check. Cassandra, Sarah, yes, Dorian, as much as we can, Blackwall, break us out, Cole, uh, is probably the only person we haven't spoken to, I don't think you can easily find Cole, I don't think he, like, really exists on the map, uh, there's Blackwall, Lel, Solus, Dorian, Cullen, Vivian, oh, Cole, Oh, okay. Cole is above. He's on the third floor in here. Okay. I'm just chilling on his own, I guess. Just saying some weirdness, probably. Not his fault. He's weird, is it? Here we, okay, here he is. What's going on, Cole? They should have been born together, but instead they were bound by light. Yeah, okay. Um... If you say so, Cole. Uh, to, what's your I thoughts on the Inquisition? You about the Inquisition? I don't understand it. People talk like it's a person, but it's not even a thing. A dagger can be a way to let pain out, but even if it isn't, it's still a dagger. The Inquisition isn't real unless it has something real to make it. It's like a spirit. Like you, then. Uh, is this just like Templars? They're heavy with forgotten souls, Yeah, probably. Like Doug Bowser is literally his name. <laughs> it's hard to stay near them. Can you imagine the Colors interview? Softer, <laughs> but demons asked questions that hurt him. Evangeline was kinder. I want to explain, but I... Reese's mother spoke to spirits, but not to him. Then she died for a Templar he loved. Words just bounce off the edges. Yeah, your words are bouncing off my edges at the minute, Cole, honestly. Um... What's your general opinion of Templars? Some like hurting mages. It makes them happy, or less afraid, or... Dreams again. Woke up shaking, stalking the ground for one who looks like her. Always some rule being broken. But not all Templars listen when whispers crawl around inside them. They try to protect people. Like Cullen. The good ones remember that mages are people. Yes. Um, Can you tell me more about how the Templars feel to you? They feel older than they look. They've been changed and their bodies are incomplete now. Right. Delirium helps, but their bodies always want to connect to something older, bigger than they are. That's why they block magic. They reach for that other thing, and magic has no room to come in. Like when I listen to Varric. Okay. Which should be on Red Templars. More importantly than Cole, or Red Templars, or any of his nonsense he's chatting, is the fact that Poots Cootie there, my good friend, is uh, most assuredly over 9,000. Aren't you, Poots? He's in the semi finals on this Saturday. Check, Go check him out. He's, uh, he's going to be the, the number one amateur uh, speedrunner. Of randomized Final Fantasy 6. Um, 
Yeah, Wolf. He's just he's just like okay. So I'll get his spirit, and he's got a weird way of looking at things, and he like he feels emotions and can see people inside people. But he's like, articulate yourself, sir. Poots, smashing it up. Yeah, imagine if Makuma, imagine if he said that at the, at the interview. <laughs> and they were just like, ow! Oh, you got the job, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, right, here we go. Poots. Bro, thank you for that flex there. And all the support. Here we go. We're, oh, we're basically at the end of the stream, guys. We're going to wrap this up shortly. We're going to go for like five minutes. Um, God, it's flown by today. Uh, here we go. Let me find you on here, Poots. Boom. Eighth of flex for Poots there. Thank you kindly, sir. Greatly appreciate Um. Boom. There we go. Uh. Cool. Yeah, let's finish taking, talking to Cole. Then we'll get back to the war room. And uh, send people, you know, send the advice on their way to do stuff. And then we'll leave it here for today. We'll get back on it tomorrow. Um. What about Red Templars, Cole? Tell me more about how the Red Templars are different. The Red Lyrium is different. Darker. Daggers <clears throat> under the skin. It eats you inside until you're nothing. Lovely. They hear a different song. The song behind the door old whispers mm. want opened. They are dead and dark and done. Definitely. Definitely. He absolutely is Red Mage. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Probably. No. Right now. A breath caught smile from the enchanter as the candle lights. The walls are safe. She will never be hungry again. That's good. Uh, talk about how you think. Oh my god, here we go. Explain how your mind works. No. Yes. Yeah. Uh, go ahead then. Uh, <laughs> uh, explain this helping process. Walk me through the way you help <clears throat> someone. I start by listening. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some you can solve by giving something. Food, a blanket, sleep. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack. Fixed, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. Um, okay. What do you see when you look at us, Cole? What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun. The mark makes you more, but past it, you reach across. Mindful, meaning. You pull it through to this side, make it real here. Okay. And past that, the weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight. You are theirs. It must be very hard. I hope I help. Yes, I hope you do too. Um, what do you think about our friends? Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. Their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to hear. Makes me a person. Calls me kid. A friend, solace, bright and sad, observes and accepts, spirit self, seeing the soul, solace, but somehow sorrows. Okay, but everyone else is like, get out of here, Cole. Um, it must be sad feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No, I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? Okay. Goodbye. Talk to you later. How do you know? Anything else? An old name burns inside armor that shouldn't fit. Lit by faces of children he couldn't save. Right, okay. You've done odd things. I've heard about some oddities here in the keep. Was that you? Yes. Yes. Maybe. What was it? 
Uh, you're hoarding daggers. Yes. Uh, left plums by a window. You stole cheese and mint and you burned some turnips. You did, didn't you? Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Was that you? They were safer there. Uh, you're stopping people to fight? Safer than on someone's belt where they could draw them in the heat of an argument? They would have been sad later. Okay, so you burned some turnips, Can buddy. I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. Um, they smell like turnip stew. He needed that soldier to smell them so he could die thinking he'd gone home. He did go right. Home. Okay. There's some plums hanging around. Someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. Let's talk about something else. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Let's the finish this. Are having trouble remembering some odd events. So sold some cheese and mint. Stole an entire cheese wheel. Mice like cheese. Do mice also like bowls of crushed mint? That was for the cats. So he's he's stealing cheese to fight feed mice. He's stealing mint to feed to cats. He's st stolen plums and left them around to attract flies to feed spiders. He's stealing daggers so people don't use them and hurt each other <laughs> he's stealing uh he's stealing turnips and burning them so some random dude who was about to die could smell what appeared to be turnip stew and he's like oh that's like what my mum used to make me Blech. okay so he's trying to help but he's been a bit weird about it um so you're making cats play so the cheese lures the mice and the mice lure the cats and then they smell the mint Mint makes the cats dance and play. Does it? Okay. I, s I see that you're trying to help, Cole. Why won't you stop doing this nonsense? Stop causing trouble around Skyhold. You're upsetting people. I don't want to hear about it again. You won't. Yeah, sorry to... Sorry you disapproved, Cole. But you, you can't just, like, run around doing Welcome random back. crazy shit. Bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, right. Akuma. Exactly. If you wanted to help, he'd like, oh, I know. I'll take a turnip. I'll throw it on the fireplace. It'll burn. It'll smell like turnip soup. And then that guy over there will be happy. Why don't you take that turnip, Cole? You make some turnip soup and you go give it to the bro. So you can not only just smell it in the distance, he can actually have a little taste of it. It's because you're an idiot, Cole. Exactly, Akuma. He doesn't, he's trying to help, but he's just... Forget, so he could change. Well, okay, whatever, bro, whatever. Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay, well, never mind, whatever. Okay, we've... We're up to date on Skyhold. So we broke up with Blackwall, even though it wasn't official. Oh, Varric's got something, has he? Um, let's quickly speak to Varric, then. You're right, buddy. That got a little heated. Oh, it's after the Cassandra right? talk, wasn't it? Well, that depends. How angry is Cassandra? Yeah, she's I forgiven wasn't you. Trying to keep secrets. I told the Inquisition everything that seemed important at the time. Good talk to her. I bet Cassandra regrets how things went back there. You should talk to her. I appreciate that you're trying to keep the peace, but things between me and the Seeker are as good as they'll get. I keep hoping none of this is real. Maybe it's all some bullshit from the Fade and it'll just disappear. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. Corivius is back. Oh, shit. Um. Yofsky's Red Mage. All right, you take care, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow. You have a good rest. Chill out, or uh, if you're not heading to bed the right way. Uh, and what is Corypheus? You said he was a dark spawn or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. 
He's definitely a dark spawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. Um, yeah, we need a battle plan. We'll talk to this warden friend of Hawks and draft a plan to kill this Darkspawn. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. Um, yeah, how did you find the how prison? How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. Weird shit. Uh, we tracked the Carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus. And they drew us into the prison to get it. Why Hawk's blood? What's special about Hawk? Um, we'll find a way to kill him. There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it. Don't worry. I hope you're right. Baker's breath, what have I let loose? It's not your fault, Warren. You have right. nothing to do with this, Farrick. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carter to that ruin. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. Sure. Okay, we've still got something to talk to him about. I can spare some time. What do you need? Oh, it's to ask him about the book. She said not to mention it. I guess this has got to be it. Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. She's a big fan. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same <laughs> Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Um, it can't be that bad. I need it as a gift. No wonder she was embarrassed. Uh, Cassandra seems to like it. There you well, Cassandra do. seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. <laughs> so, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition. I get to be there when you give her the book. Yep. Sounds good to me. Got a deal. I'll get to work then. <laughs> the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. Totally. Okay, we'll do that tomorrow. I'm not running over there now. I just want to get to the war room. Just uh, send everybody out and do their stuff. Okay, random shield. What's that? Battalion for Sarah. Ah, oh, yeah, she wanted uh, troops walking through. All right, some gold, some influence. That's everything, is it? No, a good column. Inquisitor. Okay, I guess I'll just send them on uh, more resources collecting. At your service. Uh, random resources and uh, random gold. I'm sure that is everything, yeah. I wish they just removed these when once you'd completed them. I don't see the point in keeping them there. Inquisitor. There we go. 
I'll leave that there. <coughs> the, um, not specifically a coma. The dark spawn are still around. They're still hanging around. They're still slinking around underground and then they come to the surface and they're harassing people but they're not a major issue um Corypheus, the bad guy happens to be a dark spawn one of the first but that seem that may that's not more technic technicality he's not leading dark spawn he doesn't have any dark spawn working for him he just happens to be one of the original dark spawn um Will that play a factor in how we need to defeat him or not? I don't I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um so let me pull up the journal here. Okay. Let me have a little look. Um okay, let's return to Frederick to about fighting the dragon. Yeah, track down service in the Western approach. I could not find that. Um so that we don't need to worry about tomorrow. Ah, oh, judge we've got a prisoner to judge. Okay. Um okay, we'll do that tomorrow. Uh the tomb and the notes. I'm can't find the I don't know where the note is. The tomb, we have to wait till we find the dragons. Um Okay, that's for the uh the shards to unlock the temple. So we can unlock the next door, but there's another door behind it, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna try and get the rest of the shards first. Um uh, right, that's some random maps. Uh, earning the Dalish favor. I think we've blown that already. Um, kill some dragons. Uh, ah, the Emerald G Graves. Defeat Carol. Ah, okay. I need to do that. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, Crestwood. I'm going to talk about. Inner Circle. Um, Kaya Oswin. With uh, Cassandra. That's for the finding the seekers. Um, hunt down those people with the seekers. There we go. Give Cassandra the latest chapter of Swords and Shields. I guess I'll just speak to her and we've got it already. Um, bring Dorian to the Gull and Lantern for his uh, the courier, the, the agent sent by his dad. Could be a trap, could be bullshit. Either way, he wants to go and just deal with it. Um, yeah, order the march through uh, Virtiel. We've just literally done that. So I guess we go and turn that into Sarah after that's returned tomorrow. Um, Solus. Yeah, we've had this for a while. Go with Solus to the Hinterlands and find a powerful rift. That's something new that's popped up. Um, for uh, Vivienne, circle tomes in the Hinterlands, the Western Approach and Exalted Plains. Okay. Uh, and then uh, before the dawn, find out what Cullen's men found out in the quarry. I don't know if I need to speak to Cullen. So the few little conversations we need to have and then stuff we need to go do for people at various places. Nothing that's going to take too long. And then finally, after we've done all that, we've got two options to progress the main quest. I believe you have to do them both. But um, one is to go and deal with the Grey Wardens that are um, wiling out, you know, being taken over by Corypheus, you know, and all the rest of it. Uh, and the other one is, of course, go to Val Royale, attend the Empress's uh, ball, and uh, prevent her from being assassinated. So, yeah, lots lots of bits and pieces to tie up. Uh, and we'll get on that tomorrow. Let's save it right here. Um, look at that freaking out. We're 100 hours into this game. So we're looking it's at least as long as, if not longer than Origins. Um, let's jump over here for a quick minute. <clears throat> Guys, thank you for, uh, for being here. Very enjoyable stream. I'm glad we finally... I mean, we've always been making progress, but we've got, like, the bulk of the progress. Now it's just, like, the story essentially rather than just running around the wilderness <laughs> closing rifts and all the rest of it um not that i don't enjoy that of course but um that's like more like stuff we need need to do we don't need to do anything but of course but i think you know i'm getting at 
but I now have no idea how much more of the uh, the game is left. I'd be shocked if we completed it tomorrow. We won't be completing it. No, we definitely won't be completing it tomorrow. But we'll make some more decent progress doing all these peripheral things I mentioned uh, just now. Uh, and then we'll push the main quest. Uh, don't know how much more of it there is. This, even if there's like a bunch, it's like this. It's like we're on a straight line. There's nothing else we need to do on the side, or maybe bits and pieces. When when we finally get to the the penultimate mission to wrap up the story, it should give us a heads up. It will give. It will give. I'm sure it will give us a little message saying, um, "Oh, just to let you know, this is the point of no return." And at that point, we don't do it. Then we go dragon hunting. And we could probably take Bull with us and maybe buy that fancy axe for him. Uh, the only thing, the other thing is I need to do, of course, for that preparation at that point, aside from buying the fancy axes, go around and collect schematics and then make the best sets of weapons and gear we can for our chosen party, which I would imagine would be us, Bull for the dragon damage, Cassandra to tank, and then it could be anyone. We don't necessarily need a rogue when we're just fighting a dragon. Um, so I guess we'd probably just look at who would potentially do the most damage. Probably a range. So it might be a rogue. So it could be Varric. Could be Sarah. Could be Dorian. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, see. we'll play away here. Um, but that's, that's the plan for tomorrow. So I will be back tomorrow. Same time as always, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you to KWS4. 4K. Not sure how they would like to be addressed specifically, but thank you for the follow. Do appreciate it. Uh, we just need to go. Oh my god, I've gone 20 minutes over. Never mind. We'll start 20 minutes late. It's been like a full. So we just hit seven hours. Okay, that's, that's good. Uh, let me see who's around for us to raid. What pe peeps are there? Oh my. Oh wow. Hang on. live right now it, it oh my god it's some people you like uh don't see in a little while and then you catch a part of their stream and then they're like um and then they're like there's several of those people and it's like i can only raid one of you i can only raid one of you <laughs> who's it gonna be let me just uh check on this individual who's probably my first choice just see how long they've been streaming for Okay, an hour and a half. So I expect he's got a bunch more to go. Um, lovely people. Lily is streaming. Uh, Uncle Buck is streaming. Uh, Ravian. Uh, Kimchi Raga. Uh, Yeet Aura. Walsh Magic. Uh, Serpent Hunter. Loads of people. Uh, there's Faye. There's Lee. There's Barrel. There's Flannel Cat. Uh, many others too. Um, I feel that... Uh, we shall go to Mr. Wrong. It was his birthday the other day. I did get taken through with Scotty's raid, but I didn't have time to hang around. He's uh, he's just chatting. What's this? A full Pokemon stream of reacting to new Pokemons or something? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Mr. Wrong. He's um, he's a uh, he's a gem. Is Mr. Wrong? Uh, so let's let me send us over to there. Uh, eight four two. Is that his number? I always forget people's numbers when they have numbers. Eight four two. There we go. Just divide. Eight, four, two. Just half each time. Mr. Wrong. Uh, if they don't know Mr. Wrong, hang on for a minute. And um, he's, uh, he's a gem. He just turned 30 the other day and ce celebrated his two-year stream anniversary. That's what the other day. So, uh, it's on Sunday. So, yeah, he's, he's killing it. He's a po he's a true Pokemaster as well. Uh, I don't know. So, I'll see what Pokemon stuff he's doing. Um, well, thank you so much for being here, bro. I appreciate it greatly. Um, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a good evening, my friend. Um... Of course, yeah, if anybody needs me between now and tomorrow, which I hope to see you tomorrow, but obviously no pressure, uh, you can message me on Discord. And I say that every, at the end of every single stream. I just want to hammer that point home. Sometimes I, you know, don't actually have much to say. I might just uh, be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Or sometimes people will just send me something like, oh, look at this picture. Check out this video. And, oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> uh, but, you know, some other people are like, oh, my God, is my life is falling apart. I need some advice how to sort my life out. And I'm like, okay, let me sit down. I've got a, a novel to type to you. Uh, <laughs> um, but either way, uh, let's go see Mr. Wrong. I need to get some food. Oh, I'm so hungry. 
I'll tell you what, doing 24 hour fast, folks, the last like four hours of that 24 hour period, you are very hungry. When you do finally sit down to eat, it is like so much more satisfying. I'll tell you, it's like, oh, it's my, fa it's not my favorite part of the day. This is a favorite part of the day, the stream. Eating is the second favorite part of the day. Let's go see Mr. Wrong. Take care, folks. I appreciate it.